Test, test. Go ahead. Test, test. Morena e te iwi, no mai, haere mai, piki mai, kake mai ki Lake Karapira o mo te 2024 New Zealand Dragon Boat Association Nationals. E te iwi, no mai, haere mai, ki tēnei papa hotanga a whakata Māori. Ka mihi ki ngā maunga, ngā wai me ngā ahika o tēnei rohi. Tēnā koutou katoa ki ngā kaiwhaka haere me ngā kaiwhaka taitau he mihi. Mahana hoki kia koutou. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Not too far away from our first start of the day. Call Stephen Harris uh, tēnei. In a moment I'll bring on uh, Richard uh, Bromley, our uh, commentator and MC extraordinaire, who will, um, I'll tell you what, I'll let him uh, get his dulcet tones going for that very first race of the day. Morena, Richard. Morning, Steve. Yes, day two of day two of our national champs here. Butte day yesterday, getting through those 58 races. We've got another 59 to do today, so perfect conditions forecasted throughout the day. And the first of they're underway. So race one is underway between Taranaki Dragons in lane one, Bay Dragons in lane two, Amazon Hearts in three, Bay Dragons Margaritas in four, OPC in five, and 22 Sisters out of lane six. Now the best start was made by 22 sisters. They're at lane number six, and they've got a three-quarter of a boat length advantage already over lane three, Amazon Hearts, who are trying to go with 22 sisters, uh, but about three quarters of a boat length back in second position. Lying third at this current point as they go through the 125 is lane four, and that is Bay Dragons Margaritas. Then back to lane number two, which is Bay Dragons Senoritas. Lane number five in fifth position, OPC Witches Bridges, and then back to lane number one, which is Taranaki Dragon. So approaching the halfway mark of our first race of day number two, 117 races there we said to get through over the two days. We're halfway there, and it's 22 sisters out lonely at the moment. They're clear by about a boat length and a half. Lying second just off the speed in lane number three is Amazon Hearts. Then back to lane four in third position, Bay Dragons Margaritas. Back to lane number two, Bay Dragons Sin Naritas. And then lanes one and six, one and five, should I say. That is Taranaki Dragons and OPC Witches Britches. But inside the second stanza of our first race of day two of our National Dragon Boat Champs here at Lake Katapiro and out in front. 22 sisters are pretty rampant yesterday and they're continuing that good form. They lead. Make it two boat links now. Over lane three, which is Amazon Hearts. Then lane number four, Bay Dragons Margaritas. Back to lane number two, Bay Dragons Senderitas. Then lane number five, OPC, which is Britches. And lane one, which is Taranaki Dragons. Inside the last 150 metres of our first day, of our first race of day two and a bright sunshine and it is 22 sisters lonely at the moment two boat links clear lane th amazon hearts they've got a battle on their hand on their outside bay city bay dragons margaritas battling for that second and third spot then back to lane two bay dragon senoritas lane number five opc which is britches and lane number one which is Taranaki Dragons. But inside the last 75 metres, a one-boat show here. Shut the gate, 22 sisters out in front, extending their lead two boat links now over lane three, Amazon Hearts. Lane four, Bay Dragons and Margaritas holding down third spot ahead of Bay Dragons, Senoritas. Bay lane five, OPC, which is Bridges. And back to lane number one which is Taranaki Dragons. But as they come down to the finishing line and race one, day two, it's all 22 sisters out, clear as they cross the finishing line first. Second is going to be lane three in Amazon Hearts. Then lane four, Bay Dragons Margaritas. In fourth position will be lane number two, Bay Dragons Senoritas. And then out to lane five, OPC Witches Bridges. And lane one, Taranaki Dragons. There's the first of day two. 22 sisters go to woe, winning the first of the day two of our Dragon Boat Nationals.
And just another reminder, those 2K time trial times have been posted if your team wishes to protest. So just repeating that news of the uh, 2K times have been posted. 2K times have been posted. You have got till 9 a.m. to lodge a protest if you wish with your Sir Rutherford, i.e. your $100 bill. So $100 in exchange for a protest has to be lodged with the Racing HQ by 9 a.m. Race 60, Dragon Boats making their way down to the starting line. HCW, Lane 1, Woman of Steel, Lane 2, Jafet's Lane 3, Hauraki, Blues, Sapphire. They're in Lane 4, 22 Sisters, 5, Hauraki, Blues, Azura. They're in Lane number 6. This is Senior A, 500, Heat 1. At uh, Maria Eti, we just have a short delay in racing, just waiting on a couple of, uh, of uh, dragon boats to come down from the uh, loading bay. So the race we are just waiting on is Rihi uh, Onotokau. Just the uh, sixth start in this particular race. This is a senior A woman 500 metre small boat heat, one of one. Lane 
Lane two, OPC Brewer. Lane three, PMD Women. Lane four, Otipoti Nakimata. Lane five, Ken Two. Also, can we please have meet 66, Relia Mix. Lane two, Ridge Riders. Lane three, Marlborough Dragon Boat Club. Lane four, Dragon Riders. Lane five, Salt Dragons. That's heat 66, Brunia Mix. Lane two, Ridge Riders. Lane three, Marlborough Dragon Boat Club. Lane four, Dragon Riders. Lane five, Salt Dragons. Thank you. Teams, we please need some more people down at boat loading to get the boats in the water. Can you please come down and help? Thank you. Not too far away from a start for race 60 of the day. Beautiful conditions here at Karapiro this morning. Currently a high of 12 degrees. We are expecting a full high of 21 today, but I would imagine that will come later this afternoon as our six boats get themselves into position. I'll quickly go through those uh, teams again. Lane 1, HC Woman, Waikato Dragon Boat and Waka. Lane 2, Woman of Steel, Auckland Dragon Lane three, Jafets from Auckland. Lane four, Hauraki Blues, Sapphire, Auckland. Lane five, maybe the one to watch, 22 Sisters, Waikato, Dragon Boat and Waka. And Hauraki Blues, Azure, also from Auckland. So good representation 
from Tamaki Makoto. Just one of our dragon boats to get into position as the sun starts to peer through. Very blessed with clear still conditions yesterday. Might be a little bit warmer today as the uh, a lot of the cloud starts to move away and the sun breaks through. Just a reminder, Reihi Onotakau, Aratahi HC Woman, Waikato, Ararua Woman of Steel, Auckland, Araturo, Jafets, Arafa, Hauraki Blue Sapphire, Ararima, 22 Sisters, Waikato, Araono, Hauraki Blue Zazuri. Uh, here, Pānui, general announcement. This is really important. We are looking for some men, preferably with muscles. But hey, even if you haven't got any muscles, we need as much uh, tautoko me afi to head down to the loading bay to uh, support at this stage. So we need some. Uh, we need a bit of heavy lifting at the end of the day. That's what we're looking for. And preferably, if we've got some men that are free, if you can make your way down immediately, that would be awesome. Kia ora anō.
Hopefully we're not too far away from a start. To quote Morgan Freeman, I hope I can make it across the border. I hope to see my friend and shake his hand. And I hope this race might start soon. There we have it. Eventually, we've got off to a start in the heat 6 0. It's the Senior Woman 500 metre small boat heat, one of one. Good start out there in lane 5, 22 sisters. Maybe the team to watch already have put a half a length on the rest of the boats. In fact, you can almost pull that out to a full length. Good battle coming on the inside. Lanes, lane two, woman of steel from Auckland, traveling along quite nicely as well. It's pretty even, Stevens, between lane one, HC woman, and Jaffetz. And also out there in uh, lane six, Hauraki Blues Azuri, traveling reasonably well. There's a whole lot of work for Hauraki Blues. Sapphire's just starting to drop off the pace a wee bit. But I'll tell you what, they're powering it up out there in uh, lane five boy they've had some uh, they've had their breakfast this morning the wheat bix and the yogurt i think they might have had bacon and eggs as well the way these uh, uh 22 sisters are traveling at this stage of the race they are pulling out and they are certainly on fire at this stage a little bit on the inside we look at that uh, lane two woman of steel holding strong in second place at this stage they've well and truly surpassed the uh, halfway mark of this 500 meter journey starting to spread out probably a good uh, uh, six seconds covering the whole field at this stage here we go just thought i'd let that uh, panui head out they come down with around 120 meters to go and it's still our leading team 22 sisters from uh, Waikato and uh, Dragon Boating and uh, Waka Armour. They've pulled away to probably almost two lengths at this stage. So they've just got stronger as the uh, race has gone down on the inside here, lane two. There's a real battle going on with a battle for that second placing in lane two. Woman of Steel still holding strong right beside them. Jafetz from Auckland Dragon Boat, but no doubt about it, put a ring round our uh, leading team. They are going to do this very, very comfortably. 22 sisters will come away and win this comfortably. If you can give them a big round of applause uh, to Atahi. 22 sisters, Hamaita Paki Paki. Very comfortable, uh, very comfortable win. Down here in second place, Woman of Steel will end up in second place. And Jafetz from Auckland Dragon. That's your first three dragon boats across the line. Still with a, a little bit of uh, work to do, a Hauraki Blues uh, Sapphire, but no doubt about it. 22 sisters. They have uh, definitely put a marker in the water for the racing to come.
The three crews are down at the start for race number 61. There is a slight delay or slight hold up before this race is underway, so we should be going any tick of the clock. The three crews are down at the start at Hamlin and City Water Sports, representing Waikato Dragon Boat and Waka Armour Association. Also, White Old Brothers, also from the Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka Armour Association. And lane five, Random Jeffers. Uh, from the Auckland DBA lanes one, four and six will be vacant for this upcoming event. Just the three crews on the water uh, for race number 61. Working our way through the day two of our NZDBA National Dragon Boat Championships here at Lake Karapiro. Prize giving, of course, tonight in the pavilion. And if you've got a chance today, why don't you spot Boobops, they've got their raffle ongoing as well. $5 per ticket or three for 10. And they've got a trolley with over $700 worth of goodies to be won, so pay them a visit. They would very much appreciate that. Don't forget at the completion of the day's dragon boating to clean your gear. There is a device behind the drone tent. Motor habit, please come to Marshley. Take 65, lane one. Please come to so the spray device is situated just behind the drone tent down by Lakeside. Just make sure you do wash your gear, but mainly towards the grass area or the tarmac. Keep the water away from the electric hydrant. And online viewers, don't forget your competitions to get into. They'll be drawn today. Bailey's, Caltex, and New Zealand Carbon Farm. Nearly set for our third race. We're racing. Three boats out in the water, and away they go. The first taste of these three boats for our 500 meter action this afternoon this morning. Just the three crews out on the water, HSW. They're in lane number two, Wide Earl Brothers in lane three, and Random Jaffers out in lane number five. Lanes one, four, and six are vacant. Best start belongs to Wide Earl Brothers. They're in lane number three. They lead four to five meters. Lane one, HCW. And about five or six metres away back in third position, Random Jeffers out in lane number five. And through the first 100 metres, and there's probably a good 15 to 20 metres top to bottom. And leading is Wide Old Brothers. And they lead out by half a boat length over HCW. Hamilton City Water Sports in second position. And about a boat length away in third spot in lane five is Random Jeffers. As the three crews, they paddling their way towards the halfway mark. In a race number 61, and out in front, Wide Old Brothers, they lead by half to three quarters, which is about 10 to 12 metres, lying second lane number two, HCW, and about a boat length and half away to Random Jaffers out in lane number five as they cross the halfway mark in race number... 61. There's a good 50 metres top to bottom. Out in front, Wide Old Brothers extending their lead to one boat length over HCW. Closest to us in lane two. And about a one and a half uh, boat lengths away to Random Jeffers out in lane number five. Inside the 175. In race number 61, and still in front, it is Wide Old Brothers. They lead by a boat length. Lying second is Hamilton City Water Sports in lane one, lane two closest to us. And Random Jeffers, they are two boat lengths away in third position. Out in lane number five, inside the last 100 metres. And it is all Wide Old Brothers after a very solid start. They've kept up a very good stroke rate right through this race. They lead by one and a half boat lengths over lane number two which is hcw and a couple of boat lengths away in third position to random jeffers but as they get down to the finishing line and race 61 it is all wide o brothers in lane three as they go down to line to win it by a boat length and a quarter second in lane two will be hcw and they've got about a three boat length advantage over lane two lane five which is random jeffers there's our third race of the morning Race 61 in total, taken out by Wairo Brothers of Quinella for the Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka Armour Association with HCW finishing second and about three or four boat lengths away to the Auckland DBA rep in Random Jeffers. That's race number 61. The boats for race number 62, they're making their way down to the start line.
Douglas for online viewers. Lane number one, War Waikato Treasure Chest of Pearls. Lane two, Can Survive. Lane three, A Busting with Life. A Breast of Life for lane four. Waikato Treasure Chest Diamonds, lane five. And the Pink Diamonds, they're in lane number six. And we are racing in the next event of the afternoon of the morning, should I say. A bit early to be calling the afternoon. But race number 62, Waikato Treasure Chest. They're in one. Best start, maybe lane six. On the outside, the Pink Dragons, they're out early on. They have an early advantage over lane number two, who can survive. Lane five, lying third, that is Waikato Treasure Chest Diamonds. And then their canoe mate, Waikato Treasure Chest Pearls in lane one. They're in fourth position, then lane three, busting with life. And lane number four busts a breast of life back in sixth position. Uh, but there's only about five to six metres top to bottom. Lane two now wrestle the lead back. That is can survive. They've got a dragon boat head advantage over lane three which is busting with life who have now pushed the dragon boat in front. So lead change. Lane three now lead. It is busting with life. Over lane two can survive. Just sitting off the speed lanes five and six. Waikato treasure chest diamonds and the pink dragons. Then back to lane one. Waikato treasure chest pearls. And then back to lane four. A breast of life as the six crews are approaching the halfway mark. 10 to 15 metres top to bottom. Lane three busting with life with the dragon boat head in front. Only just though. Can survive it trying to go with them four to five meters away in third spot in lane five is Waikato treasure chest diamonds then to lane six the pink diamonds lane one Waikato treasure chest pearls in lane four a breast of life as they go past the 300 meter mark so 200 meters to pedal in race 62 and it is still in front there uh, busting with life now they've got a race on their hands can survive resting up alongside them so these two boats are going toward 200 meters out third at the moment in lane number five is Waikato treasure chest trying to finish with a wet sail lane six the Pink Dragons then back to lane one, Waikato Treasure Chest. And lane number four is busting with life inside the 150. Now can survive. We've got the Dragon Boat in front. They lead. Can busting with life come back? Tell you what, lane five's finishing strongly. That is Waikato Treasure Chest Diamonds. Then lane number six, which is the Pink Diamonds. Lane one, Waikato Treasure Chest. And then we've got a Breast of Life inside the 75 meter mark. It is lane two. Can survive. They've wrestled the lead back off. They're busting with life. Can can they go on with it? Waikato Treasure Chest are trying to finish strongly inside the last 50 metres. Still in front. Lane two. Can survive. Busting with life are trying to come back. Can survive with a four metre advantage. Can survive are trying to come back at them. But it's going to be can survive and busting with life as they go to the lane. And lane two. Can survive will win. They will beat busting with life. Third is going to be Waikato Treasure Chest. Fourth. The Pink Dragons, then back to lane one, the Pink Dragons, and lane four, which is a breast of life.
Morinetiwi just waiting on race. 63, I'll quickly go through these teams there for the Premier Woman 500 metre small boat. Now this is heat one of three. So lane one, make Mark or Mayhem International. Lane two, Random Jeffers, Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Lane three, Waimak Vibes, Wahine. Awaraki. In uh, lane four, Waikato Snap Dragons, Waikato Dragon Boat and Awaka. Tepotini is in lane five. They are from uh, Awaraki. And in lane six, Pornike Dragons from the uh, central region. Round off these uh, six crews that are in the loading bay area. I beg you being your part of the loading bay, the starting bay area. Wahi Timata is the uh, kupu we're looking for as our final team, Pornike Dragons, heads into position. A little bit of a slight breeze on the course at the moment, but uh, not playing too much havoc for our paddlers and steerers alike. Let's see our steerers. Kai Urungi. Doing a great job from what we've seen throughout the uh, two days of this 2024 NZDBA Dragon Boat National Championships. Now we're all in position and looks like we are almost ready in our starters' hands. First heat of three, Premier Woman, 500 metre small boat. Here we go. We have the uh, horn down the uh, top of the course and speaking of a, a very good start out there in lane six, Pornike Dragons got off to the best possible start as did Marco Mayhem International down in uh, lane one out there in lane five. Te Potini also got off to a very good start as well. Lanes five and six leading the way at uh, this stage of the race already kicked out by about 50 metres or so. So again, pleasant conditions for these uh, paddlers here this morning. Lanes five and six showing the way. Te Potini from Aoraki, Dragon Boat Association in lane five, leading but only just probably only up half a metre in it, if that. Pornike Dragons right beside them. They are from Central Region DBA, travelling along quite nicely. There's a race going on within a race for third placing. Woman of Steel just holding that third placing at, at this, oh, begging your pardon, looking at the uh, wrong sheet, begging your pardon team. Um, in uh, lane three, lane one, that is uh, Mark or Mayhem, who are in third place at this stage. But at this point of the race, as they come down over the uh, halfway stage, it is lane five, Te Potini from uh, Ouraki Dragon Boat who are leading at this point in time, right out there in lane six, Pornike Dragons. So a good battle going on between five, five and six. And down on the inside, clearly holding a third placing is lane one, Marco Mayhem International, as they come down with around 120 metres or so to go in uh, this particular race. Remembering you're watching the Premier Woman 500 metre small boat, and it's the first heat of three. Good battle still going on between these two teams. I'm quite, en quite enjoying this. There's nothing in it at this stage, but uh, Te Potini from uh, Oraki doing the uh, business at the uh, at the moment, Pornike Dragons from Central uh, DBA also pushing hard at this stage as they come down with uh, still about 70 odd metres to go, maybe 60 metres to go at this point in time, but they're starting to just push it a little bit. This is Pornike Dragons, but still in second place at this stage. It's been a good battle all the way, but it just seems as though Te Potini will come through and uh, take it out, but it's a very good uh, good battle between these two teams. So lane five, take out, take the spoils, Te Potini from uh, Ouraki. Dragon Boat Association, Pornike Dragons from Central BDA will be in or in second placing and down there in third placing will be Mark or Mayhem International will 
hold strong for third placing as we see the last of the uh, Dragon Boats head across the line in heat 63 of the day. If I can name heat 6-4, it's the Premier Woman 500 metre small boat, heat 2 of 3. Oh, some great work from our Kai Hoi to get themselves in uh, to position for our next race, which is Heat 64, Premier Woman 500 metre small boat, second heat of three. In lane one, Woman of Steel, Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Lane two, White Up a Woman, Central Beat DBA. DBA. Lane three, Jafetz. Auckland Dragon, lane four, Southern Wahine from uh, Auraki, and lane five, Pegasus Dragons, Auraki, and also in lane six, Bay of Plenty Dragon Flyers from Eastern Region DBA. So now starters' hands. Just in our starters' hands. Getting some beautiful images of uh, Karapiro from our high drone. All six dragon boats in position. We are up and racing in heat 64, and it's a good clean start from 
all of our teams out on the water, especially out there in lane four, looking pretty good, are Southern Wahine. They're off the best possible start. Already pulled in maybe a good uh, two or three metres over the rest of these crews at this stage. Close for second place between Woman of Steel in lane one and also out there in lane six, Bay of Plenty Dragon Flyers from the Eastern Region DBA. Travelling along quite nicely at uh, this stage. You're watching Premier Woman 500 metres, small boat, heat two of three. Arahi out there in lane four. We have got Southern Wahine from Auraki DBA travelling along very nicely. In fact, they've increased that, that lead to about a half a boat length at this point in time, a little bit further out there. A real good battle going on between the uh, BOP Dragon Flyers and uh, Woman of Steel on the inside lane and also hanging tight as well in the lane three are Jafets from the Auckland Dragon Boat Association as they come down over the halfway mark. Once again, still increasing this lead. At this point in time is lane four, Southern Wahine from uh, Auraki DBA. Still holding that uh, full length, although starting to make a move down here in lane one, a woman of steel with every stroke. They seem to be uh, pulling in Southern Wahine in this particular race. So it'll be interesting to see what unfolds over this next uh, 80 metres or so, maybe under 80 metres, 70, maybe even 60, looking where our lead boat is. But I'll tell you what, they have found another gear, Southern Wahine, because they are just starting to uh, once again pull away. And I think you can safely say with uh, less than 30 metres to go, they'll come through and win this very, very comfortably. So give them a big round of applause as they uh, head across the line. Hamaita Paki Paki. Uh, your winners of uh, Heat 64 Southern Wahine in uh, second placing down here in lane one, uh, Woman of Steel. Uh, close for second and uh, third placing at this stage, Jafets. We're also uh, right there in the money, hopefully for them. And uh, a little bit of work for our final canoe as they come down to the finish line. But that pretty much wraps up. Heat 64 in the Premier Woman 500 metre small boat. Heat 2 of 3. I'm going to take a break for a couple of races and hand you over to Richard as our next group, our next Ropu, head into uh, position down at uh, the uh, Timatawahi uh, to... Uh, ready themselves for the next race. It's heat 65 um, in Premier Women, 500 metres small boat to heat. Three of three. Got a call for Stephanie Mott or Steve Monk to Racing HQ, please. That is Stephanie Mott or Steve Monk to Racing HQ, please. Five boats to... Five Dragon Boats to compete in race number 65 this morning. Mako Havoc. They'll go from lane number one representing Australia. OPC Pango from Aoreki. Tumiki Dragons from Aoreki. Otapoti from Aoreki. And Can 2 from the central region. The five crews engaged to do battle in a race number 65. So we're nearly set. This is the heat of the Premier Woman. Set racing. Race 65 underway between Mako Havoc. They're in lane one closest to us, OPC in lane two. Two Mickey Dragons in three. 
Lanes four and five, Autoporti and Can two. Best beginnings on the outside of the lake. Lanes four and five, respectively. They lead early on. Late at the moment, the light, lamp lighters are lane four, Autoporti. Out the need in space. Friends in front over Can 2 in lane 5, lying second. Uh, just sitting off the speed in lane number 2 in third position, OPC. Then lane number 3, two Mickey Dragons and Mako Havoc. They're in lane 1 in fifth position, but there's only 5 to 6 metres top to bottom. Out in front, it is lane 4, Autoporti. Uh, they've got a 4 to 5 metre advantage over lane 5, Can 2. Then lane number 3, two Mickey Dragons. Uh, back to OPC in fourth position and Mako Havoc. They are fifth, spotting the leader a good boat length as they get towards the 125. And our 65th race of Aragata, and still in front, it is lane four. They lean Autoporti. They've got a half a boat length advantage over Can 2. They're in second spot. Back to two Mickey Dragons lying third. Fourth is OPC and Mako Havoc. They're in fifth position as they cross the halfway mark. Still no change. 15 metres will make it 25 metres top to bottom. And then front still remains Autoporti. They lead over lane 5, Can 2. Now two Mickey Dragons getting a little bit more serious at the three. Then it is in fourth position. OPC and Mako Havoc. They're in fifth spot into the second stanza of race number 65, Autoporti, one boat length clear, over Can 2, two Mickey Dragons lying third, fourth is OPC and Mako, Havoc in fifth position, 125 to pedal, still in front, Autoporti, they've got a boat length advantage, two Mickey Dragons have paddled their way into second spot at the expense of Can 2, then OPC and Mako, Havoc inside the 75 metre mark, it is still in front, Autoporti. They've been in the front since the get-go. They lead by one boat link. They're the battles for second and third. We've got two Mickey Dragons and Can 2 going hammer and tong. Then back to fourth position, which is OPC and Mako Havoc inside the 50. It's all a one boat for you here. Away go Autoporti. Let's look for the battle for second and third. Autoporti Dragons have won it convincingly. Who's going to get second and third? Two Mickey Dragons and Can 2. Can 2 and two Mickey Dragons. Who's going to be Autoporti? have won it easily by a boat length and a half. Who's going to grab second? Maybe two Mickey Dragons just over Can 2. And then we've got fourth will be OPC and Mako Havoc in fifth spot. Race 65, Autoporti, they made a swift beginning off the start line and kept up a very good pedal throughout two Mickey Dragons. Uh, they lay third for most of the race, but their last 125, they really pushed through the finishing line to grab second at the expense of Can 2. OPC Pongal, they'll finish in fourth per spot, and Mako Havoc will finish fifth, not far away from that fourth spot. So there's race number 65, taken out by the Aoraki DBA representation of Otapoti. Four boats in the next race. Though we can only see three down at the start line at the moment. Next race is a premier mixed heat. Lanes one and six are vacant. Lane two, Ridge Riders from the Old Aki DBA. Marlborough Dragons, lane three, also from the Old Aki DBA. Dragon Riders, lane four. Auckland, a DBA representation. And representing the Eastern Region will be Salt Dragons out in lane number five. They're on for our viewers online. The start list for you, Ridge Riders in two, Marlborough Dragons in three, Dragon Riders in four, and Assault Dragons, they are in lane number five. So Dragon Boats are down the start, won't be far away uh, from a start in the upcoming event. In fact, one of the Dragon Boats are competing in this next event. We've got a bit of a team bio on them, the Marlborough Dragons. Most of their team actually in their first season of paddling. I love this quote, they are a, we're a solar-powered team and we run on wine and sunshine. So watch out if the sun comes out. 
the mighty wide out is our training Awa. And we are the Marlborough Dragons, the Wairuru Tanifa. And this is our team's first nationals for the Marlborough Dragons. And they are starting in this upcoming event. We've got some team bios that will just flick through as the day does progress. My dragon boats are getting ready for our 66th race of the regatta. Race 8 of today. So stand by for a start. Just Dragon Riders in lane number four, just bringing the Dragon Boat in position. And it will nearly be raced. This is a premier mixed heat. Heat one of two, 500 small boat. Oh, just the breeze just picking up here ever so slightly here at the lake. Supposed to develop into a stunning afternoon with light winds and a high of 21 degrees. So just in this, the cloud does break away. And for a spot on day, we're racing. No, we're not. Thought we were. Clear now. All clear has been given to the start crew. We are ready to do battle when race number 66. Just a couple of on lake announcements just going on there. So hopefully all those crews have got the memo. Make your way down to a crew loading. As I said, we're racing in a race in number 66. The four crews out on the water for our premier mixed heat. Ridge Riders in lane number one. Marlborough Dragons in two. Lane three, we've got Dragon Riders who have made a very swift beginning from their lane four. And lane five on the outside is Salt Dragons. So paddling through the first 50 metres and making every post a winner. It is lane four. Dragon Riders, they lead early on uh, from a Ridge Riders. Are about a half a boat length away in second spot. Three to four metres away to Marlborough Dragons. And then back to lane number five and Salt Dragons in fifth position. 20 metres top to bottom, out in front still remains Dragon Riders a very swift beginning, they lead at the quarter mark by 10 metres lying second Ridge Riders third is Marlborough Dragons and fourth on the outside is Salt Dragons as they paddle their way towards the halfway mark in race number 66 from the lamp lighter it is Dragon Riders they lead by 10 to 12 metres over lane number 2 which is Ridge Riders 5 or 6 metre advantage over Marlborough Dragons in lane 3 and then it's back to Salt Dragons in the fifth spot. There is 25 metres top to bottom. Out in front, it is Dragon Riders after that very swift beginning. They lead by 10 metres. Lying second is Ridge Riders trying to up the ante. And the lane closest to us, lane two. Eight metres away, third now is going to be Marlborough Dragons. And then back to Salt Dragons as they get to the halfway mark. And still no change. Dragon Riders still lead 8 to 10 metres. Closing the gap there is Ridge Riders in lane 2. Then Marlborough Dragons on lane to 3 in 3rd position. And on the outside of the lake in 4th is Salt Dragons. Inside the 150. Still in front is Dragon Riders. Trying to bridge the gap there is Ridge Riders and doing a pretty good job of it. They were followed by Marlborough Dragons and Salt Dragons. Now it's getting a little bit more serious at the 125. It's still Dragon Riders in front. Here come Ridge Riders. Closest 
to us, really upping the ante, finishing strongly. And then back to Mulber Dragons and Salt Dragons inside the 75. The lead is only five metres. Dragon Riders still in front. Ridge Riders are finishing very, very strongly closest to us. Then back to Mulber Dragons and Salt Dragons inside the 40. Still in front is Dragon Riders. Ridge Riders finishing two to one on the inside. Still in front, Dragon Riders. Here come Ridge Riders. Dragon Riders still in front. Have they got enough? Ridge Riders trying to close the gap. Ridge Riders are trying to close the gap now on Dragon Riders. Dragon Riders still in front. They'll see it through just, just. Dragon Riders see it through. Strong finish. Ridge Riders close up second. Marlborough Dragons and Salt Dragons. Good finish there. Ridge Riders had a clear advantage throughout the event. Ridge Riders really up the ante over the last quarter and went down by two to three metres. Good finish. Marlborough Dragons in third spot and Salt Dragons fourth. That was race 66, the Premier Mix. Steve Harris on board to commentate the next couple. We've got a Premier Mix and a Premier over the next two heats on the water. Uh, good morning again, everybody. Not too far away from uh, Heat 67, Premier Mixed 500 metre small boat Heat 2 of 2, just in our starters' hands in the, at this point of time. Lane 1, Northern Phoenix, Oraki, DBA. Lane 3, Line Tsunami, Auckland. Sampan Warriors are in Lane 4, Oraki, and in Lane 5, Paddle Tears, also from Oraki. So here we have them as they line up. Good position, a few last minute instructions going out, no doubt. And we are just in our starter's hand. A little bit breezy here, a little bit of a breezy 12 degrees this morning at the lake. Why I decided to wear shorts today, I don't really know. So I'm trying to figure that one out. Fortunately, despite the chilly conditions this morning, it will get to a high of 21. I would imagine that will come in later in the afternoon. Running perfectly 
on time. In fact, we're actually a couple of minutes ahead of time. This race scheduled for 9.20 a.m. Hope you're all enjoying your time here at Karapiro. We're at the second day of the 2024 NZDBA Dragon Boat National Championships. Just coming up after this race is the uh, Premier Open 500 metre small boat heat one of two. Right now, we're watching Premier Mix 500 metre small boat heat two of two. They're in position, just waiting for some instructions to come down from the tower. Here we go, we are racing here in heat 67. Just the four starters, as previously said, they're all off to a good clean start. Already a lead at this stage out there in, uh, looks like a lane number three, Lion Tsunami from Auckland, getting away to a good start right beside them. Also Sampan Warriors pushing hard. So those two going hard together in uh, lane Closest to us is uh, Northern Phoenix from uh, Oraki Dragon Boats. They're also travelling along nicely, starting to drop off a little bit. Our paddle tears with a little bit of work to do at this stage. So not much in it at this stage of the race. Possibly around about 100 metres uh, covered uh, thus far. Got the uh, slower rate going, these uh, paddlers that are out on the water. You can see some nice... Digs or nice deep digs from the uh, the uh, strokers in the uh, canoe number three. That's the lion tsunami as they come up the course, but they probably just dropped into third placing at this stage. But it's very close. You'll uh, see as they come past, or at least down the course, how close this is as they come down over the halfway stage. So it's pretty much even, Stevens. You could literally throw a blanket over all three of these first uh, three uh, canoes. That's the uh, teams down here in uh, lanes two. That's uh, Northern Phoenix in three, Lion Tsunami and out there in lane uh, also lane four happens to be Sampan Warriors. That's how even it is. This We could be possibly seeing how closest finish of the day. It's almost like they're tied together as they come down the course. It'll be a case of who will have the kick in the last 100 metres or so. And they're under the 100 metre mark. We're just starting to, to see a little bit of movement out there in lane, lane four. Sampan Warriors from Auraki. Dragon Boats are starting to make their move at this stage. Staying strong is Lion Tsunami. Very strong between those uh, first two teams. And just starting to drop off is uh, Northern Phoenix. But uh, they're going hammer and tong out there in lanes four and uh, three, shall I say, but it might be lane three right at the death. Lion Tsunami would have come across and uh, taken the victory. They're from Auckland Dragon Boats. So uh, good work from them. Sampan Warriors also hanging in there. And uh, like I said, Northern Phoenix probably just dropping away at the end in the third placing and Paddle Tears from Auraki finishing uh, their 500 metres. Awesome, we'll have a quick look at that and it just looks like the uh, canoe that was on the outside and that Sampan Warriors would have got the victory. So I do apologise from Lion Tsunami and just down here on the inside, Northern Phoenix, almost three quarters of a boat length 
finishing in uh, third placing. So uh, once again, very tight at the end. Akira Noitiwi. Well, races are moving very, very quickly. We've got our uh, Heat 68 out on the water. Premier Open 500 metres small boat. Heat 1 of 2 in lane 1, City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. Lane 2, Mark or Snappy International. Lane 3, BOP Dragon Flyers, Eastern Region DBA. Lane four, Steel Usos from Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Lane five, TMD Men, Auraki Dragon Boat. And in lane six, Waimaka Tech, Auraki Dragon Boat Association. That's our six starters for the race we have up on the start line. Very close to starting. And in fact, we have got the blower in the background, and that's the uh, sound of the start for this particular race. And they are on their way, race 68. It's uh, a pretty hectic start, I've got to say, out there in the lanes three and five. That's the Bay, Bay of Plenty Dragon, Dragon Flyers and TMD men have got off to the best uh, possible start. In fact, they've already put half a length on the rest of the Dragon Boats that are in this particular race. So just a reminder, lane one closest to us, uh, City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto, they've uh, looked like they've pretty much dropped off the pace at this stage of the race. Uh, Marco Snappy International with a little bit of work to do at this stage, remembering Bay of Plenty Dragon Flyers who got off to a very good start there in lane three, Eastern Region Dragon Boat Association, Steel Usos from Auckland Dragon Boat, but the team to watch at the moment, TMD Men from Auraki Dragon Boat Association, well, they're pretty much flying at this stage, and of course, out there in lane six, we have got Waimak Attack from Auraki Dragon Boat Association, but uh, already at this stage, man, there's probably about... Eight seconds covering the uh, whole the field at this point, coming down well under with uh, probably about 100 metres to go. Our leading crew, that's uh, TMD men from Auraki Dragon Boat Association. That's the uh, uh, canoe number five looking the ticket at this stage. Also down there in uh, lane three, we have got Bay of Plenty Dragonflyers from Eastern Region DBA trying to make a move at this stage. Just starting to pull uh, the uh, TMD men in with every stroke. So this could get tight near the finish, uh, everybody. They come down with about 50 metres to go, but I think they're going to run out of course at this stage. Sitting in uh, third place, Steel Usos have come from, from nowhere, but it's out there in lane five, team. MD, TMD men from Auraki will come through and uh, take out the victory. BOP Dragonflyers in second place and Steel Usos in uh, third placing. Wow, great uh, finish at the end there from uh, the uh, BOP Dragonflyers. Probably just left it a little bit late, but no doubt about it. TMD taking out the victory. Still one of our teams out on the water with a little bit of work to do, but they now touch base now, and that's the City Dragons from Tamaki Makoto finishing their race. But, uh, yeah, good good finish at the end there, but TMD men just too strong, too good at the end of the day.
Heat 69 up for decision. Next, Southern Man and Lane Nava. Southern Man? Southern Man. In lane one line, Pride in lane two, Poneki Dragons in three, Steel Toa in lane four, and Mako Marco Baiti in lane five. Lane six is a vacant lane. Just reminding teams, get your photos taken on the grass verge here by our photo wall to memories of the 2024 Dragon Boat Nationals here at Lake Katapiro. Get your photos taken there. Online viewers, don't forget our competitions that are, on, are still ongoing. Those prizes will be drawn later on this afternoon. Caltex, Bailey's and New Zealand Carbon Farm. Our supporters and sponsors, some huge prizes to be won there. It's a nearly set for race number 69 of the Uragata. Race 11 of today's programme. And that's just early days yet. We're just making Mimo for later on the day when you have completed your racing to clean your gear. There is a spray device situated right behind the drone tent. Make sure you'll spray all your gear on the grass verge or the tarmac area. We've got a very important message for the team manager of Dragonflyers from the Bay of Plenty. So the Bay of Plenty Dragonflyers team manager, please report Racing HQ. That is the Bay of Plenty Dragonflyers team manager. Can you please report to Racing HQ? So nearly set for our 69th race of the two-day regatta, and we are racing. This is a premier open heat, Southern Men. Lauren Lane, number one. Lane two, Lion Pride, Poneki Dragons in three, Steel Toa in four, Mako Baiti. Out in lane number five, and Australian friends have made the best beginning in race. In lane five, it is Marco, Mako Baiti. They lead early on over lane number one, Southern Men. Then Lion Pride in lane two. They are third early on. Poneki Dragons are fourth, are in lane number three, and lane number four are fifth, and that is Steel Toa. As they pedal through the first 75 metres, there is 15 to 20 metres top to bottom. Lane two has rest of the lead off lane number five, so Lion Pride, lane two, they lead. Lying second is lane number one, Southern Men. Then on the outside, lane five, Mako Baiti in third position. Three or four metres away in fourth spot will be lane three, Paul Nicky Dragons and Steel Toa. They are one length away, back in fifth position as they get towards the 125. The 150 should have make it 350 to paddle in our 69th race of the two-day regatta at National Boat Champs. And in front, it is Lion Pride, two metres clear. Lying second, Southern Men. Mako Baiti third, three metres away. And then four metres away, back in fourth position. It will be Paul Nicky Dragons and Steel Toa. Last of all, halfway line. Beckons as they cross it now. And there is 50, about 50 metres top to bottom. In front still remains Lion Pride. They've got a challenger on the inside. Southern Men ramping it up in lane one. Mako Baiti. They are third on the outside of the lake. Then Polnacki Dragons are fourth and back to Steel Toa. They are in fifth position at the 150 metre mark. Still in front. It is Lion Pride. They've got a challenger on the inside. Southern Men lifting. Then Mako Baiti on the outside. Back to Polnacki Dragons and Steel Toa. Inside the seven. Still in front. Who remains Lion Pride? Southern Men lifting lane one. To Lion Pride still in front. Here comes Southern Men on the inside. A serious dab. Still in front. Lion Pride. Southern Men lifting in lane one. Still in front. Lion Pride. Southern Men coming strongly closest to us. Lion Pride and Southern Men go to the line. Locked together. Who's it going to be? Southern Men. Southern men with, with drove through the line to grab the victory off Lion Pride. Marco Baiti have run third, then back to Poneki Dragons and Steel Toa. Action replay coming up. Lion Pride still in front. Southern men drove through the line and they'll get the Dragon Boat in front just as it, when it matters right on the finishing line to defeat Lion Pride by a Dragon Boat nose. Then back to Mako Baiti in third. Paul Nicky Dragons in steel toe. A good finish. Race 69. But Southern Men get the win in lane one, defeating Lion Pride by the barest of margins. Yeah, super finish to race number 69's Lion Pride. 
led for probably 99% of the event and just right on the line Southern Men drove the Dragon Boat through they picked it up and threw it over the line and they get a very close decision go their way over Lion Pride Mako Bitey they were gallant in third on the outside they're only four or five meters away in third spot then Paul Nicky Dragons in fourth and Steel Toa were back in fifth position Dragon Boats at the start for our senior CMB combined woman heat six out there Bay Dragons, Margaritas, they all go from one, Amazon Hearts in two, 22 Sisters in three, OPC Witches, Britches will start from lane four, Bay Dragons, Senoritas in five, and on the outside is Taranaki Dragons, they'll start in lane six, all crews made their way to the start, Bay Dragons representing Eastern Region, Amazon Hearts from the Aoraki, 22 Sisters, Waikato, OPC Witches Prishes, another team from the Aoraki DBA, Bay Dragon Senoritas, Eastern Region representation, and Taranaki Dragons also uh, from the local Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka Armour Association. Hopefully, the team manager from Bay of Plenty Dragon Flyers has made their way down uh, to Racing HQ. You're acquired there if you haven't already made your way down there. Now just a bit of a cool breeze has settled on the lake at the present point in time. But the Met Service weather forecast does assure us that it's supposed to be a beautiful afternoon with light winds and a high of 21. So hopefully that ominous cloud can break away and win for a bit of a beautiful afternoon. And the racing will just be as hot on the lake as well. And just for our online viewers, the start list of the upcoming event. This is a B and C combined heat. A Bay Dragons, a Senior B. Amazon Hearts, a Senior B. 22 Sisters, a Senior B. OPC Witches, Britches, a Senior B. A Bay Dragons, a Senoritas, a Senior C. And a Taranaki Dragons, a Senior C from a lane number six. The six crews engaged in a race in number 70. Six dragon boats on the lake. So last minute instructions from the starter down at the starting point there, lane number six, Taranaki Dragons, just bringing the dragon boat into line. Lane number two, Amazon Hearts, just a wee bit skew with down at the start there. They'll bring the dragon boat in around as well, just the sun trying to peek through here at Lake Katapiro. Working towards our high of 21 for the day and these winds, all reports will drop as the day progresses. So lane six, Taranaki Dragons, they're just bringing their dragon boat in a line with the pontoon, reminding you this is a senior B and C combined heat. Amazon Hearts bringing their boat back as well. Lane 2, Southern Wahine, Lane 3, Mako Havoc, 
Uh, we are off in a racing and a race number 70 the senior B and C woman combined a team and the quickest team to hit the water is 22 sisters and lane number three early advantage over lane number two closest to the members on hearts lying third bay dragons margaritas they're in lane number one lying third in fourth position bay dragons senoritas they're in lane number five lying fifth in lane number four is OPC witches britches and back to lane six at Taranaki dragons they're in sixth position 25 to 30 metres top the bottom through the first quarter of the race and 22 sisters showing their authority they lead by a boat length early on lying second is amazon hearts third is bay dragons margaritas fourth is amazon is going to be bay dragons senoritas they're in lane five lying fifth in lane four is going to be opc witches bridges and on the outside taranaki dragons they're in sixth position as the six crews they are approaching the halfway mark in race 70 and it is 22 sisters with a one boat length advantage lying second Amazon Hearts Bay Dragons Margaritas they're in third position Bay Dragons Senoritas they're in fourth spot about four metres to the better of OPC Witches Britches in fifth and then back to Taranaki Dragons they're in sixth position out in lane six there's a good 50 to 60 metres top to bottom at the halfway mark and 22 sisters opening them up here leads by one and a half boat lengths make it two at the halfway mark lying second Amazon Hearts. Third's going to be Bay Dragon Margaritas. Their Dragon Boat Mate in fourth position. That is Bay Dragon Senoritas. Then OPC Witches Britches and Bay Lying Last is at Tanaraki Dragons inside the 125 it's a one boat show here 22 sisters two boat links clear now there's a very good battle for second out at the closest two lanes we've got Bay Dragons Margaritas are putting the dragon boat in front of Amazon Hearts for second and third then it's out to Bay Dragons Senoritas OPC Witches Bridges and Taranaki Dragons but inside the 50 metre mark away go 22 sisters they lead by two boat links let's have a little boat peep this battle for second between Bay Dragons, Margaritas and Amazon Hearts. Then it's back to Bay Dragons, Senoritas. Then OPC, Witches, Bridges and Taranaki Dragons. But down the line, easy as you like. 22 sisters will win it. Second's going to be very, very close between Bay Dragons, Margaritas are closest to us. Amazon Hearts, that is going to be particularly close. Who's going to grab that? Lane two. Amazon Hearts second. Bay Dragons Margaritas will be third. Now fourth or fifth is turning into a bit of a battle too between Bay Dragons Senoritas and OPC Witches Bridges. Witches Bridges from OPC coming back at Bay City. Bay Dragons Senoritas as they cross the line in that order and then Taranaki Dragons in sixth position. Easy kill there for... 22 sisters getting the win. It was very close for that second and third spot. But Amazon Hearts got the nod ahead of Bay Dragon Margaritas. Uh, one, two, three in race number 70. Here is the replay just to confirm that second and third spot. As you see, lane number two, which is Amazon Hearts, get the Dragon Boat in front on the line to grab second just ahead of our closest lane in Bay Dragon Margaritas. That is race number 70. We'll just look at the photo for fourth and fifth. And it looks like OPC Witches Britches in lane four get the nod over Bay Dragon Senoritas and then better boat length back of two Taranaki Dragons who weren't that far away in sixth position. Over the page, the race is 71-72, brought to you by Steve Harris, our senior A woman and a senior A open heat, and Dragon Boats have made their way down to the start line. Inaine hit 71. 
That's the senior A woman 500 metre small boat. Lane one, we have got 22 sisters. Lane two, Jafets. Lane three, Hauraki Blue Sapphire. Lane four, Hauraki Blues Azuri. Lane five, Woman of Steel. And in lane six, HCW Woman. Almost in place at this point, just down in the uh, start area. It's got a little bit breezy down here at uh, water level, I've got to say. But still reasonably pleasant conditions. I suspect there, there is a little bit of a breeze, maybe a little bit of a southwesterly coming in that's going to be behind mm -hmm. these uh, dragon boaters as they come up the course. wind just playing its past is a team at number three Hauraki Blue Sapphire get their boat into position so they're just backing up on the pontoon at this stage everybody else looking in a good position start of heat 71 here we go we look like we are good to go for that third dragon boat to get into position. Lane four also getting the nose of their boat around. Wind is playing a little bit of havoc. Westerly breeze just pushing the canoes to their left. Once they get them round again, we'll be on our journey. You're watching uh, day two of the 2024 NZBA Dragon Boat National Championships at uh, Karapiro. A very fortunate yesterday we had a very calm day out on the water a little bit more breezier today i've got to say There we have it. We have a start here in race 71. It is the Senior A Woman 500 metre small boat hit one of one. Good clean start from all of our crews, especially in lane one closest to us. 22 sisters from Waikato Dragon Boat and a walker off to a fast start. Almost a full boat length in the first 50 metres that pulled on the the other five crews. Jaffetz are in second place. They are in lane two Auckland Dragon Boat Association. In lane three we've got Hauraki Blues Sapphire Auckland Dragon Boat. Lane four we've got Hauraki Blues Azuri. In lane five travelling quite nicely in second place are Woman of Steel from Auckland Dragon Boats and in lane six HC Woman from Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka that makes up our six crews on the water but at this stage and 
of the race. 22 sisters are making no race of this. They are certainly on a mission. Haven't quite got to the halfway point at this stage, but they're looking really good with this wind. I would imagine the, uh, the steerers are certainly having to work over time at this stage. The further down the course they come, the more stronger they are starting to uh, to look. Our 22 sisters, in fact, they look like they might be even increasing that lead at uh, this stage of the race well and truly over that halfway point looking out there to lane five woman of steel well they're certainly still looking uh, strong at this point and they may have also pulled a full uh, dragon boat length ahead of uh, their nearest rival as well but down here in front of us with under 100 meters to go is the team in lane 122 sisters and uh, boy are they working in unison looking very strong technically looking very good and I've got to say from my vantage point their timing looks stupendous as they come down the course once again that full dragon boat length in second placing out there in lane lane five is woman of steel 22 sisters will come away with the win no question whatsoever here also down there in lane two traveling well but in third place are Jaffetz as I look at the finish line big round of applause for woman of steel for Auckland Dragon Boating. They will take it out. Woman, uh, 22 sisters, begging your pardon, will take it out. Woman of steel in uh, second place and Jafets are in uh, third place. I'll get a replay on uh, those uh, minor placings as well for you, but no doubt about it. 22 sisters taking out the victory in the Heat 71. Here we go, we get another look at that again. And Woman of Steel definitely taking that second placing from Jafetz of Auckland in Heat 71, but no doubt of our, about our winners in Lane 1, 22 sisters doing the business. I uh, just got a memo for Mary Gibson, Margie Arota, and Jody Sparrow to Racing HQ, please. Mary Gibson, Margie Arota, and Jody Sparrow to Racing HQ, please. And also, we've, if you've lost your cell phone, there's been a cell phone found. Uh, you can, if you can identify it at Racing HQ, you will be reunited with it. So there has been a cell phone and a case found on the lake. Not in the lake, but on the lake. But if you've lost your cell phone, please go to Racing HQ. And if you can identify your phone, you can be reunited. Now, Heat 72, just on the starters line, just the three starters. This is for the Senior A Open 500 small boat heat, a one of one. In lane two, we have uh, Wairo Brothers from Waikato Dragon Boat and Walker. In lane four, Random Jeffers, they are from Auckland Dragon Boat Association. And in lane five, HC Open from Waikato Dragon Boat and Walker. So good representation there from the uh, local club here in the Hamilton region. And they are set up nicely on the start line. Just in our starters' hands. There we go. There's the, there's the Huda we have racing here. It's underway in heat of 72. Remembering closest to us, and they've got off to the best possible start, uh, Wairo Brothers from Waikato Dragon and uh, Waka. In fact, they've already pretty much put half a boat length on the rest of these crews out there in lane five, HC Open. Also from, well, pretty much the brother team from Waikato Dragon Boat and uh, Waka Hama, but uh, already with a little bit of work to do, is in lane four, Random Jeffers from Auckland Dragon Boat, just 
start dropping into that third placing, but uh, the further up the course they come, the better. I've got to say, Wide O Brothers from Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka are looking at this stage, looking very calm and collected as they come up the course, like a nice little southwesterly behind them at this point. There is a little bit of a comeback there from Random Jaffers from Auckland Dragon Boating, trying to push hard for that second placing, which uh, with uh, HC Open from Waikato Dragon Boat and uh, Waka Armour. But at the moment, this is uh, uh, a little bit of a clinic coming on from Lane 2. Wairo Brothers looking uh, very, very good at this stage to come through and uh, take out this particular race, naturally... Basically, uh, hopefully there's no disaster for this uh, uh, team in lane two, bearing any sort of natural disasters. I think they'll come through and uh, take out this race very, very comfortably. White Our Brothers, they've looked good from uh, woe to go in this race. Second placing HC. W open from Waikato Bo Dragon Boating and uh, Waka. They will hold strong for second place. But as they come down with uh, around 60 metres to go, lane two, White Arrow Brothers have uh, looked in unison all the way down the course. Second placing, HC open and uh, random Jeffers with... Uh, from Auckland Dragon Boat with a little bit of work to do but put your hands together for our winning team Waito Brothers from Waikato Dragon Boating and Wakahama too strong, too good for the rest of this field second placing HC Open from uh, Waikato Dragon Boating but they're a good several seconds behind and probably a good uh, 10 seconds plus way back in third placing just touching the finish line a random Jaffers from Auckland Dragon Boating that pretty much wraps up heat 72 as uh, we uh, move on to our next race which will be heat uh, 73 and I've got to say we are running well ahead of schedule this race was head scheduled for 1020 if I look at our time local 9.55 a.m. here at Karapiro and uh, he's probably warmed up his uh, voice I know he's looking pretty warm he's got the uh, hoodie Hat on, I'll pass you over to uh, Richard for our next two calls. Kia ora no. Dragon Boating is getting set for race number 73. Six crews down at the start point. Just another memo for those three individuals to make their way to a racing HQ if they haven't already. Mary Gibson, Margie Arolta, and a Jody Sparrow. So Mary, Margie, and Jody, you are required at racing HQ. And also, if you have managed, or if you've somehow managed to lose your cell phone, a cell phone has been found lakeside. So if you can identify it, of course, at Racing HQ, you will be reunited with your cell phone. So know that everybody's hustling and bustling to see if they've lost their cell phone. If you have, there's been one found, and it's at Racing HQ. <clears throat> and don't forget to get your photos taken this afternoon or this morning at the photo board here on the lake, just inside the grassy verge next door to Racing HQ. A few memories to be sought as part of your national quest here at Lake Karapiro. And there is a start list for our online viewers. Lane one, a breast of life. Lane two, Waikato treasure chest pearls. And their dragon boat mate, kennel mate, stable mate. Waikato treasure chest diamonds from lane three. The pink dragons from four, busting with life five and can survive in lane six. So also just put back in your memory bank that when the completion of Dragon Boating this afternoon to please clean your gear. And there is a spray device located behind the drone marquee, the lakeside, so please clean your gear thoroughly on the grass area or the tarmac next door. Don't sort of spray next door the electrical device that is there and keep the lake beautifully and clean as part of our requirements, our biosecurity requirements, cleaning your gear at the completion of uh, racing this afternoon.
as it's just ticked over 10 o'clock local time here at Lake Caterpillar, we're up to race number 73. Our target is 117 races today. Breast cancer heat, heat one of one, 500 metres the journey, heat 73. And down at the start, manoeuvring their boats into position. When the starting crew is happy, they'll send them on their way. One of the pink, one of the boats in this upcoming event is the Pink Dragons going through their motto, P for passionate, I for inspiring, N for no boobs, K for kind, D for determined, R for racy, A for awesome, G for glorious, O for outrageous, N for naughty but nice, and S for survivors. Pink Dragons, and they go by their motto, and they're one of the crews about to face the starter in race number 73. Looks like a pretty good line down there. When the starting crew are happy, they'll send them on their journey. 500 metres ahead of them. Breast cancer heat. The Waikato treasure chest duos in lanes two and three, pearls and diamonds. Nearly set. We are racing at race number 73, Heat of the Breast Cancer Division. Best start, lane number six on the outside, can survive, hit the water running. Lane one, a breast of life, they are lying second early on. And then it is lane number five, a busting with life, a third. And then lane number three, the Pink Dragons. Then the two Waikato teams, Pearls and Diamonds, a fifth and sixth respectively. As they paddle the way through the first 100 metres. On the outside, can survive, they lead. Into second place now in lane number three, Waikato. Kato Treasure Chest Diamonds. They lie in second, uh, just ahead of the Pink Dragons, who are third. Fourth in lane five is Busting with Life. Then back to White Kato Treasure Chest Pearls in fifth position. And Breast of Life uh, back in sixth. Uh, but there's only 10 to 15 metres top to bottom. And it is lane six lead. Can survive with the Dragon Boat in front. They've got a five metre advantage. Lying second is White Kato Treasure Chest Diamonds. They are situated in lane three. Lying third in lane number four is the Pink Dragons. Then lane number five, Busting with Life. Back to lane two, Waikato Treasure Chest Pearls. And lane number one, A Breast of Life. As they get towards the halfway line and still in front, it is lane six, Can Survive. They lead by half a boat length. Lying second is Waikato Treasure Chest Diamond. Then it's the Pink Dragons busting with life. Back to Waikato Treasure Chest Pearls. And last of all will be a Breast of Life in lane one. At the 200 metre mark, still in front, can survive. They lead by a boat length now. Lying second, it's very close. Second, third and fourth lanes, three to five. Maybe lane five, busting with life. A bulldoze their way into second position at the expense of the Pink Dragons. Separating those two in lane number four will be the Pink Dragons. Then back to Waikato Treasure Chest Pearls. And La Breast of Life will whip them in in sixth position at the 125. Still in front, can survive. They've got a herd after them. We lead up by the Pink Dragons, busting with life in Waikato Treasure Chest Diamonds. Then back to Waikato Treasure Chest Pearls in a Breast of Life inside the 75. It is still can survive. There's a battle royale for second, third, and fourth. 
Leading that charge at the moment is Waikato Treasure Chest Diamonds, then the Pink Dragons, then Busting with Life, then back to Waikato Treasure Chest Pearls in a breast of life. Uh, but with about 40 metres to paddle, it is all can survive. They've got a three quarter of a boat length advantage. The true battle is for second, third, and fourth. That's been headed up by Busting with Life, Pink Dragons, and Waikato Treasure Chest. Then back to Waikato Treasure Chest Pearls in a breast of life. But down the line they go. Can survive's going to win it. Who's going to grab second? Second, lane two. Lane two has, sorry, lane four. May have grabbed second. That's the Pink Diamonds ahead of Busting with Life. Waikato Treasure Chest Diamonds. Pearls from Waikato Treasure Chest in fifth. And then a Breast of Life. We'll need the slow-mo replay just to confirm second through fourth. Can survive successful. Who's going to grab second? Lane three. Lane three. Waikato Treasure Chest. Oh, just maybe over the Pink Dragons and Busting with Life. That is very, very close for second and third with lanes three and four going to the line locked together. That is the Pink Dragons and Waikato Treasure Chest Diamonds. Busting with Life fourth, then Waikato Treasure Chest Pearls and a Breast of Life. Good race. Can survive too good. Premier Woman heat up next. Six Dragon Boats assembling at the start for a Premier Woman Heat. Jafetz Lane 1 from the Auckland DBA. Paul Naki Dragons Lane 2, Central Region. Random Jaffers from the Auckland DBA Lane 3. OPC from Aoraki Lane 4. Waikato Snap Dragons Lane 5 from Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka Ama Association. And Pegasus Dragons will start Lane 6 from the Aoraki DBA. They are the crews from... And race number 74.
Looking likely for a start in race number 74, Premier Woman Heat. They're getting ready for a start in race number 74. Just a wee bit more wind out there at the moment. Just make it a little bit tougher to get the boats aligned on the pontoon. I see a lot of teams having their photos taken on the grassy verge next to the racing HQ. I think it was a mascot round before. So all your team, there we go. All the teams and mascots are getting their photo taken there by the NZWA Dragon Boating official flag, which is the official area to get your photos taken. Just behind that, there's a couple of... A cardboard cutout dragon boats have your team photo done as well, but the mascots getting there down the sun, having their photos all taken together, which is really nice to see. Great to see all the sides here with mascots. And we're getting very close to a start in race number 74. And the starter is happy and sends him on the way. In our 74th race of our two-day Dragon Boat National, it is a premier women's event. And who is best to begin? Lane four, OPC out very quickly. They lead early on from lane one, the Jafets. Lane number six is lying third. That is Pegasus Dragons. Then back to lane two, Poniki Dragons. Lane five, lying fifth. That is Waikato Snap Dragons. And then lane three, middle of the pack. It is random Jaffers. Uh, so they just sorted themselves into order through the first 100 metres and out in front. It is lane four, OPC. Uh, they lead early on only just though, but it looks like lane one now. Jaffets are pushing their boat into the front. So lane one lead change. Jaffets, they lead now over lane four, OPC lying second. In third position is Bolnicki Dragons in lane two. Then out to lane number six, uh, Pegasus Dragons. Lane three, lying fifth, that is random Jaffers. And then back to lane five, a white cut all, a snap dragon. So halfway between the quarter and the halfway mark. And out in front, it is going to be lane number one, uh, Jafets. They lead at this present point in time by about a half a boat length. Lane four is lying second, that is OPC. Third in lane two, Bolnicki Dragons. And then lane six, Pegasus Dragons. Back to lane number three, Random Jaffers. And in sixth position is going to be Waikato Snap Dragons. It's a good 25 to 30 metres top to bottom. And in front, it is lane one, Jafets at the halfway mark. They lead, lying second is OPC. Third, Bolnicki Dragons. And then lying fourth in lane three, random Jeffers on the outside. Pegasus Dragons in back to Waikato Snapdragons inside the last 200 metres. In front, closest to us, Jaffets opening up now, three quarters of a boat length. Lying second is OPC, Polnicki Dragons in third position. And then back to lane number three and random Jaffers on the outside, Pegasus Dragons. And then Waikato Snapdragons inside the 125. It's still lane one clear, Jaffets one boat length clear, lying second is going to be OPC. Uh, they've got a challenge on their shoulders now as in lane two, Polnicki Dragons coming through. Then into lane number three, lying fourth, that is Random Jaffers on the outside, Pegasus Dragons, and then back to Waikato Snap Dragons inside the 50. Still it is one Jaffets in front. Now very tight for second and third now with OPC and Polnicki Dragons, then back to Random Jaffers on the outside, Pegasus Jaffers Dragons, and then Waikato Snap Dragons, but down the line, Jaffets are going to win it easy uh, by a boat length so Jaffets first who's going to grab second second is very tight between Polnicki Dragons and OPC looks like lane two Polnicki Dragons get second OPC third they're followed by random Jaffers and on the outside Pegasus Dragons and then back to White Cattle Snap Dragons the Jaffets from the Auckland DBA too good a boat length advantage and they win Polnicki Dragons will grab second OPC from lane four they will be in third position that is race number 74, 75, 76 up next. The Premier Woman, two heats for the Premier Woman division. Steve Harris will bring you all the action.
Kia ora noe te iwi i nai nei Reihi whititakau mā rima Premier Wahine 500 metre small boat Two of three in lane one Te Poutini, Auraki Lane two, TMD Woman, Auraki in lane three, Woman of Steel, Auckland Dragon Boat. Lane four, Bay of Plenty, Dragon Flyers, Eastern Region DBA. Lane five, Waimak Vibes, Wahine, Auraki Dragon Boat Association. And lane six is Can 2, Central Region DBA. Got a little bit breezy down here on the course. Once again, just waiting for our boats to line up for this particular race. Getting through the program reasonably quickly. Looks like we're running about a half an hour ahead of schedule as I look down the course and I can see all six are almost in place. So maybe about 30 seconds to a minute away from the start. In Rehi, Fetutuko Marima. There's a bit of paper flies around here in the commentary area. And just waiting for Waimak Vibes Wahine to bring the nose of the boat around and back into place. That uh, southwesterly that's coming in, just playing a few tricks for all and sundry. I saw a great day's racing yesterday, 59 races. In uh, yesterday's programs, we saw some very exciting racing. Had the uh, 2,000 metre turn events. Three races which uh, kicked off the start of the 2024 New Zealand Dragon Boat National Championships. Always an exciting time for the Dragon Boating uh, community. Once again, a bit of a shout out to all our manu manuhiri, our visitors to this event. Interesting to see how long our starters give the, the, the uh, paddlers before we can get them into position. We are racing in heat 75, Premier Woman 500 metre small boat. It's the second heat of three. Just remembering going through our cruise, Te Potini from Auraki in one. In lane two, TMD Woman also from Auraki in lane two. Third lane, Woman of Steel, Auckland Dragon Boat. Lane four, Bay of Plenty, Dragon Flyers, Eastern Region DBA. Lane five, Waimak Vibes, Wahine, Auraki. DBA and in lane six can two from Central Region DBA. Good clean start from all of these crews and it's pretty even Stevens as they go past the first 60, 70 metres of this 500 metre course. Looking especially good is lane four. BOP Dragonflies from the Eastern Region 
just got a little bit of a lead. I'd say it's probably a half a metre at this stage from the team in lane three, Woman of Steel, Auckland Dragon Boats, and right beside them, TMD from Auraki, travelling uh, nicely at this point in time. They haven't quite reached the halfway stage, but it's an even Stevens battle between the first four crews of Te Potini, TMD, Women of Steel, and BOP uh, Dragon Flyers. In fact, Lane 2 TMD Woman just showing the showing the way as they come over the halfway point. There's a whole lot of work though for WiMac Vibes, Wahine and Cantu at this stage. They've dropped back by a good boat length or so. Coming down to around the 120 metre mark, it is Lane 2 TMD Woman who have uh, taken the lead at this stage down here in Lane 1 to Potini. Also travelling nicely and right beside them in Lane 3, Woman of Steel and BOP Dragon Flyers also pushing hard as they uh, come down with probably around about 60 metres to go but they're starting to push hard now lane at two especially TMD Woman Auraki Dragon Boat Association as they come down to the line I think they'll hold strong with that lead, Te Potini trying to push all the way but I think they'll just run out of course as they come down to the finish line. You'll uh, hear lane two come across and take it out. TMD Woman from Moraki just on the inside. Also Te Potini and uh, they were maybe in second place but I'll get a replay of that very, very shortly. Here we are just watching that finish line. Two, one and four. So just to confirm those, just to confirm those. Oh, just to confirm those uh, final placings in uh, Heat uh, 75. Turanga Tuatai, TMD Woman, Auraki DBA. Turanga Tuarua, Te Pautini, Auraki DBA. And uh, Turanga Tuatoru, BOP Dragon Flyers, Eastern Region DBA. Whaiake nei, Heat 76 Premier Woman, 500 metres boat, and it's the third heat of three. In fact, they're lining up on the uh, start line now. I'll quickly go through those teams. In lane one, Wairarapa Upper Woman, Central Region DBA. Lane two, Southern Wahine, Auraki DBA. Lane three, Marco Havoc International. Lane four, Marco Mayhem. International and in lane five, Otepote Matamata Oraki DBA is our five teams that will battle it out for the Premier Woman Small Boat Heat three of three. Just setting themselves nicely in position.
a little bit of... Yeah, not too far away from our start here. Premier Woman 500 metre small boat heat, three of three. And that's under the starter's orders. We have racing here in uh, heat 76. Remembering closest to us, what an upper woman. Second lane two, Southern Wahine. Lane three, Marco Havoc. Lane four, Marco Mayhem. And in lane five, Oteputi Matamata. And they are off to a very good start. So close between lane five and two over the first uh, 50 metres as they make their way down the course. Anything can happen though in Dragon Boat Racing. Once again, it's all about keeping your composure, getting that getting that stroke right, right, and more importantly, getting your timing right. Lane two, Southern Wahine, just showing out by well, probably a half boat a length at this stage from the team out in lane five, Ote Pote Matamata, who are in second place. No doubt about our leader though, Arahi. Aratu Southern Wahine with a, a lead, although that's been uh, closed up in the uh, last uh, few metres or so because making their move is Otipoti Matamata making their move and uh, getting uh, closer and closer to our leading team, Southern Wahine. Down there in lane one, wired up a woman, Central Region uh, DBA, DBA, beg your pardon, also battling it out as well, starting to drop off though. The two teams, lane three, Marco Havoc and Marco Mayhem, with a little bit of work to do. Well over the halfway mark, and the battle is uh, still on at this stage, but it's uh, lane two, uh, Southern Wahine, showing uh, the way, but only just from the team out in lane five, Otepoti Matamata. Can they make a bit of a move with uh, less than uh, 80 metres to go in this uh, 500 metre race? Those are the two that are going to battle it out for first and second placing. Third placing down here in line, lane one, uh, wired up a wired up a woman. But they come down 60 metres to go. It's a Southern Wahine from Oraki Dragon Boat Association. Going to be hard to catch from there. They've got uh, almost a full boat length on the rest of the cruise so they'll come down and uh, take it out we'll hit the line shortly so tuatahi southern wahine tuarua motipote matamata and uh, tuatoru wararapa a woman those are the ones that will sit in those first three positions of course uh, Marco Havoc and Marco Mayhem making out the rest of the cruise so just to confirm Turanga Tuatahi Southern Wahine to Turanga Tuarua Otepoti Matamata and Turanga Wararapa Tuatoru there we go. That wraps it up. That's my stint for a couple of races. I'll hand you on to the dulcet racing tones of Richard Bromley. And he'll be bringing Heat 77 to you very, very shortly. I uh, just got a call for the team manager from the Bayo Plenty uh, Dragonflies to please report to Racing HQ. So that's the team manager from the Bayo Bay Plenty Dragonflies to please report to a Racing HQ. 
We're up to race number 77, a couple of premier mixed heats coming up. Dragon uh, lane number 70, uh, race 77, lanes one and six will be vacant. We've got the Dragon Riders representing the Auckland DBA. And lanes three to five, all from the old Aki DBA, Sampan Warriors in three, Northern Phoenix four, Ridge Riders in five. So that's the start list on screen for our viewers online. Dragon Riders two, Sampan Warriors three, Northern Phoenix four, and Ridge Riders in lane number five. They're getting ready at the start for race number 77. Stand by for a start. So next two heats belong to the Premier Mixed. So nearly set for race number 77. Lanes one and six vacant. Lane two, Dragon Riders three, Sampan Warriors. Northern Phoenix four, Ridge Riders in five. And away they go. We are racing in race number 77. And out in front, early start and who's in front early on dragon riders closest to us in lane one they lead early on from ridge riders out in lane five are lying second then back to lane number three and sampan warriors third and northern phoenix the fourth of the four dragon boats is only five to six meters top to bottom early stages dragon riders lane number two they have a slight advantage over ridge riders out in lane and number five then it is back to lane number four northern phoenix who will drive the dragon boat into the third position and sampan warriors in fourth but there's a very close 10 meters top to bottom dragon riders uh, they lead at this point uh, they lead four to five meters over ridge riders uh, they're on the outside of the lake in second position and then it is back to a uh, sand pan warriors lying third just ahead of northern phoenix through the first 150 meters no change out in front it is dragon riders they lead by two to three meters over ridge riders they're in second position and then back to sand pan warriors are lying third then back to northern phoenix in fourth position is the four crew they are approaching the halfway mark and still in front on the inside it is dragon riders they lead over ridge riders then sampan warriors in northern phoenix as they get to the halfway mark still in front closest to us it is dragon riders a five meter advantage over ridge riders then back to sampan warriors in third position and northern phoenix are lying fourth and they get inside the last 150 meters of race number 77 no change dragon riders are the lamp lighters they lead five to six meters over ridge riders lying second in third position is Sampan Warriors and fourth is Northern Phoenix 100 metres to pedal in race 77 still led up by Ridge Ride Dragon Riders they have got a half a boat length advantage over Ridge Riders are trying to lift the ante then back to Sampan Warriors in third position and Northern Phoenix in fourth spot inside the last 60 still Dragon Riders lane 2 they lead Ridge Riders are trying to bridge the gap Sampan Warriors are holding down third over Northern Phoenix uh, but they get towards the shadows on the winning post and race number 77 it's going to be dragon riders they'll see it through they cross the line they win by about a boat length they really poured it on late in the piece and they win easily ridge riders grab second third's going to be sam pan warriors in lane three at uh, just ahead of northern phoenix there is race number 77 taken out by Dragon Riders. They're in lane two. I've got a boat length advantage win over Ridge Riders. Sampan Warriors with third and Northern Phoenix with fourth across the line.
Next race to go is our premier mix. Uh, Dragon Boats are making their way down to the start. Lanes one and six once again are vacant. Lion, Tsunami will go from two. Padleteers three. Salt Dragons four. And Marlborough Dragons, they're in lane number five. There's the start list online for our online viewers. Lion Tsunami 2, Padleteers 3, Salt Dragons 4, Marlborough Dragons, they're in lane number 5. So Dragon Boats down at the start for race number 78. Just a, a shout out to the hardworking girls who are enjoying the two days from the Taranaki Dragon Boat crew. Just had a couple of a visit from a couple of cracking chicks. Ladies, should I say, Helen and Robin. And they come on down, have a bit of a yarn to them. Just some facts, really. I mean, when you think about it, their standard boat age added up, that is, 1,423, an average age of 65, and their senior sea boat, an average age of 66. So... If that's not inspiration, what is a big heads up and a yell out to the girls from the Taranaki Dragon Boating Club. And a special yell out to Helen and Robin who popped down to have a bit of a yarn. Great to catch up with them. And hope the rest of the regatta goes well for you ladies. So race number 78, Premier Mixed, four crews are down at the starting line, lanes one and six are vacant, Lion Tsunami from two, Padleteers three, Salt Dragons four, and Marlborough Dragons from lane five. And hopefully the team manager from the Bay of Plenty Dragon Flyers have made their way down to Racing HQ. We're ready for a start. Race 78, racing. Four boats on the journey. First to begin, quickest out lane number two, closest to us, Lion Tsunami. They lead early on from lane five on the outside, Marlborough Dragon Boating Club. Lying third is lane number four, that is Salt Dragons, then back to Padleteers in lane two. Five to six metres, top to bottom, early on, early stages of race 78. And in front, on the inside, Lion Tsunami. They lead Marlborough Dragons on the outside. Lying third poises Salt Dragons, then back to Padleteers, back in fourth position. Halfway between the quarter and halfway mark in race 78. And making every post a winner is Lion Tsunami. The other dragon boat crew closest to the lakeside. They lead two to three metres. Lying second, Marlborough Dragons. Third is Salt Dragons. And then back to fourth is the Padleteers. As they're getting towards the halfway mark, still no change. There's a good 15 metres top to bottom. In front, Lion Tsunami. Now being challenged by Marlborough Dragons on the outside. These two boats are going to war out in front. Uh, they've got about a five to six metre advantage. Now we have Salt Dragons in similar margin. Back to Salt Dragons in fourth position. As they paddle their way towards the halfway mark. Still in front. Lane number two. Lion Tsunami being challenged by Marlborough Dragons on the outside. They've opened up to about three quarters of a boat length over Salt Dragons. Lying third. And then a back to Padleteers in fourth position. Inside the last 200 metres. Still in front. It is Lion Tsunami. They lead two to three metres. Mulba Dragons are trying to bridge the gap out in lane five. Then followed by Salt Dragons lying third and Padleteers fourth. 150 to paddle. And race number 78, Premier Mix 500. And it is still Lion Tsunami. They're only a metre clear now. Mulba Dragons are lifting the ante out in lane five. Followed inside by Salt Dragons and Padleteers. We're inside 100 metres of race number 78. And still the lamplighter. It is Lion Tsunami. Army. They're under challenge now on the outside, Marlborough Dragons. They're followed by Salt Dragons and Padleteers inside the 75. It is still Lion Tsunami in front. Ken Marlborough Dragons bridge the gap. They're doing a pretty good job of it. They're one metre behind. Then it's back to Salt Dragons and Padleteers. Lion Tsunami is still in front. Marlborough Dragons are trying to lift on the outside and now putting a surge on. It is still Lion Tsunami in front. Marlborough Dragons are trying to bridge the gap. Lion Tsunami 
Tsunami still in front. Mulba Dragons are coming up, but they're going to fall short. Lion Tsunami get the win over Mulba Dragons. Third's going to be Salt Dragons and a length back to a Paddler Tears. Lion Tsunami and get the victory in a race number 78. Mulba Dragons only about two or three metres away. And then back to Salt Dragons and Paddler Tears. Look at the slow mo replay. It's a, it's, it's a narrow decision, but a decision uh, to Lion Tsunami. Maybe a metre or two over Mulba Dragons, brave in second. Salt Dragons hold down third and Paddler Tears. They will be fourth across the line. We've got two more heats before our first of our finals for the day. They are two premier open 500 metre heats and then a couple of finals uh, to complete the first 82 races of the day. So the next two races brought to you live here at Lake Carapio, Steve Harris. Hello again, everybody. We have uh, race 79 on the start line. Quickly go through these teams. Lane 1, Pornica Dragons. Lane 2, White Mac Attack. Lane the 3, Steel Ulsors. Lane 4, City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto. Lane 5, Southern Men. And Lane 6, Marco Baiti. Those are our six teams as they line up and almost in prep for start of race 79. It's Premier Men. Premier Open, beg your pardon, 500 metre small boat heat one of two. Got to say, looking good on that start line. So just waiting for the comms to come through from the starter. There we go. We have it. We have a start. We are racing in race 79, begging your pardon, Premier Open 500 metres. Lane at one, Pornicky Dragons from Central Region DBA. Lane two, Waimak Attack from Oraki. Dragon Boat Association. Lane three, Steel Usos from Auckland Dragon Boats. Out for a very good start. Lane four, dropping off the pace considerably. City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto, Auckland Dragon Boat Association. And in lane five, Southern Men, Oraki. Dragon Boat Association. And in lane five, Marco Baiti from uh, International. So good clean start from all of these crews. Especially good though, out there in lanes one and five. Lane one, Pornicky Dragons, and lane five, Southern Men from Oraki Dragon Boat Association. It's a bit chilly this morning, but it certainly won't affect the Southern Men out in lane five. It's probably mild conditions for them as they come down uh, to the uh, halfway point of this uh, 500 metre race. So lanes uh, one, five and six battling it out at this stage. But leading is the team in lane five, Southern Men from uh, Oraki. They have uh, got around about a quarter of a boat length lead from the team out there in lane six. That's uh, Marco Baiti. That's the international. And in lane one, Pornicky Dragons as they come down under 100 metres. You can certainly hear the effort coming through the effects down here at uh, the uh, ground level but out there in lane 5 it's uh, Southern Men with the lead at the stage out there in lane 6 uh, we have got Marco Baiti and in lane 1 Pornicky Dragons just starting to make a move with about 50 metres to go but they might be running out of course it's lane 5 Southern Men uh, Auraki who uh, will come through and uh, take out this race as they come down to the finish line, I'll give it to them in uh, first placing, second placing, Marco Baiti, and in third placing down here in uh, lane three, Pornicky Dragons. I'll have a quick look at the replay, and uh, we can confirm that as they come down to the line. Yes, that's how it looks. Um, tūranga Tuatahi, 
Southern men Turanga Tuarua Mako Baiti and Turanga Tuatoru Pornike Dragons. That's how it wrapped up in Heat 79 or Race 79. Premier Open 500 metres small boat Heat 1 of 2. Coming up next, we have got Heat 80 or Race 80, begging your pardon, Premier Open 500 metres. Atamara e te ui. I runga i te, i te wai. Reihi. I wa te kau. Just waiting for these crews for race 80 to get into position. Premier open 500 metres. Small boat. Heat of two. Quickly go through these teams in lane one, BOP Dragonflyers, lane two, TMD Men, lane three, Marco Snappy, lane four, Lion Pride, and in lane five, Steel Toa. Make up our five crews for this second heat. Just waiting for these uh, crews to put themselves into position. Heat 80 as our final crew goes into place, or race 80, big even pardon. Steel Toa, just waiting for them to get into position. Plenty of racing to come today, going through to 117, so we are sitting at race 80 at this time. So, could be on course for an early finish, but I'll, I'll try not to jinx it. I probably just did. <laughs> Five dragon boats all in position, just waiting for our starter. Race 80 is underway. Premier Open, 500 metres, small boat. It's the second heat of two. They're all off to a reasonably clean start, although there was a few little tricky little issues going on for our team in lane five. That's still a tour, but they've just righted that uh, dragon boat back into line, having a few issues. Maybe a little bit of wind out there. It's southwesterly playing uh, tricks. We'll quickly go through these teams again. In lane one, BOP Dragonflyers from Eastern Region, DBA. Lane two, TMD Men, Auraki, DBA. Lane three, 
We have uh, Marco Snappy International Lane 4, Lion Pride, Auckland Dragon Boat Association, of course, had a few issues at the start there with Steel Tour from Auckland Dragon Boat Association, but no question at this stage, lanes are 1 and 2, dominating this race in the early piece, especially TMD men from Auraki DBA, already in the lead at this stage, by a couple of metres or so, Bay of Plenty Dragon Flyers, they're clearly in second place at this stage, and in lane 4, Lion Pride from Auckland Dragon Boat doing their best to uh, hold on to that third place well and truly over the halfway mark it's down here in lane two the dm tmb tmd men from uh, auraki dba holding the lead at this stage still by i would say maybe a couple of meters so nothing not a lot of change as they have come down the course still around uh, 80 meters to go and it's the crew in lane two TMD men from Auraki DBA in uh, lane one BOP Dragon Flyers in uh, second place just starting to make a little bit of a move now with about 60 metres to go let's see if they can then pull them back probably left it a little bit late out there in uh, lane four lane four is Lion Pride they are in the third placing so the, the battle going on down here closest to us but I will give it to TMD men they'll take it out in first place second placing BOP Dragonflies, third placing, Lion Pride, and a little bit of, of a battle at the end there for fourth and fifth placing. Marco Snappy in fourth place, and Steel Tour will finish in fifth place. But I'll get those official placings to you very shortly. Hopefully we get to see a replay of that finish for race number 80. As we can see, coming across the line, Tūranga Tuatahi, TMD men, Tūranga Tuarua, Bay of Plenty Dragonflies, and Tūranga Tuatoro. Lion Pride from Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Well, that's me for a moment. Hand you back to Richard Bromley, and he'll set you up nicely for the uh, next call, which is race 81, which is the uh, senior BNC Women's Grand Final. So good, opp good opportunity to, uh, to let Richard uh, cut loose for this final so he'll be the next lot of tones you will hear thank you So we've got a senior BNC woman grand final coming up. Lane one, Bay Dragons, Margaritas. Lane two, 22 Sisters. Lane three, Amazon Hearts. Lane four, OPC Witches Bridges. Lane five, Bay Dragons, Senoritas. And lane number six, Taranaki Dragons. So the six crews are making their way down to the staff for our senior B and C a woman grand final. Four teams in the B section and two in the C. 
And as we said before, caught up oh, with Helen and Robin from the Atananaki Dragons. Uh, that senior C squad out there at the moment. Combine, this is a bit of an inspirational story, as we said before, combined age of 788 years between them, with an average age of 66. So that's not inspiration or what is. So it's great to have a bit of a chin wag with uh, Helen and Robin from the Taranaki Dragons before. Uh, those girls just absolutely loving the two days down here of dragon boating, enjoying their camaraderie and competitiveness, and just really enjoying uh, the atmosphere and the regatta. Just making way for a couple of on a lake announcements. They're nearly set for our women senior B and senior C women grand final. Six crews down at the start, ready under starters orders. Bay Dragons, Margaritas, they're in lane number one, 22 Sisters, two, Amazon Hearts, three, OPC Witches, Britches, four, Bay Dragons, Senoritas, they're in five, and Taranaki Dragons, they're in lane number six. Stand by for a start. No, I just bit. And we're racing in our senior B and C final. Lane number one made a good start. That is a Bay Dragons market. It's good start. Lane five. Uh, there. Dragon Boat Mate, which is Bay Dragon Senoritas. They're out to an early lead. Now lane number two, 22 Sisters. Bit of a slow start, uh, but they're now starting to rev the motor up in lane number two, got the lead. So 22 Sisters out in front. Lying second, lane number one, Bay Dragons Margaritas. Then lane five, Bay Dragon Senoritas. Then back to lane three, Amazon Hearts. Lane number four, OPC Witches Britches. And on the outside, Taranaki Dragons. Uh, through the first 100 metres, uh, 22 Sisters, the lamp lighters. They lead one boat length. Lying Lying second, it is Bay Dragons Margaritas, then Amazon Hearts, a lying third. Lying fourth is Bay Dragons Senoritas, then back to OPC Witches Britches. And on the outside, a Taranaki Dragons. They uh, get towards the halfway mark of our first grand final. And it is a 22 sisters in control. Lead one boat length, lying second. Bay Dragons Margaritas, Amazon Hearts holding down third head of Bay Dragons Senderitas, followed by OPC Witches of Britches, and on the outside is Taranaki Dragons. Inside the second half of race number 81, the first of our grand finals, led up by 22 sisters extending their lead, one and a half boat links clear. Bay Dragons Margaritas are lying second, Amazon Hearts third, Bay Dragons Senderitas fourth, then OPC Witches Britches and Taranaki Dragons. Inside the 200. Still 22 sisters. They lead one and a half boat links. Over lying second is Bay Dragons Margaritas. Third is Amazon Hearts. 
Four still remains. Bay Dragons, Senderitas, and then OPC Witches, Britches, and Taranaki Dragons. 150 metres to paddle. Race 81, the first of our grand finals for the morning. And still in front, it is 22 Sisters. They lead now by two boat lengths over Bay Dragons, Margaritas. Lying third, Amazon Hearts. Fourth is Bay Dragons, Senderitas. Then OPC Witches, Britches, and Taranaki Dragons on the outside. Inside the 75, it's a one dragon boat show here and away go 22 sisters they are two boat links clear and the first final of the day is going to be all wrapped up by 22 sisters down to the line they're going to win it oh so easy second is going to be a bay dragons margaritas third amazon hearts and then back to Bay Dragons, Senoritas, followed in turn by OPC Witches and Bridges and Taranaki Dragons. Uh, but down the line, they win it easy. 22 Sisters, second, Bay Dragons, Margaritas. Third's going to be Amazon Hearts. Now, there's a bit of battle between fourth, fifth, and sixth. Oh, we have got Bay Dragons, Senoritas. Just ahead of Taranaki Dragons. There is race number 81, uh, taken out by 22 Sisters in lane two. Second was lane one, Bay Dragons Margaritas, and then Amazon Hearts in lane three. They'll be third across the line. Uh, that was the senior B and C grand final. Uh, 22 Sisters, uh, the victor. Their dragon boat mate in 22 Sisters goes around the next senior A, woman A grand final. Dragon boats making their way down to the start line. Team manager from Dragon Riders to please go to Racing HQ ASAP. So the team manager from Dragon Riders, please attend Racing HQ ASAP. Now also, if you have managed to misplace your small purse slash wallet, there has been one of them handed into Racing HQ as well. So if you can identify that at Racing HQ, you can be reunited with your small purse slash wallet has been handed in to Racing HQ. Uh, there is a start crew, start list for a Senior A Women's Grand Final, race number 82, lane one, Hamilton City Watersports, lane two, Jafets, lane three, uh, 22 sisters, uh, that crew, well, the team of 22 sisters trying to go back to back, taking out the B final, and she's looking to win the A final as well, Woman of Steel in lane four, and the Hauraki teams in lanes five and six, Azura in five, and Sapphire in six. Now the six crews to do battle in our second final of the day. It is the Senior A Women's Grand Final. Six crews on the water. Uh, just getting instructions from the start crew down there. One through to four. Isle in the water nicely. Just waiting for lanes five and six. The both Hauraki teams, Azura and Sapphire. And just getting aligned with the uh, pontoon. So just repeating those two messages just from before, a little small purse slash wallet has been handed into Racing HQ if you have misplaced that and you can identify it at Racing HQ that'll be reunited with you and also the team manager from Dragon Riders to also please attend Racing HQ ASAP. Hauraki Blue Sapphire just reversing the Dragon Boat into the pontoon to be alongside the other five crews and will be underway for our second final of the day. This is our Senior A Grand Final.
Hauraki Blues Sapphire just weren't happy with their aligned position at the pontoon. They just come forward once again and just reversing the dragon boat back into the pontoon position, lane six. The other five crews settled, ready, focused. On what's in front of them, which is 500 metres of the sparkling water here at Lake Caterpillar. Nearly ready. Happy sends him on the way. Senior A Grand Final underway on the outside. Hauraki Blue Sapphire got the best start. Lead early on from lane three. 22 sisters. Lane number four, Woman of Steel, just gathering speed in their lane of four. And then to lane five, Hauraki Blues Azura. And then back to lanes one and two, HCW, which is Hamilton City Water Sports and Jaffetz through the first 75 metres and 22 sisters. Uh, they're trying to stamp their authority in this final. They got a four, five metre advantage over Woman of Steel. They are situated in lane four. Then it's out to lane five. Hauraki Blues Azura. Then lanes one and two being Hamilton City Water Sports and Jaffetz. And out to lane six. Hauraki Blue Sapphire through the first 100 metres. And it is 22 sisters in control. They lead five to six metres over Woman of Steel lying second. Third is lane two. Jaffetz then lane five, Hauraki Blues Azura. Lane six, Hauraki Blues Sapphire. Then back to lane one in HCW. Approaching the halfway mark in our Senior A Women Grand Final. 22 sisters, a five metre advantage over lane four. Women of Steel have got them right in their sights. And then back to lane five, which is lying third, Hauraki Blues Azura. Jafetza fourth in lane two. Then lane one, HCW. And then back to lane six, Hauraki Blues Sapphire. As they patter the way over the halfway Waymark. It is still 22 sisters in control. Eight metre advantage over Woman of Steel. Lying third is Jafetz in lane two. Then Hauraki Blues Azura. HCW fifth and then last of all is Hauraki Blues Sapphire. Inside the 175. It is still 22 sisters with their eight metre advantage over Woman of Steel have got them in their sights. Then Jafetz lying third ahead of Hauraki Blues Azura. HCW and Hauraki Blues Sapphire. Inside the last one meters it is still 22 sisters they've got that eight meter cushion over woman of steel who are trying to lift their game in lane three in lane four then back to hauraki blues azura got third wrestled back off lane two jafetz then back to lane one hcw and hauraki blues azura but inside the 25 it's going to be 22 sisters to salute they're going to cruise down the line to win it by about three quarters of a boat length second will be a woman of steel close for third as they cross the line now, uh, 22 sisters ahead of Woman of Steel. Who's going to get third? Maybe Jafetz in lane two. They just will over Hauraki Blues Azura. And then Hamilton City Water Sports closest to us in lane one. And Hauraki Blues Sapphire will be sixth. There is the Senior A Women's Grand Final uh, taken out by uh, 22 sisters. Good another announcement for you, team captain from WiMac Attack to please attend Racing HQ. That is the team captain from WiMac Attack uh, to please attend Racing HQ. The next two finals on the water are the Senior A Open and the Breast Cancer Grand Final. And that action will be brought to you live courtesy of Steve Harris.
drum sticks taken with them from the boat. Can you please bring them back? Two drum sticks to be returned, please, as soon as possible. Atamaria Diwi, maybe I'm being a little bit op optimistic, but it feels like that wind may have just dropped away a little. So make this for pleasant conditions. Irunga Itiwai, Reihi, Waratuko Matoru. Just got a few of the uh, boats heading down to the uh, start line to prep for this race. short little break before these dragon boats get themselves into a starting position. Race 83, we'll just quickly uh, go through the teams on the sheet. This is for the Senior A Open Grand Final. In lane one, Random Jeffers. Lane two, White O Brothers. Lane three, HCW Open. Lane five, Salt Dragons. And lane six, Paddle Tears make up our five teams that will battle it out.
teams for race 83. Almost settled on the start line. This is for the Senior A Open Grand Final and Premier Mixed B Final. So just in our starters' hands at this point in time. Just waiting for the comms to come through. Looking All looking nicely placed. Remembering closest to us. Random Jeffers and one. Wait for that starter's horn. White Owl Brothers in two. HCW Open in three. Salt Dragons in lane five. Lane six, Petal Tears. Here we go. We have it racing. It's the uh, Senior A Open Grand Final and Premier Mixed B a Final Race 83 underway. Good clean start from all five crews. Especially good, though, is Wido Brothers are off to a very, very good start. All just pulling about half a dragon boat length thus far. And they've only travelled about 50 or 60 metres of the course. Just there in uh, lane three, HCW open. They're probably the main challengers at this stage. And down in lane one, we have uh, Random Jeffers. The other two crews, Salt Dragons and Paddle Tears, already dropping off the pace in this early stages. They're going to need a whole lot of work over this next part of the course to pull themselves back into contention as we look to the top of the course still leading at this stage is Wido Brothers looking very strong they've pulled a full walk of length back to the second place team in the lane three that's HC open third placing back in lane one is a random Jeffers but they're probably a good two boat lengths away from our leading team Wido Brothers they are on a mission they come over that halfway mark looking very strong at this stage of the race we look to the back of the field, Salt Dragons and Paddle Tears with a whole lot of work with having a bit of a race on their own at this stage coming, coming down with uh, under 100 metres to go though uh, Wido Brothers, they are certainly looking the ticket to uh, maybe uh, bigger, bigger events as the day rolls on in lane 2 to, they're the ones to watch also in lane three, HCW open, but uh, I suggest they'll probably hold strong for that second place. They are in uh, lane three, and also down here closest to us in lane one is Random Jeffers, who are in third place, but with about 30 metres to go, we'll hear the horn very shortly. That'll be the taste and the sound of a victory for uh, Wido Brothers uh, take out the victory. Second placing, we have HCW Open in third place, Random Jeffers. That's how they uh, finished in those uh, first three places. Good little battle going on for the uh, fourth uh, place but it's going to be the team Salt Dragons in uh, lane five who will finish up in fourth placing and uh, paddle tears in uh, that uh, fifth spot is uh, where they will stay uh, for this race. I'll confirm those uh, finishing places uh, to you very, very shortly. Tūranga Tuatai, Wairo Brothers. Tūranga Tuarua, HC Open. Tūranga Tuatoru, Random Jeffers. Well done to those three teams especially. Coming up next, if I can nai, Reihi Orutuko Mafa. Stand by, we'll be back shortly.
Kia ora noe te iwi. Coming up next could be an absolute beauty, race 84. It's the BC Grand Final, Breast Cancer Grand Final. As we uh, look at the teams, as they line up in lane one, Waikato Treasure Chest Pearls. Lane two, Waikato Treasure Chest Diamonds. Lane three, Can Survive. Lane four, Busting With Life. Lane five, Pink Dragons. And in lane six, a Breast of Life. Looking forward to this. This could be an absolute cracker. Teams are almost in position. Just waiting for the starter for race 84, BC Grand Final. The fastest qualifier in the middle lane can survive, maybe the team to watch. They look all set, looks pretty fantastic out on that start line. Second fastest qualifiers bursting with life in rain four, lane four. So maybe lanes three and four, the ones to watch. But in the final, you never know. Just waiting on some last moment starter instructions. Can verify the images I'm looking at, they all look set. Here we go, strap yourselves, strap yourselves in people, put those seat belts. this could be pretty exciting. The uh, BC Grand Final is underway. Just a reminder who's out there in lane one closest to us, Waikato Dragon Chest Pearls, lane two, Waikato Dragon Chest Diamonds, lane three, probably the favorite fastest qualifiers can survive, lane four, second fastest qualifiers bursting with life. Lane, <clears throat> begging your pardon, lane five, fourth fastest qualifiers, the Pink Dragons, and in lane six, sixth fastest is a breast of life. And it's indeed the favourites out there in the middle of the course in uh, lane three, can survive, got off to the best possible start, already pulled probably a couple of metre lead from our second place team. Bit of a turn up here, the Pink Dragons out there in uh, lane five, who were the fourth fastest. They're currently sitting in second place at this time and can survive sitting in uh, <clears throat> still sitting in first place at this point in time lane for the pink dragons uh, traveling very very nicely so lanes <clears throat> beg your pardons don't, lanes up four and five bursting with life and the pink pink dragons pushing very hard for second placing at this point in time we're coming almost down to the halfway stage of this BC final and it's Can Survive still leading by what I'm saying is almost 
three quarters of a boat link back to the second place team out there in uh, lane four that's the pink dragons they're sitting in second place in uh, third placing it's a, it's a real tight tussle going on uh, in this uh, for this particular space with uh, lane lane four bursting with life maybe just sitting in third place from our second place team that's a Waikato Dragon chest as they come down under the 100 metre mark. No question at this stage, the favourites are uh, looking like they're going to do the business, can survive. Uh, looking pretty strong with almost a full Dragon Boat link second placing out there in lane five. The Pink Dragons third placing. Well, that's a, the tight one to pick at this stage. Maybe, maybe there in lane four. That's uh, bursting with life. Going to be a close finish. In fact, bursting with life have come and pushed themselves into second place. But no doubt about it. Put your hands together now for the winning team. That's can survive. They're going to take it out. Been pretty convincing all the way this will be the close one and we might have to rely on the replay it's going to be maybe I'm thinking busting with life will come through in second place so they may have just pipped the pink dragons but also on the inside there in lane two also Waikato dragon chest diamonds may have come through for that third place and just bought the party of the Pink Dragons. But once again, we'll have a look at that replay right at the end there. So I'm thinking, yes, two and two and four, or four in second place. Yes, lane four in second place. And also, as we just roll that again through our replay, Gee, that is so close to call for third place. I may, at this stage, give it to the far lane out there in that lane five. But, uh, oh boy, that could, that could be so, so close. I'll leave that to the adjudicators um, to uh, work out. Well, one thing I can truly confirm, though, uh, Turanga Tuatahi can survive, definitely the winners of race 84 BC Grand Final winners for 2024. Gee, that was an awesome race. Well, I'll leave you for now and uh, we'll get Richard back on deck very, very shortly for these races. So, probably around about by my reckoning and maths wasn't my strongest, strongest subject, probably around about 32 races to go in today's program. Is that correct? Oh, good grief. getting ready for our next final, which is the Premier Women's Sea Final. We've got five crews down at the start line. Pegasus Dragons, they'll go from lane one. Random Jeff is two. Mako Havoc in three. Wymac Vibes Wahini four. Waikato Snapdragons, they're in lane number five. Our Premier Women's Sea Final. So we've got six finals to go before there's a mandatory after an hour break, which is good to see, just the themes are freshening on up. So stand by for a start in our Race 85, Premier Women's Sea Final as the conditions just starting to heat up overhead as our final was underway between Pegasus Dragons. Lane 1, Random Jaffers 2, Marco Havoc 3, Wymac Vibes, Wahini 4, White Cuttle, Snapdragons. They're out in lane 5. Quickest to begin, Marco Havoc in lane 3. They've got the Dragon Boat Snout in front, lead by about a metre and a half over lane number 2, Random Jaffers. 
Lying third in lane four, Wymac Vibes Wahini. Then back to lane one, Pegasus Dragons. And on the outside, Waikato Snapdragons through the first 125. Out in front, lane three leads. Marco Havoc, they've got about a two meter advantage over lane two, which is Random Jaffers. Lying third is Wymac Vibes Wahini. Fourth on the outside, Waikato Snapdragons. And then back to lane one, Pegasus Dragons. There's only 10 metres top to bottom and there's a Premier Women's Sea Final led up by our Australian visitors, Marco Havoc. They've got a lead now only just though. And pushing hard on the inside is Random Jaffers trying to get the Dragon Boat in front and are doing a pretty good job of it. Lead change at the 150. And in front now, it is Random Jaffers now taking over the lead from Marco Havoc. Back to third, is Wymac Vibes Wahini on the outside, Waikato Snapdragons and then back to Pegasus Dragons back in fifth position, they're in lane number one closest to us, 10 to 15 metres top to bottom, lane two, Random Jaff is trying to saw the Dragon Boat in front, they've got an advantage now 5 metres is the advantage now for Random Jaff is over Marco Havoc, lying third is Wymac Vibes Wahini. They are situated in lane four. On the outside in lane five in fourth position, Waikato Snapdragons. And then back to Pegasus Dragons, closest to us in lane one at the 200 metre mark. Still in front there. Random Jaffers with a strong seconds push. They lead five metres over Marco Havoc. Lying third on the outside is Wymac Vibes Dragons ahead. Wahini ahead of Waikato Snapdragons. And then back to uh, Pegasus Dragons, closest to us in lane one at the one. 100 meter mark. It is still Random Jaffers in front over Marco Havoc. Third on the outside is Waikato Snapdragons at the expense of Wymac Vibes Wahini. Then back to lane number one, which is going to be Pegasus Dragons inside the 75 metre mark. Still in front, Random Jaffers. They've got a half a boat length over Marco Havoc are trying to bridge the gap. Then to Waikato Snapdragons of Wymac Vibes Wahini and Pegasus Dragons. But inside the 25 metre mark, it is Random Jaffers for Premier Women's Sea Final. Final. Down to line, they're going to win it by half a boat length. Second will be Marco Havoc. Now, who's going to get third? Waimak or Waikato? It looks like Waikato, Waimak Vibes Wahini will get third ahead of Waikato Snapdragons and then back to Pegasus Dragons in fifth position. Good final, that. Early lead to Marco Havoc, but then Random Jeff has really pushed the button at about the halfway mark to get the Dragon Boat in front and extended that league in the shadows of the winning post to grab the victory by half a boat length. Second will be Marco Havoc. Third, Y Mac Vibes Wahini. Ahead of Waikato Snap Dragons. Eighty-six up next, the women's B final. The Dragon boats are down at the start. Mako Mayhem, lane one. Poneki Dragons, two. Tipotini, three. Warepa, four. Ken, two. Five. OPC Ponga, they're in lane six. Just got a small delay before we're underway in a race number 86. 
so five finals to go before we have a well-deserved half an hour lunch break that's courtesy of you good folk out there ripping through the races so all officials paddlers team of supporters everybody huge effort to get ahead of time to allow us to have a bit of a half an hour break in between the race program nearly ready here we go premier woman b final underway marco home mayhem down the inside lane one paul nicky dragons in a two Tia Portini in three. Lane four was wider rapper. Can two, five OPC on the outside. Lane six, uh, the best start was made by lane number five. Can two, early advantage over lane number four. Inside them, wider rapper in second position. Lying third in lane two, Paul Nicky Dragons. Then back to lane one, Marco Mayhem. And then lane three's lying fifth. That is Tia Portini. And on the outside, lane five is OPC. So through the first 100 metres of our Woman B final. And on the outside in lane five, Can two is slight advantage two meters at uh, two lane two Paul Nicky Dragons are lying second and then we got in third position in lane four wider rapper woman and then lying fourth maybe lane three though the Torpotini side trying to pick up speed and then lane number one who's in fifth position Marco Mayhem and on the outside is OPC as he six crews woman B grand final they are paddling towards the halfway mark and in front it is lane five can two with a five meter advantage over Paul Nicky Dragons and lane number two and then lying third in lane forward is the wide rapper woman team just ahead of Tipotini. they're in lane number three in fourth position then lane one Marco Mayhem and OPC on the outside lane six in sixth position inside the second half of a race in number 86 the woman premier final B final led up by Can 2 and they've got a five meter advantage Paul Nicky in lane two holding down second only just I've got challenges from Tipotini who are revving up in lane lane three and then wider upper woman close up in fourth position and they're about a boat length clear of lanes one and six Marco Mayhem and OPC inside the 125 it is still can two in front Paul Nicky dragons out after these leaders they'll follow in turn by a wide upper and Tipportini very close finish coming up here Back in fifth and sixth positions, Marco Mayhem and OPC inside the 75. It is still lane five, can two in front. Paul Nicky Dragons now revving up in lane two, and here they come. Here come Paul Nicky Dragons out after can two inside the 50 meter mark. It is still can two in front. Paul Nicky Dragons of rifling home and then down on the inside. It is still in front, can two. Paul Nicky Dragons coming two to one in lane number two. It is still can two in front. From Paul Nicky Dragons throwing everything into and they'll just go down. Lane five's won it. Can two has won it. Second is Paul Nicky Dragons, Turpultini, Wairapa, followed by OPC and Marco Mayhem. Good finish there. Can two had a, an advantage, a substantial advantage of about half a boat. Now look at the slow mo replay. Paul Nicky Dragons really tried to throw the dragon boat over the line over the concluding stages. They've gone down by about two metres. And Wide Rapper have also lunged on the line as well. Very, very close finish. But Can 2 will get the nod. Second, Polnacki Dragons. Third, Wide Rapper. And close up fourth, T Portini. So there's only five metres first to fourth and a thrilling women's B final. But take nothing away from Can 2. Successful in defeating Polnacki Dragons in second. Wide Rapper will be third. T Portini fourth. Fifth, Marco Mayhem, and OPC will be sixth. That was race number 86, the woman B final. And Can 2 saw it through. They were quickly off the start line. They had an advantage at the halfway mark of about half a metre. But then the challenges come from lanes two through to four. Paul Nicky Dragons, Wide Rapper, and T Portini really started to rev up the Dragon Boat over the concluding stages. But Can 2 had a little bit of fuel left in the tank and they went on to score only just, though, by about half a metre. They have a very gallant second position, being Paul Nicky Dragons and Wide Rapper Woman and Tia Portini. And they went too far away in third and fourth position, respectively. Race 87 is up for decision next. It's our Premier Open B final. 
We've got five crews down at the start line to contest. City Dragons lane one. Marco Snappy in two. Steel Yulsa's in three. Wymac Attack in four. And Steel Toa. Uh, they are in lane number five. Just a wee message to the crews. If you're using the water blaster uh, behind the uh, drone tent, can you please utilize it on the grass area or a wee way out of the tarmac just to re refrain it from running the water through the cables we've got here in our drone marquee. So if you're using the blaster, the water blaster at the back there, just make sure you use it on the grass e area or a decent way out on the tarmac just that it's running through the drone marquee and there's a few um, obstacles in here to get through. That'd be much appreciated. That's right. Racing in our open B final. Uh, but uh, between City Dragons, they're in lane number one. Marco Snappy in two. Steel Ossals in lane number three. Wymac Attack in four. And Steel Toa in lane number five. Lane three made the best beginning. Steel Ossals, they lead early on over lane number two, which is Marco Snappy. Wymac Attack in lane number four. Uh, they're lying third, just poised off the speed. Lane five, Steel Toa. They're in fourth position. And then lane number one, City Dragons back in fifth spot through the first 100 metres. Steel Ossals. Uh, also, as they leave in lane number three, they've got about a five-meter advantage over lane number four. Wymac Attack just sitting poised off the speed. Uh, lane number two is lying third. Uh, that is Marco, Marco Snappy. Then lane five, Steel Toa. And back to lane number one, City of Dragons is the five crews. They paddle their way towards the halfway mark of race number 87. And it's Steel Usses. Also, as they lead by about four to five meters over lane number four, Wymac Attack are trying to real them in. Back out to lane number one. The City Dragons just dropping off a little bit. And here to them are the lanes two and five. They are Marco Snappy and Steel Toa inside the second stanza of race 87. And it is Steel Horses in front. They lead five metres. Wymac Attack holding down second. Third on the outside, Steel Toa. And then back to lane two, Marco Snappy and City Dragons in fifth position at the 150 metre mark. Race 87 open B final. And it's still in front. It is Steel Horses. They lead by five metres. Wymac Attack make it half a boat length now. Lying third out in lane five is Steel Toa. And then back to lane number two, which is Marco Snappy and City Dragons. About four or five boat lengths away in fifth position. But inside the 75 metre mark, Steel Horses they're in control of the metre. At the moment, they lead by three quarters of a boat length. Wymac Attack holding down second. Third is Marco Snappy and Steel Toa on the outside and City Dragons back in fifth position. It Inside the last 25. It is still in front. Steel also is in front, and they look like they're going to see it through. They're now three quarters of a boat length clear. Holding down second is Wymac Attack, but the line beckons and Steel also is win. Wymac Attack will get second. Third will be Marco Snappy. On the outside it will be Steel Toa, and about three or four boat lengths away to Steel City Dragons. Steel also is too good. Lane three, swift beginning, held the lead, continued and won. Second, Wymac Attack, Gallant in second. Marco Snappy's third, Steel Toe is fourth. And City Dragons cross the line in fifth position. That is race number 87, our Premier Open B final. Our Premier Women Grand Final is up next. So six crews have made their way down to the start.
Lane one, the BOP Dragonflyers won a steal in two, Southern Wahini three, Otaputi Matamata in four, Jafets five. Lane six, TMD woman, two Mickey Dragons out in lane number six. Stand by for a start, lane race number 88. This is the Premier Woman Grand Final. The weather has improved over the last half an hour, a few degrees warmer. And the wind just dropped down a few knots, so nearly, nearly ideal conditions for an afternoon stanza of dragon boating here at day two. Dragon Boat Nationals, Lake Karapero. We're set for race 88. Premier Women's Grand Final, stand by. Set. We are racing. Dragonflyers, lane one, lane two, Woman of Steel, lane three, Southern Wahini, lane four, Otapoti Matamata, best beginning, lane five, Jafets and Tumtimuki, Dragons on the outside, they race through the first 100 metres, and in front now, it is lane number three, it is Southern Wahini, they lead early on from lane number four, which is going to be Otapoti in second place, and Tumeki on the outside, lying third, inside them is Jafet's lane number one, Dragonflies from the Bay of Palenti, then back to Woman of Steel, inside where well, they've gone through the first 125 metres, it is lane three, Southern Wahini, they lead over Otapoti Mata Mata. They're in second position. Then back to lane number one. Dragonflyers are lying third. Lying fourth is lane two. Woman of Steel. Then out to lane six. Two Mickey Dragons. And then lane number five of the Jafets as they paddle the way towards the halfway mark. And race number 88. And still in front. It is Southern Wahini. They've got a challenge on their hands on their outside now. It is Otaporti Mata Mata. They put the Dragon Boat in front at the halfway mark. So in change of lead. Otaporti Mata Mata. They lead in lane four over Southern Wahini. Lying third on the outside in lane six is two Mickey Dragons. Then back to lane number one, Dragon Flyers from the Bay of Plenty. Then lane number two, Woman of Steel. Lane five is Sam, followed by Jafets as they get towards the 200 meter mark. Still in front, it is always like Nick and Nick here. Southern Wahini and Otaputi Matamata. These two have got a battle royale on their hands through the last 175 metres. Who's the survival of the fittest here? Out to lane six, that is two Mickey Dragons are lying third. Then lane one, Dragon Flyers, Woman of Steel. And then back to Jafets inside the last 100 metres. In front now, now it's Southern Wahini. They have wrestled the lead back over Otaputi Matamata. Then two Mickey Dragons are back to Dragon. Dragonflyers in lane number one, Woman of Steel and Jafets inside the 50 metre mark. Now it's still Southern Wahini, Otapoti, Mata Mata. They're trying to come back to them, but Southern Wahini just drawing clear of the concluding stages. And Southern Wahini down to line and they'll win it. Southern Wahini first, Gallant second, Otapoti, Mata Mata. Third is going to be two Mickey Dragons on the outside of lane six, followed by lane one, Dragonflyers, lane two, Jafets, and then sixth will be woman Jafets ahead of woman of steel good race that southern wahini and otapoti southern wahini had a lead at the halfway mark but then they went to war with otapoti matamata but over the concluding stages southern wahini pulled out the extra to get a two meter advantage and a win over otapoti matamata to Mickey out of lane six, they will grab third position. And that is race 88, the Premier Women Grand Final. Premier Mixed is up next, followed by the Premier Open. And then it's time for a well-deserved half an hour break.
So race 89 up next, the Premier Mixed Grand Final. Dragon Boats are down at the start already. Lane 1, Marlborough Dragons. Lane 2, Lion Tsunami. Lane 3, Dragon Riders. Lane 4, Ridge Riders. Lane 5, Sampan Warriors. Lane 6, Northern Phoenix. Stand by for a start for a Premier Mixed Grand Final. Conditions just improving all the time here on the lake. Temperature-wise and breeze-wise, it's just dropped a couple of knots breeze-wise, so nice racing conditions out there, and the temperature's just warmed up a couple of degrees, so hopefully the afternoon's racing will be absolutely spot on. We're up to our Premier Mixed Grand Final. Nearly set. Stand by for a start. Marlborough drawn the ace, lane one. Lion Tsunami two. Dragon Riders three. Ridge Riders four. Sampan, Warriors, they're in five. Northern Phoenix out in lane six. Stand by. We're underway in our Premier Mixer Grand Final. Best beginning on the outside. Northern Phoenix underway. Lead early on from lane three. Dragon Riders now heading top gear. They now have rest of the lead off, so a new leader. A Dragon Riders lane three. They lead on their inside line. Tsunami trying to go with them. They're in second position on Dragon Riders. Other side, Ridge Riders in third position. Relegator back to fourth is Northern Phoenix on the outside. Lane five, Sampan Warriors. And last of all, early on, closest to us, Marlborough Dragons. Through the first 75 metres. It is Dragon Riders lead. They've got a boat length advantage already over lane number four, which is Ridge Riders on their inside. Lion Tsunami, they are lying third. Fourth on the outside is Sampan Warriors, Northern Phoenix, and Marlborough. <laughs> Dragons can spot the leader a good 10 to 12 metres as they get towards the 100 metre mark gone. 400 metres to go and still in front. It is Dragon Riders. They lead by one boat length. They are paddling towards the halfway mark. They lead. Lying second in lane th four is going to be Ridge Riders. Lying third in lane number two is Lion Tsunami. Lane five holding down fourth. That is Sandpan Warriors followed by Northern Phoenix and Marlborough Dragons in lane one. There is 25 metres top to bottom and a Dragon Riders at the halfway mark. They lead one boat length length. Lane second is Ridge Riders. Third in lane two is Lion Tsunami. They were followed by in lane five on the outside, Sand Pan Warriors, Northern Phoenix and Marlborough Dragons inside the 200 metre mark. And it is uh, Dragon Riders. They lead the mixed green final by a boat length. Ridge Riders are trying to go with them. They are followed in turn by Sand Pan Warriors, Lion Tsunami. Marlborough Dragons and Northern Phoenix inside the 100 metre mark for our Premier Mixed Grand Final and still in front now. It is Dragon Riders, they lead one boat length over Ridge Riders. Holding down third is Lion Tsunami, Sandpan Warriors followed by Marlborough Dragons and on the outside Northern Phoenix inside the 75 metre mark and leading it is still Dragon Riders one boat length clear over Ridge Riders third's going to be close between Lion Tsunami and Sandpan Warriors, they're followed by Marlborough Dragons and Northern Phoenix about the shadows of the winning post. It's all going to be Dragon Riders down to victory in the Premier Mixed Grand Final. They'll win it by a boat length. Who's going to grab second? Ridge Riders will grab second. Third's going to be close. Maybe lane number oh, two. Maybe Lion Tsunami over Sandpan Warriors, then Marlborough Dragons and Northern Phoenix. Dragon Riders got into their work very early on, had a boat length advantage at the, about the halfway mark, and they carried on for a very good win. Ridge Riders getting second, Lion Tsunami third, Sampan Warriors, and Marlborough and Northern Phoenix. That was the finishing order for our Premier Mixed Grand Final. But Dragon Riders have been very potent throughout the day. They've carried on that success with a win in the Premier Mixed Grand Final. Premier Open Grand Final up next. Six crews making their way down to the start. Mako Baiti, Southern Men, Two Meki Dragons, Dragon Flyers from the Bay of Plenty, Lion Pride, and Polniki Dragons.
Our six crews to do battle in our Premier Open final on the completion of this final. A well-deserved half an hour break before we get into our representative racing. Just before we do head into our lunch break after the completion of the Premier Open Grand Final, just a reminder to the viewers online to get involved with our competitions to do with the New Zealand Dragon Boat Nationals. Uh, it's good sponsors and supporters, Caltex, Baileys, and of course, New Zealand Carbon Farming. And Cruise, of course, your chance to probably buy a ticket in the raffle ticket. Boobops raffle five dollars a ticket, three for ten. That'll be drawn tonight at prize giving. And there's a trolley full of goodies, seven hundred dollars plus worth of goodies in that basket and that trolley with Boobops raffle. There's a start list for our online viewers for our Premier Open Grand Final. Marco Bitey, Lane One, Southern Men Two, Tumeki Three, Dragon Flyers Four, Lion Pride Five, and Paul Nicky Dragons in Lane Number Six. And just a wee memo for you guys and girls cleaning your gear at the completion of today's Dragon Boating. If you complete, we've got a, a spray up on the back of the marquee where the drone is. Please use the grassed area or the tarmac away uh, from the marquee where the drone is situated. A few cords flowing in here, so we don't want water coming here as well. So don't forget to clean your gear at the completion of the Dragon Boat action. So we're set for our Premier Open. Mako Baiti. Southern Men 2. Tumeki 3. Dragon Flyers in 4. Lion Pride 5. Po Niki Dragons in lane 6. Set racing and our Premier Grand Final good start too. No one showing up early on. Maybe lane two. Southern men on the journey. Over lane three, two Mickey. Dragonflies in lane four, third early on. Then lane number five, Lion Pride. Paul Nicky, Dragons out of lane six. Then back to lane one, Marco Baiti. As they splash and dash through the first 50 metres. Lane three, two Mickey Dragons in front at the moment. Over Southern men. Dragonflies holding down third. Fourth is Lion Pride. Then Paul Nicky Dragons on the outside in lane six and Marco Baiti. And closest to us in lane one, there is 10 metres top to bottom through the first quarter of the race. And two Mickey Dragons out in front. They lead three or four metres over Dragon Flyers from the Bay of Pliny. They're in second spot. Southern men holding down third in lane two. Lion Pride fourth. Then back to lane one, Marco Baiti. And on the outside, Paul Nicky Dragons. As the six crews open grand final, they paddle their way towards a half. Halfway Mac. Mark and it's two Mickey Dragons. They've got a five meter cushion over Dragon Flyers. They're in lane three. Back to lane two, holding down third, Southern Meme. Then Lion Pride fourth. Back to lane one, Marco Baiti and Paul Nicky Dragons out of lane six. They are in sixth position as they get towards a 200 meter mark. It is two Mickey Dragons. They've got a half a boat length now over Bay of Plenty. A Dragon Flyers in lane three. Four, should I say. Lane two, holding down third. That is Southern Meme. Then Lion Pride, Paul Nicky Dragons in lane six and back to lane number one, Marco Baiti. Inside the 125, it is two Mickey Dragons pulling clear now. Three quarters of a boat length over Dragon Flyers. Then Southern Men followed in turn by Lion Pride, Marco Baiti and Paul Nicky Dragons. Uh, but away go two Mickey. Two Mickey Dragons, they are just drawing clear of the concluding stages. One boat length clear, stamping their authority. Southern Men and Dragon Flyers battle out for second and third. Then Lion 
Lion Pride, Marco Baiti and Paul Neki Dragons, but down to the finishing line. Impressive. Two Meki Dragons, open final victors. They win it by a boat length. Second, Dragon Flyers. Just ahead of Southern Men, there we've got Lion Pride, Marco Baiti and Poneki Dragons. Authoritative, impressive. Two Meki Dragons off the start line very efficiently, and they just powered on over the concluding stages. They won it by a boat length. Dragon Flyers will get second just over Southern Men. And then on the outside, Lion Pride, Marco Baiti and Paul Nicky Dragons in sixth position. That wraps up the Premier Open Grand Final. It also wraps up the morning's racing. We've got a half an hour break now, so enjoy your time off. We'll be back in half an hour's time with our regional racing. Looking forward to that. See you soon. Funding is a real challenge. Uh, we know that a lot of schools face that ongoing and the reality is if you go to a lower decile school in New Zealand you are less likely to be able to afford to participate in sport. Obviously having come through it myself with kids and, and being one of those. Funding is a real challenge. Uh, we know that a lot of schools face that ongoing and the reality is if you go to a lower decile school in New Zealand you are less likely to be able to afford to participate in sport. Obviously having come through it myself with kids and, and being one of those kids myself who played sport, I know how much it defined who I was. And now being able to go, I can't fix it all but we can help and try and give to those people who are going through really tough time. It's a real privilege, but you know, for us, we want to see others get involved with it. This is not a selfish thing for Apollo. This is about how can we get, um, whether it's construction or other businesses, to get involved in this. There's a lot of things that kids miss out on. And so to have businesses step up and want to be involved and to help is a game changer for schools. It really is. Right, couple of messages. First of all, Leslie Ash. Leslie Ash, can you please locate Deb Stevenson, please? Hey, sport is about more than just the game. It's about going from teammates to best mates. It's the high fives and helping hands. It's learning when to back yourself or back your buddies. It's actually being excited to get out of bed early on a Saturday. Sport is about more than just the game. That's why Caltex is proud to help fuel school sports. The forest should never have been taken off this steep hill country that's eroding, and it makes absolute sense to a forest those hills. What we're doing here is using the exotics to help that process get established. We're looking at a managed transition process where those pines are progressively thinned as the native understory establishes. We're trying to do several things here. Soak up carbon, establish native forest, and we're trying to improve biodiversity. You're achieving an awful lot with one program of activity. And 
go. Just fill up at a participating Caltex, stack your pump discounts, and you can collect more savings on your next visit. Oh, there's another one. Getting quite good at this. Ah, filling and saving feels good. So just repeating those early messages if you missed out on them. <laughs> Leslie Ash, if you haven't seen Deb already, please do so. Leslie Ash, if you could please see Deb. And any breast cancer survivors that would like to be on the support boat for the flower ceremony a little later on this afternoon and you haven't already okayed it with Deb, uh, please do that now. Deb is located at Racing HQ. So 
for Leslie Ash, if you have or haven't seen Deb, and I'm repeating myself, sorry, but you'd like to see you, and also any breast cancer survivors that would like to go out on the support boat for the flower ceremony, please go and see Deb Stevenson at Racy HQ.
Okay, James, are we all ready for the next sort of races? I want to hear you from Marshland. Are we ready? Well, that was great. Well, we're going to start off with uh, Senior B Women's and it's Heat 91. Can we get to uh, Marshall Keys Lane 2, ERDB, Lane 3, Old Aki Reps, Lane 4, WDBA Reps, Lane 5, ADBA Reps and Lane 6, WDBA. I'll call that again, Heat 91, Lane 2, ERDBA, Lane 3, Old Aki, Lane 4, WDBA, Lane 5, ADBA, Lane 6, WBA. Can we also please have Heat 92, Senior A Women's. Lane 2, ADBA, Lane 3, WDBA, Lane 4, ERDBA, Lane 5, WDBA, Lane 6, Oraki. I'll repeat that, Heat 92, Lane 2, ADBA, Lane 3, WDBA, Lane 4, ERDBA, Lane 5, WDBA, Lane 6, Oraki. I'm going to also call Heat 93, Senior A Open. Lane 1, CRDBA. Lane 2, WDBA. Lane 3, Oraki. Lane 4, WDBA. Lane 5, ADBA. Repeat that, Heat 93, Senior A Open. Lane 1, CRDBA. Lane 2, WDBA. Lane 3, Oraki. Lane 4, WDBA. Lane 5, AD, BA. Thank you. Let's go!
We would like in marshalling the lanes, please. Second call of what's going on. Head 91, Senior B Women's, Lane 2, ERDBA, Lane 3, Oraki, Lane 4, WDBA, Lane 5, ADBA, Lane 6, WBA. In Heat 92, Senior A Women's, Lane 2, ADBA, Lane 3, WDBA, Lane 4, ERDBA, Lane 5, WDBA, Lane 6, Oraki. Heat 93, Senior A Open, Lane 1, CRDBA, Lane 2, WDBA, Lane 3, Oraki, Lane 4, WDBA, Lane 5, ADBA. Thank you. You are one.
Committees with like yellow cordite, two marshalling. The only quickly please, it's lane four WDBA, like yellow cordite.
Nga mihi o te ahi ahi te iwi. Welcome uh, back to the afternoon session of the 2024 NZDBA Dragon Boat Championships. Our first race on the cards is race 91. We're into the representative racing for the uh, program, part of the program. And we've got our boats just heading into position. I hope you enjoyed the break. Took the opportunity to uh, have something to eat and uh, no doubt take in some uh, water or some beverages. Just starting to get a little bit warmer here. As previously said by Richard earlier this morning, the wind has just started to, do, to drop away. Got our first rip boats heading into position. Still very, very pleasant conditions here at the Lake Karapiro. Been quite fortunate over the last couple of days or so. You just see our teams are going into position shortly. I'll just let you know exactly who those teams are. Here we go. <clears throat> Race 91, Senior B Women's 500, small boat, reps. In lane two, we have Eastern Region Dragon Boats. In lane three, Awaraki reps. In lane four, we have Waikato Dragon Boating reps. In lane five, we have Auckland Dragon Boating reps. And in lane six, we have uh, Waikato Whero. Waikato Dragon Boating and a Waka Association representative. We have the last of our teams just heading into position. That's the Auckland Dragon Boat reps. So just in the starter's hands, pleasant conditions. That southwesterly's just dropped away a little. Quite. Here we go, that's our start, so our afternoon session underway in uh, race uh, 91, Senior B Women's 500 metres small boat represents in uh, lane one, Eastern Region, lane two, Auraki, in lane three, Waikato Dragon Boat, and Waka, lane four, Auckland Dragon Boat Association, and in lane six, we have uh, Waikato Whero, which is the Waikato Dragon Boat, and uh, Waka Ama. In uh, lane three, they're looking pretty good, begging your pardon, uh, lane four happens to be uh, Waikato Kofai, that's Waikato Dragon Boat, and Waka Ama, already at this stage, taking a lead of, by a couple of metres or so, so they're sitting in uh, first place, they are sitting in uh, lane four. In uh, lane five, right beside them, we have got Auckland Dragon Boats, and uh, they're the most serious challenger at uh, this stage of the race. Sitting in third place, in good tussle going on between Eastern Region and Oraki. In uh, fifth placing sitting is uh, Waikato Whero, also from uh, the uh, sister club of our leading team, which is uh, Waikato Kofai, as they come over the halfway mark. In fact, they're extending that lead almost out to three quarters of a boat length to our second place team, Auckland Dragon Boat sitting there in second place so they'll have to get a move on if they want to take down this uh, Waikato Kofai team. Still a bit of a battle going on for third placing between Orake, Oraki, beg your pardon, and uh, Eastern Region. They're battling it out uh, for third place as they come down under the 100 metre mark. Looking good though are uh, the uh, Waikato Kofai team from the Waikato Dragon Boat and Waka Association. In second placing, we have the Auckland Dragon Boat crew, but sitting a good length or so back from that first place team. Good battle going on for third placing. Lane three, that's uh, Oraki, Aurik, Auraki reps. They are sitting in third placing and they should hold that place towards the finish line. As speaking of finishing line, 
and give a round of applause to Waikato Kofai from Waikato Dragon Boat and Wacom Association will come through and uh, take out that first placing, second placing easily are the uh, reps from the Auckland Dragon Boat Association and um, Oraki will finish in uh, third placing. That's the first uh, three across the line. The other two just coming across now, Eastern Region and of course uh, Waikato Whero finishing down the back of the field. Here we have it as we uh, count down this afternoon's racing. Our next race coming up shortly is the Senior A Women's 500 metre small boat. Page 94, Premier Women's Standard, please. So we have lane one, Mana Wahimi. Lane two, Tan two. Lane three, OPC Kapiriki. Lane four, Wired Upper Women. Lane five, Jacex. That's heat 94, Premier Women's Standard. Lane one, Mana Wahimi. Lane two, Tan two. Lane three, OPC Kapiriki. Lane four, Wired Upper Women. And lane five, Jacex, please. To Marshalling. Kira no te iwi, ni nai nai, reihi, iwa te kau ma rua. Go through those teams shortly. Just looking at our lanes. Just coming up on the screen here. We have got in lane one, no, no, begging your pardon, it's heat, it's race at 93. Lane one, we have got the Central Region DBA. Lane two, we have got the Waikato Dragon Boat Association reps, Waikato Fiddle. In lane three, Awaraki reps. 
in lane four. Waikato Dragon Boat Reps actually. No, they've given me the wrong screen. So I'll just go there. I'll go back again. It's actually race 92. So in lane two, it's, it's Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Yeah, problem is when you're the commentator, you've got to wear that one. Uh, in lane two, Waikato Dragon Boat and Wakaama Association. In uh, lane four, we've got Eastern Region DBA. And in lane five, we have got Waikato Dragon Boating and Wakaama. And in lane six, we have got Auraki Dragon Boat Association. That's our six teams, begging your pardon, your five teams that line up for this particular race so we're just waiting on one team at this time no lane one just thought i was losing my mind Here we go, we have a start racing underway in race 92. In fact, we only have the four starters. Looks like our lane four is a no-show, but we have had four who have started pretty well, especially closest to us. That's the Auckland Dragon Boat Association reps in lane two. Lane three, we have Waikato Kōwhai from Waikato. In lane five, we have Waikato Fiddle. And in lane six, we have the Auraki reps and they've got off to a pretty good start as well. But it's down here closest to us at <clears throat> lane one. It's the Auckland Dragon Boat reps who have already pulled a good half a length on lane three, which is Waikato Kōwhai doing everything to stay with them at this stage. Also is our team out in lane five. That's the combination Waikato Fero from Waikato Dragon Boat and Wakaama there, there or thereabouts. Dropping off the pace a little bit is... Oraki reps with a little bit of work to do. Haven't quite hit the halfway point at this stage, but what has happened, our leading team in lane two, Waikato, uh, begging your pardon, Auckland Dragon Boat Association, now have a full length lead on the rest of these crews as they come down the course. So uh, they're going to be pretty hard to beat there. You've got to say, is the uh, Auckland Dragon Boat rep team. They are powering away with this uh, race from uh, what we can see on the images. Real battle going on for second and, and third placing between Waikato Kōwhai and Waikato Fedor. Those two will battle it out for second placing, but you can pretty much put a ring around our leading team from the Auckland Dragon Boat Association. They'll take out this rep division in the senior A women's 500 metres small boat, so uh, we can write them down in the book as the winners. The battle, though, will be for the second placing between the two Waikato teams, Waikato Kōwhai in second place, Waikato Fero in third place With they've still got 60 metres to go but our team that's going to take it out have only got 30 metres to go in front of us that will be the Auckland Dragon Boat Association reps will come through and take out the win Turanga, Turanga Tuatahi they've taken it out in second placing, very close but I will give it to uh, Waikato, Waikato Kofai, who will take out that second placing and in third placing uh, Waikato Fero, and with a little bit of work, still with a little bit, little bit of work to do, is our final team, Auraki Dragon Boat Association, finishing in fourth placing. But no doubt about our winners in race 92. Turanga Tuatahi. Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Kia no people, there is certainly no time to have a rest because you look up and you can see our ne next lot of 
Dragon Boats are getting themselves into position down on the start line for the open 500 metres small boat rip. So these are the paddlers that are representing their region. So plenty at stake. I'll quickly go through these teams in lane one central region trip DBA. Lane two, we have uh, Waikato Whero. Lane three, Hauraki Reps. In lane four, Waikato Kofai. And in lane five, we have Auckland Dragon Boat. That's the uh, starters for the Senior A Open. 500 metres small boat representatives. Representatives. Close to a start. All crews, just a reminder that as you are called to marshalling, get your teams down here promptly. If you are not in position and everyone else is ready to load, the marshals will close the gate and you will miss your race. Race 93, just getting the last minute instructions from the starter. Senior A, open 500 metres, small boat representatives. Here we go, racing is underway. Lane one, remembering central region, lane two, Waikato Whero, lane three, Auraki in lane four. We have got Waikato Kofai and in lane five, Auckland Dragon Boats. Good clean start from all five crews, but especially looking good is uh, Waikato Whero in uh, lane two. They are pretty much out of the blocks. Already got a half a length lead on our second place team. That's the representative team from Auckland out there in uh, lane five. Closest to us remembering we've got Central Region already dropping off at this stage as are uh, the Auraki reps they are just struggling a little bit just dropping off the pace they'd be a good full dragon boat link back out there in lane four we've got Waikato Kofai they're all there about battling it out for third place at this stage and going strong are the Auckland dragon boats they are out on the far lane but at this stage put a ring around our team in lane two Waikato Whero holding a good lead at this point in time as they come over the halfway mark pushing hard though in second placing is the Auckland Dragon Boat Association rep team they're starting to uh, get a clear lead in second and in third placing just on the inside is uh, Waikato Kofai from uh, Waikato Dragon Boat and Wakahama down here though as they come down with 100 meters to go no question about it though lane two doing the business is uh, Waikato Whero they started strong and they've pretty much maintained that position down a good part of the course good battle going on for second placing but at this point Auckland Dragon Boat, Auckland Dragon Boat holding strong and in third placing out there in lane four Waikato Kofai but no doubt about it we'll have a clear winner as they come down with about 20 meters to go it will be Waikato Whero so you can start putting your hands together for our winning team in second placing will be out there in the lane five that'll be the Auckland Dragon Boat Association representative team and in third placing Waikato Kofai from Waikato Dragon Boat and Wakahama will finish in third place have a quick look at the uh, replay as they come over the line. Pretty decisive at the end of the day. Race 93. You can see clearly our winning team. Tūranga Tūatai, Waikato Whero, Waikato Dragon Boat Association. Tūranga, Tuarua, Auckland Dragon Boat Association, and Tūranga, Tuatoru, Waikato Kōwhai, Waikato Dragon Boat, and Wakaama, rounding off our top three for race 93.
Natural world, we will be down to Marshall in phase. Natural world, in dot, Crocop phase. Natural world, in dot, Crocop. Down to Marshall in phase. Heat 97, BC standard boat. Can I please have lane 2, Blue Box Moana? Lane 3, Boston of Life. Lane 4, the Pink Dragons. Lane 5, a Boost of Life. That's BC standard boat, Heat 97. Lane 2, Blue Box Moana. Lane 3, Boston of Life. Lane 4, the Pink Dragons. Lane 5, a Boost of Life. Also, Heat 98, BC standard boat. Lane 2, Blue Box Aloha. Lane 3, Waikato Treasure Chest. Lane 4, Can Survive. That is Heat 98, BC Standard Boat. Lane 2, Blue Box Aloha. Lane 3, Waikato Treasure Chest. And Lane 4, Can Survive. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Now that we've got the representative uh, races out of the way, we're just waiting on uh, race 94. It's a Premier Woman's Standard Boat, 500 metres, and it's the first of three heats. Once again, that wind's entirely dropped away and uh, very similar conditions to what we had yesterday. Maybe a little bit warmer today. High of 21 degrees. Make sure you've got some sunscreen on. I know it's... Uh, Quite a weird thing to say. There's a bit of cloud around, but it's still pretty warm down here. And no doubt up on the bank if you're not in the shade. So they start at that end and go all the way. Some of our boats just getting into position at this point of time. You don't want to eat their way. Premier woman's boat, 500 metres, first of three heats. Shortly, we'll go through these list of teams that are going to participate in this first of three heats. We're fortunate to have some beautiful images from our high drone.
Here we go, race 94. Let's go through our starters in lane one, Manawahine. Lane two, Ken two. Lane three, OPC Kakariki. Lane four, White It Up A Woman. And lane five, Jafetz. Jafetz from the Auckland Dragon Boat Association. White It Up A Woman, Central Region. Of course, Ken two, also from the Central Region. And then lanes at one, Manawahine and OPC Kakariki. Both are from Auraki. Just in our starters' hands. Here we are, we are racing. Premier Woman Standard Boat, 500 metres. It's the first of three heats. It's race 94, and it's a good clean start from all five crews, especially good out there in lane five. Jeffetz from the Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Off to a quick start right beside them is Wired Up A Woman, Central Region DBA. And down here in lane one, Manawahine from Auraki Dragon Boat Association. So those are your first three. Already a little bit of work for Ken too and OPC Kakariki just starting to drop off the pace after that first 60 metres of this 500 metre journeys but I'll tell you what, they are looking in sync out there in lane 5 are Jaffetz from Auckland Dragon Boat Association you can just see them, look like they've got some of them have got pink blades as well so you can see them flashing through the water down here closest to us in lane 1 is Manawahine from Oraki and they are travelling very nicely, also out there are White it up a woman central region dba those are your first three as they come down towards the halfway mark but it's a good probably a half a dragon boat length that jaffetz has over manawahine as they push through that half mid halfway stage of the race out there in lane four we've also got what up a woman central dba who are traveling along in third place Jaffetz, well they got off to a very good start and they've maintained that start through the first 350 metres of this course and it's put them in good stead to go away and uh, take the victory but anything can happen over these last last few stages, Manawahine from Auraki, Dragon Boat Association still in second place and third placing, whited up a woman central DBA but I can't see much change with about 60 metres to go, seem to have the and under control have uh, Jaffetz from the Auckland region in second placing still going strong Mana Wahine and of course in third placing we have a whited up a woman as our leading team comes down to the finish line they'll take it out very very shortly that will be Jaffetz from Auckland Dragon Boat Association second placing Mana Wahine Auraki Dragon Boat Association and whited up a woman from the uh, central region will take out that third placing. I'll have a quick look at the finishing in. And uh, we'll just confirm two, those results for you. Jeffitz, Turanga Tuatai, Jeffitz, Turanga Tuarua, Manawahine, and Turanga Tuaturu, Wired Up a Woman. And that's pretty much wraps up race 94 today. I'm going to take a bit of a break for, for a while and just hand you on to uh, to Richard uh, Bromley, who's had a nice rest. He's all he's all rested after a, after a lunch and he's ready to go for the afternoon session. Kia ora no.
Tanakai, we're on to a race number, what about to 95. Working through the day quite stylishly. 117, we're up to the Premier Woman's standard boat heat. Lane one will be vacant for our viewers online. Start list is on your screen. Lane one vacant. Lane two, Waikato Snapdragons. Lane three, Hauraki Blues. Lane four, Pegasus Dragons. Lane five, Woman of Steel. And lane six, Otapoti Dragons. The five crews to do battle in this upcoming event, which is heat number 95. Everybody, I stand by for a start. So, lane one, vacant. Lane two, Waikato Snapdragons, representing the Waikato Dragon Boat and Waka Armor Association. Hauraki Blues from the Auckland uh, DBA. Pegasus Dragons from the Auraki DBA. Woman of Steel, representing the Auckland DBA and Otapoti Dragons from the Auraki Dragon and Boating Association. They are the five crews to do battle in race 95. Stand by. Nearly set. Starters happy. Sends him on the way for our race 95. This is Premier Woman, a standard boat heat. Best to begin on the outside. Otapoti Dragons away well from lane number six, lane three. Also on the journey, Hauraki Blues, lane five on the journey. Woman of Steel in third position. Pegasus Dragons are close up fourth and fifth. Waikato Snapdragons, but there's only 15 metres top to bottom. Uh, through the first 75 metres outside him, Old Deporti Dragons. They lead at the moment from a woman of steel in lane number five. Lane four lying third, that is the Pegasus Dragons. Hauraki Blues in fourth position and Waikato Snapdragons. They lay fifth in lane number two as they paddle their way through the first 100 metres. No change outside him. Otapoti Dragons, they lead four metres over Woman of Steel, right on their hammer in lane five. A half a boat length away to Pegasus Dragons, and followed by Hauraki Blues in lane three, and Waikato Snapdragons, half a boat length away in fifth position. Two boat lengths top to tail approaching the halfway mark. No change at the moment. We're Otapoti Dragons on the outside, lane six, they lead five metres, Woman of Steel. Hauraki Blues, they have padded their way into third position, just ahead of Pegasus Pegasus Dragons and last of all is Waikato Snapdragons as they paddle their way over the halfway mark in Otapoti Dragons. They lead. They've got a five metre buffer over Woman of Steel. Hauraki Blues in third position. Back and forth is going to be Pegasus Dragons and fifth Tali and Charlie is Waikato Snapdragons. 125 to paddle. It is still Otapoti Dragons. They're clear. What's left in the tank? They've got a five metre buffer. Woman of Steel out after them. Hauraki Blue still holding down third position. Just ahead of the Pegasus Dragons and White Cuttle Snapdragons. Inside the 75 metres they pedal. Still no change. It's still Autopulti Dragons, the lamplighter. They lead by five. Woman of Steel, they're close up second. Hauraki Blues third. Pegasus Dragons and White Cuttle Snapdragons. Inside the last 40 metres, Autopulti Dragons. It's going to be from go to O. They lead at the moment and they're about to head to the finishing line. Though Woman of Steel challenging hard on their inside. It's still Autopoti Dragons, Woman of Steel lunging, missed. Autopoti Dragons held on. Close up, Woman of Steel. Third will be Hauraki Blues. 
followed by Pegasus Dragons and Waikato Snap Dragons. Well, that got close over the concluding stages where Autopoti Dragons look like they're going to cruise to victory. Tell you what, Woolen have still had one serious lunge right on the line, but they just missed. And Autopoti Dragons will see it through in lane six. Look at the Somo replay. Look how close Woolen have still get, but they will miss by about two foot. So line on is Autoporti Dragons, Woman of Steel, second, Haraki Blues, third, and then Pegasus Dragons and Waikato Snap Dragons, and they finished in fifth position. Well, there was a race number 95, 96 is next up, another premier women's heat. We've got the four crews heading the way uh, down, actually we're at the start already there. Lanes one and six are vacant. And lane two have Amazon Hearts, they're representing Aoraki Bay Dragons from Eastern Region. And then lanes four and five from the Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka Armour Association, Taranaki Dragons, who are quickly becoming one of my faves. After a couple of facts and figures I heard a little bit later earlier on from delightful ladies and Helen and Robin. And then 22 sisters on the outside in lane number five. You have missed that fact. Taranaki Dragons, the standard boat. Average age, 65. Combined age, 1,423 years of experience in the boat there an average eight of 65 so good luck to the taranaki dragons and they're having a great old time down here at lake kataparu as part of the national champs a bit of a delight catching up with helen and robin a little bit earlier uh, today just to explain where they are with their crew and their ladies enjoying their time there is the start list on screen for uh, Premier Woman Standard Boat Heat, Amazon Hearts Lane 2, Bay Dragons Lane 3, Taranaki Dragons in 4, and 22 Sisters on the outside. They are in lane number 5. So stand by for a start. Those online viewers, pretty sure those competitions are still ongoing, but will close very shortly. Our good supporters and friends on Baileys, Caltex, and New Zealand Carbon Farming. Got some sweet beaut prizes to be given away courtesy of the online promotions. And of course, if you're on the lake today, getting towards the end of the day, just reminding you to clean up after you and also just spray down your equipment. There is a water blaster adjacent to the drone tent. Just make sure you do use the grass area to blast your equipment or if you're using the tarmac, make sure it's a decent amount of area away from the marquee where a lot of electrical equipment is in the tent. We have a line for race number 96, stand by. Racing in our Premier Woman heat number 96, heat three of three. Lanes one and six are vacant. Who made the best start closest to us? Lane two, Amazon Hearts. Out early to an early lead over lane five, 22 sisters. And then back to lane three, Bay Dragons and Taranaki Dragons. One boat link from top to bottom through the first 100 metres. And it's on the outside of the lake, number five, 22 sisters. They're in front by three quarters of a boat link over lane two. Amazon Hearts lying second, but they're under a big challenge from Bay Dragons right abreast them for that second and third spot and about half a length away to Taranaki Dragons as these four crews they paddle their way towards the halfway mark of race 96 and it's 22 sisters outside of the lake they lead inside out Amazon Hearts closest to us holding down second uh, just ahead of Bay Dragons and Taranaki Dragons in touch as well as they go towards the halfway mark this is race 96 premier women's standard boat heat and it is 22 sisters after very 
very strong earlier in the afternoon and morning they continue their good form they're out by a boat length and a half lying second is amazon hearts that's the crew closest to us right next door to them is bay dragons and then we've got taranaki dragons a length away in fourth position inside the last 175 of our 96th race of the afternoon and still in front it is 22 sisters just drawing clear over the concluding stages are two boat links clear with 125 to pedal amazon hearts holding second Bay Dragons third and Taranaki Dragons back in fourth position. Inside the 125, it is 22 Sisters just extending their lead over the final part of this race. They are two boat links clear over Amazon Hearts, Bay Dragons and a Taranaki Dragons. But inside the 75, and it's a one boat affair and away you go. 22 Sisters opening them right up. Two, three boat links clear. Now the battles for second and third. Now this is tight. Amazon Hearts have got a head advantage over a Bay Dragons and a length away to Taranaki Dragons but when they down to the wire they go 22 sisters win it quite easily now look at the battle for second inside Amazon Hearts outside Bay Dragons who's going to get the nod here inside Amazon Hearts Bay Dragons very very close Amazon Hearts the inside Bay Dragons the outside who's going to get second Amazon Hearts by ahead head over Bay Dragons he'll get third and about a boat length and a half to two boat lengths away to a Taranaki Dragons in fourth position there was a race 96 taken out by 22 sisters amazon hearts holding on second brave and third was bay dragons and the taranaki dragons close up in fourth position now that was race number 96 97 up next race cancer survivor standard boat heat four crews lanes one and six vacant Boobops, Moana, lane two, Busting with Life, three, the Pink Dragons, four, and a Breast of Life in lane number five. Getting set for our breast cancer survivor standard boat heat one of two over 500 lanes one and six are vacant. Boobops Moana representing the eastern region. There's our startless on screen for our viewers on the wide world web. And lane two representing eastern region. Busting with life three, the pink dragons four, both from the Auckland DBA and a breast of life in lane five from the Aoraki DBA, the four crews to do battle. And race number 97. There's our drone pilot Jimmy taking off down to the start to give us a bird's eye view of down the race course here at Lake Catapero. Ninety seven. Nearly underway. Lanes one and six are vacant. Boobops Moana two. Busting with life three. The Pink Dragons four. A breast of life five. Heat one oh one, lane three. 
Got dragonflies, can you please come to Marshall and teach 101 MITS Premier Standard Bop Dragonflies, please? Here we go, nearly set. We're underway. Race 97, Breast Cancer Heat. Good start out on the outside. The Breast of Life began very quickly from lane five. On their inside is the Pink Dragons, also a swiftly. Lane two, Boobops Moana on the journey as well. Four or five metres away in fourth position. Lane three, a busting with life through the first 50. Lane four. It's in front. That is the Pink Dragons. They lead by two metres over lane two. A Boobops and Moana. Then lane five, a Breast of Life and Busting with Life back in lane number three and fourth position. There is half a boat length, top to bottom. It is lane two. They are the Lamplighters. It is Boobops and Moana with a two metre advantage over lane four. The Pink Dragons. Then lane five, a Breast of Life and then back to Busting with Life. They're in lane number two. As these fire four crews are approaching what would be the halfway mark and still in front. It is Boobops and Moana. They are closest to us. They lead five metres. Lying second is the Pink Diamonds. Third in the middle, those two will be busting with life and a breast of life relegated to fourth position, approaching the halfway mark. Race 97, breast cancer heat. And in front still is a Boobops Moana. The closest to us, they lead half a boat length now over the Pink Dragons. Third is busting with life and a breast of life in fourth position. And the second stanza of race 97, no change. There's probably two boat lengths from top to bottom. Boobops Moana, they lead three quarters of a boat length, lying second is the Pink Dragons. Separating those two in the middle is a Busting with Life and on the outside of Breast of Life in fourth position with 175 to paddle. Extending their lead now. Boobops and Moana. They lead by three quarters. Let's make it a boat length now. Over the Pink Dragons just trying to stay with them. Separating those two. Busting with Life and on the outside a Breast of Life. 100 metres to paddle. It is still Boobops. Moana. They lead by a boat length. Lying second is the Pink Dragons. Busting with Life and a breast of life about their inside the last 75 and in front still Boobops Moana after a steady start they're starting to power through the middle in concluding stages they're over a boat length clear now and Boobops Moana are going to paddle their way down to victory in race number 97 Boobops Moana will win it second will be the Pink Diamonds third will be a Busting with Life and a breast of life in fourth position there is race 97 taken out by Boobops Moana. They started from lane two. Just a steady start, but really got in their stride mid-race and over the very strong concluding stages that went on to win it by a good boat length. Bussa, the Pink Dragons were gallant in second. Brave in third uh, was uh, the busting with life and credit to a breast of life out on the outside lane four, five in fourth position. Yeah, we're just confirming a race 97, breast, uh, breast cancer heat. First, Boobops Moana. Second, the Pink Dragons. Third, Busting with Life. And fourth, A Breast of Life. 98's up next, also a breast cancer standard boat heat. Heat two of two, just the three uh, to go around this heat with lanes one, five, and six. They're all vacant. So lane two, we have Boobops Aroha. Lane three, Waikato treasure chests. Lane three, ah, sorry, lane four can survive. Boobops Aroha representing the eastern region. Waikato treasure chests. And they're representing the Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka Ama Association and can survive. Representing the central region, DBA. Three crews have made their way down to the start, underway very shortly. We have
So getting set down at the start there for uh, race number 98, Breast Cancer Standard Boat Heat. Uh, just the uh, three crews involved. Lanes one, five, and six are vacant. Uh, team list on screen for our uh, wide world web viewers. Boob Ops, Aroha Lane two, Waikato Treasure Chess in three, and Can Survive in lane number four. So stand by for a start in race number 98. Looks like all crews are ready and settled. Start crew will give the instructions. will be underway very shortly. Page 102, lane three, Taranaki Dragons, Premier Women's Standard. Can you please come to Marsh Lane? Page 102, lane three, Taranaki Dragons, Premier Women's. Thank you. Set. Happy with the start. Sends them on their way. Underway, a race 98. Can survive. Waikato Treasure Chess and Boob Ops Aroha. Best beginning lane three. Waikato Treasure Chess on the journey. They lead early on uh, from the outside. Lane four and can survive. And closest to us, Boob Ops Aroha. If they go through the first 50, the three crews, not much between them in front. Lane four on the outside, it's Can Survive. And they've got about a two meter advantage over lane number three, which is Waikato Treasure Chest. And then back to Can Survive. Now Waikato Treasure Chest with a decent surge there. That last 10 or 20 meters, they've got the Dragon Boat in front now. So lead change, Waikato Treasure Chest. They lead over Can Survive. Then back to Boo Bops, Aroha in third position. Five meters top to bottom uh, through the first 100 meters. And it's still Waikato Treasure Chest with that very spirited last 50 meters. They've got the Dragon Boat in front. Can Survive are trying to match their speed on the outside. Then back to Boobops Aroha. Closest to us in lane two. These three crews, Breast Cancer Heat, and they're approaching the halfway mark, and it's Waikato Treasure Chest. They've got the Dragon Boat in front at the moment, but Can Survive on the outside are matching their speed. About four or five metres away to Boobops Aroha, closest to us in lane two. As they approach the halfway mark, it is still Waikato Treasure Chest. They're in front in the middle of the lake on the outside can survive and now putting the acid on them then back to lane two in boobops aroha they got to the front now as can survive they've drawn about four or five meters clear over waikato treasure chest then back to boobops aroha closest to us in lane two 15 meters top to the bottom inside the last 125 on the outside it's can survive they lead by about five meters trying to go with them there is waikato treasure chest in the middle and closest to us is can can survive inside the last 125. Can survive. Can they hold on? Trying to come back at them is Waikato Treasure Chess in the middle of the lake and closest to us at Blue Bops Aroha inside the last 75 with a slight advantage. Can survive. They've got a five meter advantage. Waikato Treasure Chess are trying to lift their dragon boat now. Then back to Blue Bops Aroha closest to us. But can survive. I think they're going to carry too many guns here in race 98. They lead at the moment. Waikato Treasure Chest, a car trying to come back at them. But a can survive. will see it through by about five metres. Second Waikato Treasure Chest and about a boat length away to uh, Boobops Aroha. That is race number 98 taken out by can survive in lane four. Waikato Treasure Chest second in lane number three. And Boobops Aroha with third in lane number two. That is race 98. We're up to 99 next. We've got a couple of premier mixed heats coming your way. And Steve Harris to bring you all the action live.
Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Yes, I'm back. Thank you to uh, uh, Richard for his uh, uh, stint. Um, now, just a quick panui that's come to us. The merchandising tent will be closing at 3.30 p.m. this afternoon. Not that it would be on the mind of the paddlers that are just up on the start line that I'm just about to let you know who's out there for race 99. In that lane one, Poreka Dragons. Lane two, Marco Mutu. Lane three, Southern Dragons. Lane four, Lion Pride. And in lane five, City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto. That's how they line up for race 99. That's a premier mix. Standard boat, 500 metres. This is the first of three heats. Perfect conditions here at Karapiro. Here we have it. We've got racing underway in uh, Heat 99, Race 99, Premier Mixed Standard Boat, 500 metres. It's the first of three heats, and uh, the canoes in the middle of the course, or the dragon boats in the middle of the course, have got out of the blocks very quickly, especially there in lane two, Marco Mutu International, going the best at the moment over the first 50 metres, already pulled a metre or two ahead of the other four crews. Closest in, in second place is Southern. Southern Dragons, third placing, Lion Pride, fourth placing, down in lane one, Pornicke Dragons, and already dropping off is City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto, will need a bit of a miracle to come back from uh, that particular start, but we're looking at a team that started very well, and that's Marco Mutu, the international team is going along very nicely, getting a good overhead view of their rating and their timing, it's nigh on perfect from what I can see, probably one of the reasons that they're leading is they come down towards the halfway mark in second placing still going strong is Southern Dragons beside Southern Dragons Lion Pride who are in third place back to the fourth place team Pornicke Dragons and back there in the fifth place as they cross the halfway mark is City Dragons Tamaki Makoto back to the front of the field though is our team in lane two Marco Mutu International but I'll tell you what Southern Dragons are starting to make their move with uh, under 100 metres to go. It's starting to tighten up with these leaders here in front of us. Every stroke, they're starting to pull them in. But it is Marco Mutu with the lead at the at this stage but with about 60 metres to go you can start to see Southern Dragons starting to pull them in as they head down towards the uh, 30 metre line at this stage still sitting strong there in, uh, in third placing out there I think is Lion Pride but Marco Mutu have they got the lead they've still got the lead as they come down with less than 20 metres to go they will hang on only just, or should I say, probably about a half a metre in it. Southern Dragons in the second place. And it uh, looks like we've got maybe up there Lion Pride in third place. Unofficially fourth placing down here in the lane one. Pornica Dragons and City Dragons. Tamaki Makoto down the back of the field. Just, just seeing the comp. Just confirming that finish. Huranga Tuatahi. Marco Mutu. Huranga Tuatahi. Tuarua. Southern Dragons. Huranga Tuatoru. Lion Pride. That wraps up race 99. Premier Mixed Boat. 500 metres. And that's the first heat of three.
Well, good afternoon, everybody. 17 races to go in today's program coming up. Race number 100, and that's the premier mixed boat, 500 metres, second of three heats as we see our teams just putting themselves into position in lane one. We have uh, Random Jeffers from Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Lane two, two Mecha Dragons, uh, Auraki Dragon Boat Association. Lane three, uh, Waimaka Attack, Auraki Dragon Boat Association. Lane four, Marco Mojo International. And in lane five, Paddle Waikato from the Waikato Dragon Boat and Waka Ama Association. That's how they stack up for race number 100. Premier Mixed Standard 500 metres. This is the second heat of three. Pleasant conditions here at the venue. A lot of people nice and relaxed up on the bank. Maybe not so much relaxed sitting out in your dragon boat preparing for this race. Once again, I'm looking at a beautiful aerial view of the Dragon Boats as they set themselves into position, looking back over the rowing club and looking back to the top of the course. Beautiful vista, beautiful views, Atahua. Beautiful view, just waiting in place, remembering just the five starters. Got the, got the OK from the starter. We are racing in the Premier Mixed Boat 500 metres. This is the second heat of three. It's race number 100. In that lane one, Random Jaffers from Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Lane two, two Mecha Dragons, Auraki Dragon Boat Association. Lane three, Waimaka Tech, my favourite name, Auraki Dragon Boat Association. Lane four, Marco Mojo from International. Lane five, Paddle Waikato from Waikato Dragon Boating and Wakama Association. It is in lane two, two Mecha Dragons with the most perfect start already. They've pulled a metre on our second place team, which is is my Waimak attack. So the two teams from uh, Auraki Dragon Boat Association showing the way in this race. They've already covered a good uh, 60 metres of this 500 metre course in third placing. Good battle going on between uh, Marco Mojo and Paddle Waikato. So those two going head for head and maybe even down here in the lane one, Random Jaffers travelling along very, very light, nicely, should I say. But it's uh, two Mecha Dragons who are holding the lead at the minute. Waimak Dragons as they come over that halfway point. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, Waimak Attack can come up in this with in this next 200 metres or this last half. In that third placing, it's uh, pretty close between Random Jeffers, Marco Mojo and uh, Pedal Waikato. It's pretty even, Stevens. We've got a race going on within a race as well as our first two. The two, two um, crews that know each other too well, both from Ouraki Dragon Boat Association, two Mecha Dragons, and a Waimak Attack as they come down under the 80 metre mark, just starting to stretch out nicely. Other team in a lane two, two Mecha Dragons. Looks like they have got this well and truly under control. Almost a full Dragon Boat length back to that second place team, Waimak Attack. So that's how they'll stack up in this particular race. In uh, lane one, it looks like they might come through for third place. So great paddle from Random Jaffers, but as they come down to the line, uh, Tuatahi, two Mecha Dragons, Tuarua, Waimak Attack, Tuatoru, Random Jaffers. And uh, that's how they'll wrap for race at number 100 of the day, Premier Mixed Standard Boat, 500 metres, two of three. I'll just give you once again confirmation of those results. Turanga Tuatahi, two Mickey Dragons, Turanga Tuarua, we have got Waimaka Tech and Turanga 
to Atoru, Random Jeffers. And it was a good paddle from Random Jeffers. They were over the first 100 metres back in fifth place. So uh, well done to those teams. Coming up shortly, it's the Premier Mixed Boat 500 metres and it's the third heat of three. certainly a lot of colour and there's a great vibe around the venue. If you've got a little bit of time on your hands, don't forget our merchandising tent closes at 3.30pm this afternoon so that gives you by my reckoning about, uh, or about an hour just under an hour and 25 to head along to the merchandising tent. Don't, don't forget, uh, make sure you head along and just frequent uh, some of our concession stands that we have around the venue. There's certainly plenty to do, although these boats on the start line will have other things on their mind for the Premier Mixed Boat 500 metres in the Lane 2 Steel Dragons, Lane 3 Bay of Plenty Dragonflies Flyers and in Lane 4 HCW Mixed and in Lane 5 White Temata Warriors from the Auckland Dragon Boat Association as are Steel Dragons, of course Bay of Plenty from the Eastern Region and HCW Mixed from Waikato Dragon Boat and Walker Association. Just the four starters. They are in perfect position to get this race underway. Absolutely stunning conditions on the lake this afternoon as we almost pull the curtain down. Not quite. The curtain's still a little bit high at the moment. Here we go, we have racing underway in the Premier Mixed Standard Boat 500 metres. This is the third heat of three, and yes, it's race 101, Fano. Good clean start from all four crews, but an especially good start there from lane three. That's the BOP Dragon Flyers, and boy, are they flying at the moment over the first 50 metres. Already pulled in half a Dragon Boat length to our second place team, and that, that is the uh, the uh, HCW mixed squad. So I think these two will have a good battle as they come down the course. They've got very, very similar strokes in third placing in lane two are Steel Dragons, and uh, already with a little bit of work to do are the Waitamata Warriors from the Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Maybe they're probably, I would imagine, they probably train on Lake Pupuki, but they could also train on the uh, the uh, waters of the Waitamata Harbour. As they uh, have come down the course, not quite at the halfway uh, stage of this race, looking down on these beautiful high pitches that I have in front of me, it is the Bay of Plenty Dragonflyers still holding strong at this stage, almost a three-quarter boat length lead. Back to our second place team, HCW you mix from Waikato Dragon Boat and Wakama Association down there in lane one going strong also Steel Dragons and uh, Waitamata Warrior as well they have got a lot of work to do from the position that they're in at the moment as they come down around about 80 metres to go looking very relaxed are our leading teams Bay of Bay of Pentalenti Dragon Flyers from the Eastern Region DBA holding strong also in second place is HCW Mixed from Waikato Dragon Boat and Waka and down here in third is uh, Steel Dragons there from Waka Dragon Boat Association with about 30 metres that's how that's going to end at least one of these teams so just watching very closely on uh, BOP Dragon Flyers going closely out of their lane but they've actually finished across the line so they're your first team through BOP Dragon Flyers in first place second place HCW Mix and in third placing Steel Dragon, still with a little bit of work to do, is our final crew, Watamata Warriors, as they come down to the tape and they will finish in fourth placing.
just to confirm those results. Turanga Tōtahi, Bay of Plenty Dragonflyers, Eastern Region DBA. Turanga Tuarua, HCW Mixed Waikato Dragon Boat, and Waka, Turanga Tuatoru, Steel Dragons, Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Coming up pretty soon as our next lot of boats head into position for race 102 as the Premier Women's Standard Boat. 500 metres, this is the first heat of three. And of course, looking around the venue, plenty of our teams. We can see a team getting a photo opportunity. Give me a wave from there. I can see you guys up on the bank looking pretty awesome. It seems to be the go-to place for all the photos this afternoon. As we pan down to many of our peddlers either waiting for their teammates to come in or maybe waiting for that photo opportunity. A couple of lads there up on the bank taking in the opportunity. Oh, kawaii fakama, don't be shy. <laughs> Wave out to the camera, boys. Yes, that's you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> very good, lads. As we keep, we, yeah, there you go. Give us a wave, good lad. No, no, that that doesn't count. That wasn't a wave. So I look down the course. I'll have a little look. Some of our teams just getting into position for the Premier Woman Standard Boat, 500 meters. This is the first of three heats. Coming down. Yeah, we're looking at you, man. <laughs> Just also want to thank a lot of our crew that have uh, come down to Totoko this event for 2024. A lot of people volunteering their time. Would like to thank them. Probably the odd few being paid as well. They'll be pretty thankful as well. Premier Women's Standard Boat, 500 metres, first of three heats, race 102. Aratahi, Watepote Dragons, Auraki Dragon Boat Association. Ararua, OPC Kakariki, Auraki Dragon Boat Association. Ara Toru Taranaki Dragons, Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka Armour Association. Arafa, Waikato Snapdragons, Waikato Dragon Boat and Waka Armour Association. Ararima, Pegasus Dragons, Auraki Dragon Boat Association. That's our five starters, and they are in perfect position to get the race underway. We are up and racing in Premier Women's Standard Boat, 500 metres. This is the first of three heats. It's race 102. Good, clean start from all five teams, but an especially good start from Otiputi Dragons down here in lane one. And out on the lane five is Pegasus Dragons from Auraki Dragon Boat Association. Good representation from that club, OPC Kakariki, in lane two from the same club in lane three, Taranaki Dragons, and in lane four, we have got the Waikato Snap Dragons from uh, Waikato Dragon Boating and uh, Wakama. Very much a uh, local team. But at this stage of the race, as they've covered the first 70 metres of the course down here in lane one, Otepoti Dragons are making no race of this. They've already pulled out by a good full dragon boat length and are looking very good to go all the way. In second placing, a good dragon boat length behind is the team out in lane five, Pegasus Dragons. And in third placing, we have got the Waikato Snap Dragons that are traveling nicely in third place, or they are getting pushed along nicely from OPC Kakariki. But our leading team, Otepoti Dragons from Auraki, 
DBA looking very good as they've gone well and truly over the halfway mark, coming down to around about 120 metres before they will hit the tape, and they are putting on an absolute clinic in uh, race 102 looking very very strong as uh, they come down here in front of us oh boy they look absolutely ruthless the timing is good look, look at that top hand everything looks very very good in uh, second placing at this point of time we have got pegasus dragons from Aoraki dragon boat they are in second placing. Waikato Snapdragon starting to make a move and also down here in lane two. OPC Kakariki is our winning team. Comes across the line. Ote Poti Dragons from Auraki Dragon Boat Association putting on an absolute clinic here this afternoon at Karapiro. A little bit further out there. Pegasus Dragons from Auraki Dragon Boat Association will finish in second place and look at the battle for third placing. I'll have to refer to the uh, monitor just to see who came across in third placing. Maybe unofficially lane four came across, but we'll get a good view as they come down. We can just see Ote Poti coming across in first placing as we wait for the next lot of teams to come through. There we go. It's Pegasus Dragon and down here in the lane two, OPC Kakariki came through and grabbed that third placing well it's uh, maybe the end of my stint for a while or maybe somebody just wants me to leave or Richard actually wants to say something but uh, anyway speaking of Richard I'm going to pass you on to him for the next four races Right here, moving right along, we're on to 103, Premier Women's Standard Vote. Lane one, vacant. Lane two, Wairarapa. Lane three, Can two. Lane four, Jafets. Lane five, Haoreki Blues. And lane six, Amazon Hearts. There's the screen start list for our online viewers. Wairarapa, lane two, Can two, three. Jafets in four, Haoreki Blues in five, and Amazon Hearts out in lane number six, the five crews to do battle in their premier women's heat two of three. Race number 103. Just reminding you the merchandise marquee closing at 3.30, nearly set for race number 103. Underway, racing between Wairarapa Woman, they're in lane number two, Can two and three, Jafets in four, Haoraki Blues in five, and on the outside, Amazon Hearts, Jafets lane four, good beginning lead early on, over lane two, the Wairarapa Woman team, lying third in lane number five, is Haoraki Blues, then lane six, Amazon Hearts, and then back to Can two, and lane number three, as they cruise through the first 100 metres, and it is lane four, Jafets in front, they lead at the moment from lane five, Haoraki Blues, then back to lane two, Wairapa Woman, over to lane six, Amazon Hearts and Cantu, back in fifth position, two boat lengths head to tail, 
as they cruise past the 125 and still in front it is Jafetz. They lead at the moment. Lying second, Hauraki Blues. Amazon Hearts a third. Then back to the wider Rappa Woman team. They're closest to us in lane two. And can two back in fifth position. The five coup crews are paddling towards the halfway mark in race 103. And in front. It is the Jafets. They lead by three quarters of a boat length. Hauraki Blues lying second. Now White Apple Woman. And they get the Dragon Boat into third position at the expense of Amazon Hearts on the outside. And then back to, uh, to Can 2. About two boat lengths away in fifth position. Inside the last 200 metres. Still in front as Jafets. They're extending their lead. They're a boat length clear. Strong half there by White Apple Woman. They've got the boat from fourth now into second position. Lying third is Hauraki Blues. Amazon Hearts and Can 2. Inside the 175, Jaffetz clearing out now. One and a half boat links clear, trying to chase them down as White Apple Woman who had a very strong second stanza. They were followed by in third position, Amazon Hearts on the outside of their lake. Inside them is Hauraki Blues, then back to Can 2. Inside the last 100 and race 103, Jaffetz in front. They're now two boat links clear, and away they go, Jaffetz, with a week on every paddle. They lead, holding down second as White. Apple Woman on the outside, Amazon Hearts, Hauraki Blues and Can too, but down the line, easy as you like, shut the gates all over. Jafet's cruising down the line to win it by about two boat lengths. Second will be Wider Apple Woman closest to us. Then on the outside, lane six, Amazon Hearts have run third, Hauraki Blues and Can too. There is race number 103 taken out by Jafet's in lane three. White Apple Woman was strong in second place closest to us. On the outside, Amazon Hearts, Hauraki Blues and Can 2. Result of race 103, the Premier Woman's Heat. Mix 108, Mix Premier Standard. We have lane 1, City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto, lane 2. Random Jackers, lane 3. Paddle Waikato, lane 4. Bop Dragonfly, lane 5. Marco Moto, that is Heat 108 Premier Mixed Standard. Lane 1, City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto. Lane 2, Random Jackers. Lane 3, Paddle Waikato. Lane 4, Bio. Lane 4, Bop Dragonflyers. Lane 5, Marco Moto. Can we also please have Heat 109 Premier Mixed Standard? Lane 2, Waitemata Warriors. Lane 3, Makamoto, lane four, Southern Dragons, lane five, HCW Mix. That is 109, Premier Mix Standard, lane two, White Mata Warriors, lane three, Makamoto, lane four, Southern Dragons, lane five, HCW Mix. Can we also have heat one, 110? No, we can't. We will wait for that one. <laughs> So Jafet's proving a little bit too strong in a race number 103. They were steady off the start line, but really gained momentum uh, through the middle stages of the race and cleared away for a big victory. White Apple Woman, they had a very strong second half of the race to grab second. Hauraki Blues and Amazon Hearts and Can 2 were solid in third, fourth and fifth respectively. That was race number 103. 104 is up for decision next. Premier Woman Standard Boat. Heat three of three, just the four crews to contest. Lanes one and six will be vacant. Just got a couple still making their way down to the start. Lane two will see 22 sisters representing the Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka Armour Association. This is on screen for our wide world web viewers. Lane three, Woman of Steel from the Auckland DBA. Lane four, Bay Dragons from the Eastern Region and Mana Wahini. Lane 5 from Aoraki, a DBA, the four boats to contest race number 104 there this afternoon. And just reminding the paddlers as we're getting towards the end of our racing uh, to clean your gear when you're finished, there is a water blaster adjacent uh, to the drone tender, our commentating tent by the lakeside. You'll see it there. Green button to press it on, red button to press it stop. Funny that. But can you please uh, clean your gear on the grass area? Uh, just refrain from using on the tarmac at the moment just to let the water not drain into our marquee down here. There's a bit of electrical equipment. So if you can clean your gear on the grass area, uh, that will be greatly appreciated as we're getting towards the end of the day. Water blaster provided. Standard, lane one, Steel Dragons, lane two, Wilkie Dragons, lane three, Ryan Pride, lane two, Nikki. 
Line four, Timothy Dragons. Line five, Warren Architect. Please come to Marshland. Thank you. So the last of the year four crews have arrived down at the start there, the 500 metres. That was Can Survive. No, it wasn't. It was Mana Wahini. Other three crews there, 22 sisters, women of Steel Bay Dragons. And Mana Wahini. So Mana Wahini just reversing the dragon boat into a position. So we've got one dragon boat from four of the five regions in this upcoming event. The only region that's not represented in this heat is Central. Stand by for a start. Starting crew there just conferring with their crews that they're all ready to go. Looks like they are. When they're happy, they'll send them on the way. Looking like a pretty good line down there. Good start too. Perfect. All four dragon boats are on the way. 22 sisters inside. Woman of Steel, second lane. Bay Dragons, third lane. Manawahini on the outside. The four lanes are represented two to five. Best start, 22 sisters. Closest to us, they lead early on. Uh, from Manawahini on the outside, lane five. Then Woman of Steel and Bay Dragons back in fourth position. Uh, three quarters of a boat length, top to bottom through the first 75. And it is 22 sisters. Closest to us, they lead at the moment. Over Manawahini on the outside, lying second. Woman of Steel third, Bay Dragons in fourth position. As they get towards the 100 metre mark and 22 sisters with a very swift beginning they lead Manawahini on the outside they're in second spot over Woman of Steel lying third and Bay Dragons as they cruise through the first 125 meters no change up front 22 sisters they lead Manawahini they are lying second just ahead of Woman of Steel and Bay Dragons about three quarters of a boat length back in the fourth position as the four crews they are paddling towards the halfway mark in race 104 and 20 Two sisters now extending their lead. One boat length clear. Manawahini holding down second at the moment. But they've got a race on their hands with Woman of Steel right next door to them. And splitting them there is Bay Dragons. As they get past the halfway mark, no change. 22 sisters still in front. Manawahini and Woman of Steel. They've got a tussle on for second and third and three quarters back at two Woman of Bay Dragons. Inside the last 150, it is still 22 sisters in front. Manawahini holding down second with the challenge of Woman of Steel and a boat length away to Bay Dragons. 100 metres to pedal and Ray Two Sisters strong at the moment. They lead. Manawahini second. Woman of Steel third and fourth is Bay Dragons inside the 75 and 22 Sisters has got it all parceled up at the moment. Two boat lengths clear. Who's holding down second? That is close. Woman of Steel got their dragon boat in front for second and third at the moment over Manawahini. And then back to Bay Dragons, but away go. 22 sisters, they win it easy by two boat legs. Who's going to grab second? Woman of Steel, Mana Wahini, Woman of Steel. They'll grab second ahead of Mana Wahini, and back in fourth position, one boat length away was Bay Dragons. 22 sisters, swift start, kept up a very strong paddle throughout, and a very convincing winner of race 104. Woman of Steel strong over the last 125 metres to grab second at the expense of Mana Wahini and Bay Dragons. Uh, they all cross the line in fourth position. Uh, that is race number 104. 22 sisters successful uh, defeating Woman of Steel and Mana Wahini. Next race. In fact, the next two races are breast cancer heats. And the first one's a field of four. Lanes one and six will be a vacant. One and six, sorry, will be vacant. Two to five in use to the Pink Dragons, representing the ADBA. Boobops Moana from the Eastern Region, busting with life from the, also from the ADBA, and can survive, representing the Central Region, the four Dragon Boats, to do battle in race number 105. Next two heats are both breast cancer heats.
A crew's just getting in position for a race number 105. Pink Dragons are around at the start there. Lane number two. Lane three, Boobops and Moana. Lane four, Busting with Life and Can Survive will go from lane five. Lanes one and six uh, will be vacant. Four crews are holding down the start there, nearly set for a dispatch. And a race number 105 standby. First of our two breast cancer heats. We are racing Pink Dragons, the inside lane two. Lane three is Boobops Moana busting with life in four and can survive on the outside in lane five. Best up was the lane right next door to us, the Pink Dragons. They're underway, got a slight lead over lane three, which is Boobops and Moana. On the outside, lying third is can survive and just in fourth position is busting with life. We're half a boat length from top to bottom. Where the Pink Dragons closest to us got a slight advantage, and only slight, over lane number three, which is Boobops Moana. Then on the outside is Can Survive lying third, and back in fourth position is Busting with Life as they pass the first quarter of race 105, and there's about half a boat length top to bottom, and it's very close up front. The Pink Dragons with a slight advantage. As I say that, Boobops Moana now move their dragon boat in front. So Boobops Moana in front now of the Pink Dragons. Now Can Survive on the outside are chiming in after these two leaders, and about three quarters of a boat length back in fourth position is Busting with Life. Three quarters of a length of a boat length top to bottom as they get towards the halfway mark and Boobops and Moana have got the dragon boat head in front only just though over the pink dragons as we said before can survive and now chiming in they got their dragon boat in second position now the pink dragons have been relegated back to third position and then back to a busting with life and the second stanza of lace race 105 and it's Boobops Moana they lead by two metres. The pressure coming on the outside with Can Survive. Just dropping back two or three metres here was the Pink Dragons in third spot. And then back to Busting with Life. Inside the last one, seven, five. It's Boobops Moana just in front. Can Survive are trying to finish strongly down the outer of the lake. Then back to the Pink Dragons and Busting with Life. Inside the last 100 metres. It's still in front. Boobops Moana now under challenge from Can Survive on the outside who got momentum. Then back to the Pink Dragons and Busting with Life. It is still Boobos Moana in front. The Can Survivor keeping up that big rally down the outside. May have got the Dragon Boat in front and head in front. Yes, they have. New leader in the shadows of the post. Now it's Can Survive in front. Can Boobos Moana come back? Can Survive in front. Boobos Moana trying to rally on the inside. Can Survive on the outside in front. Boobos Moana trying to come back at them. Going to be very, very tight here. Can Survive. Boobos Moana. They hit it. Maybe the outside, maybe can survive just over Boobops Moana, the Pink Dragons, and busting with life. Close. Very good. Look at the slow mo replay. Boobops Moana in front, lunging can survive. Yep, they'll get it. Can survive lane five, get the win over very gallant Boobops Moana. Close up third, the Pink Dragons, and not far away, busting with life. Good finish there, but can survive right down the outside of the racetrack. They get the victory over Boobops Moana, Pink Dragons, and fourth was busting with life. Good finish there, race 105. 106 up next, another heat of the breast cancer. Division, just the three dragon boats in this event. Lanes one, two, six vacant. So we start on lane three with Boo Bops Aroha, representing the eastern region. Lane four, a breast of life, Aroaki. Lane five, Waikato, treasure chest, representing Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka Ana Ama Association. Those three crews just making their way down to the start. Mm -hmm. 
just a big ups to all the paddlers, officials, everybody associated with the regatta over the last two days. We're actually nearly an hour ahead of schedule, which is just incredible. So well done to everybody involved. Nice and prompt out on the lake. So race number 106 up for decision next. There's a start list for our viewers online with lanes one, two, and six are vacant boobops Aroha, They're representing the eastern region, and lane three, lane four, a breast of life, representing the Aoraki DBA, and lane five, Waikato Treasure Chest, representing the Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka Armour Association. So this is three crews to compete in a race number 106, another division of the Breast Cancer Series. Three crews are down at the start there. Two all ready to rock and roll. Uh, Rest of life just bringing the dragon boat in position. And we'll be underway in race 106. Stand by for a start. Boobops, Aroha. The other crew closest to Lakeside. Waikato Treasure Chest, furthest away, splitting them a breast of life. Lanes one, two, six vacant, using lanes three to five. A breast of life, just getting the boat in a more parallel position to the pontoon. And they're happy. In fact, all three crews are happy. Just waiting for the starter to put the eagle eye over the boat and stand by. Here we go, racing in race 106 between Boobops Aroha, Breast of Life, and Waikato Treasure Chest. Best beginning on the outside. Waikato Treasure Chest made a very swift beginning from the outside of the lake. They lead over Boobops Aroha, closest to us in lane and number three they're lying in second position and a couple of meters away to a breast of life close up in third uh, through the first 50 meters it's on the outside Waikato treasure chest they lead early on from boo bops aroha close up in second and only five or six meters away a uh, breast of life in third position through the first 100 meters of our breast cancer heat and it's on the outside of the lake Waikato treasure chest they lead over boo bops aroha closest to us in second position and in third spot is a breast of life piercing the needle between these two crews but they get towards a 125 of race 106 and it's on the outside of the lake Waikato Treasure Chest officially in lane five they lead over Boobops Aroha they are closest to us in lane three in second spot and a breast of life in fourth and third position close up there's only half a dragon boat length separating these three crews as they approach the halfway mark in race 106 and it's the outside of the lake it's Waikato treasure chest they lead by five meters over boo bops aroha they're lying second and a breast of life five meters away in third spot as they cross the halfway mark no change the outside in they lead Waikato treasure chest with an advantage over boo bops aroha they are closest to us in second spot a breast of life is sticking with these two crews three quarters of a boat link from top to bottom it is still Waikato treasure chest lead on the outside over boo bops Aroha closest to us and then a breast of life inside the 150 meter mark for race number 106 on the outside of the lake it is still Waikato treasure chest the lamp lighters they lead by five to six meters Boobops Aroha trying to bridge the gap closest to us in lane three and then about a half a length away to a breast of life inside the 75 just extending their lead ever so slightly there was a Waikato treasure chest they put the acid test on their two oppositions. They are followed in turn by Boobs Ops Aroha and are back to a breast of life. But inside the 50, it is Waikato Treasure Chest with an advantage over Boob Ops Aroha and a breast of life. And down to the line they go. And Waikato Treasure Chest are going to see it through in lane five. They'll take it out as they cross the line first by three quarters of a boat length. Second will be Boob Ops Aroha and a similar margin to back to lane number four and a breast of life.
Just two boat links top to bottom, but Waikato Treasure Chest, they see it through lane five. Boobops Aroha second in lane three, and a Breast of Life will be third in lane number four. Oh, Dragon Boats making their way down to the start for our 107th race of the afternoon to take you through the next three or four races. It's welcome back, Steve Harris. Uh, kia ora, Richard. I tell you what, I've just been watching some of the spectators up on the bank, and obviously they're here to support loved ones who are out racing, whether you're watching a, a sister, a mother, or, um, or, or a grand, grandmother, should I say, who are racing here over the last couple of days, but uh, almost clapping. Some of them asking for divine intervention, even looked like they were praying up on the bank there, Richard. So, uh, yeah, it's interesting, but great to see. Well, I've got to say, the afternoon has progressed very, very quickly. We're through to race 107, unbelievably, which was scheduled for 4 o'clock this afternoon. And by my reckoning, just on nigh on 20 to 3. So it could be a bit of an earlier stay, with, um, which I'm sure we'll all appreciate. As well as our paddlers who are settling in for this particular race on the Water Premier Mixed Standard boat 500 metres, the first of three heats. I'll quickly go through these five teams as they line up. In lane one, we have Steel Dragons. In lane two, Pornicke Dragons. Lane three, Lion Pride. Lane four, two Mickey Dragons. And lane five, Y Mac Attack. So just the five. First heat of three. So they will be pushing hard to progress through to a final. Just in our starters' hands. We are underway in the Premier Mixed Standard Boat, 500 metres. First heat of three. This is race 107 out on the water. Closest to us, Steel Dragons, Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Lane two, Pornica Dragons, Central Region DBA. Lane three, we have Lion Pride, Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Lane four, maybe the team to watch because they're already out in the lead. That's two Mecha Dragons from Auraki. Dragon Boat Association and Waimak Attack from Oraki Dragon Boat Association. So good clean start as previously said by all five teams on the water as they negotiate the first 80 metres of this 500 metre course. Looking especially good is the two Mecha Dragons aptly named in lane four. Oraki Dragon Boat Association pushing out to almost a half a Dragon Boat length lead over the second place team that is Lion Pride. Lion Pride from the Auckland region in the third placing. It's a real toss up here between Steel Dragons and Waimaka Tech both pushing hard for that third placing sitting down the uh, the back of the field at this point of time is Pornica Dragons from the central region DBA. Well and truly over the halfway stage so they'd be heading home with about 150 metres to go and it's two Mecha Dragons still holding the lead by exactly the same maybe a half a Dragon Boat length over the second place team Lion Pride from Auckland Dragon Boat Association in uh, third placing. We are just just looking at the high screen, looks maybe out there in lane five. That's uh, why Mac Attack have come into play into third placing. No, begging your pardon, down here in lane one are in third placing Steel Dragons. But we look to the top of the course, it'll be two Mech Air from Oraki Dragon Boat who will take out the win. Lion Pride in second placing and in third placing down here closest to us. Looks like Steel Dragons will turn take out that third placing we'll just get that confirmed through the replay you can see team four lane four taking out the win 
Two ranga two tahi, two Mickey Dragons, two ranga two arua. You've got Lion Pride in two ranga two toru Steel Dragons with that third placing in race 107. Fayakene. Race 108 Premier Mixed Standard Boat 500 metres second heat of three. Last call, Amazon Hearts. Last call, Amazon Hearts. Absolute pristine conditions here at the Karapiro this afternoon as we look forward to the Premier Mixed Standard Boat 500 metres second heat of three. That's race 108. Final crew just getting into position. I'll give you the full list in one moment. In lane one, City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto, Auckland Dragon. Lane two, Random Jeffers, Auckland Dragon. Lane three, Pedal Waikato, Waikato Dragon Boat and Waka. In lane four, BOP, Dragonflyers, Eastern Region, DBA. And in lane five, Marco Mojo International. And they're our final team. Just setting themselves into place. And we are in our starter's hands. Racing is underway, Premier Mix Standard Boat, 500 metres. This is the second heat of three. It's race 108. Closest to us is City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto. Lane two, Random Jeffers, Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Lane three, Paddle Waikato. Waikato Dragon Boat and Waka Lane 4, BOP Dragon Flyers, Eastern Region DBA and Marco Mojo International are uh, out there in Lane 5. But speaking of flyers, it's the Bayou Plenty Dragon Flyers who are out to a flying start out of Lane 4. Second placing very close between the two teams in the middle, Random Jeffers and Paddle Waikato down here in lane one. City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto sitting there in maybe fourth place and out there in lane five. Marco Mojo International in fifth place as they come down over the 80 metre mark. 
Our leading team, BOP Dragonflyers from the Eastern Region. A full dragon boat length ahead of the competition at this stage. In second placing, Random Jeffers from Auckland Dragon Boat Region. They're holding strong in second place, but only just being pushed at this stage by Paddle Waikato. There's a really good battle going on there. Coming over the halfway mark, no question, BOP Dragonflyers. Well, they really are flying. They are from the Eastern Region DBA, looking very comfortable in the lead. In fact, maybe even extending that lead. Speaking of extending their lead, Random Jaffers just starting to extend their lead in a second placing ahead of Paddle Waikato in fourth placing, very close between City Dragons, Tamaki Makoto and also Marco Mojo. As they come down with about 50 metres to go it's going to be lane four BOP Dragonflyers putting on an absolute clinic in race 108, too good, too strong they come across the line and take the win. In second placing will be Random Jaffers, still with a little bit of work to do. They hit the tape now in second place. And in third placing, going to be close, but it's going to be the Paddle Waikato who will come across in third placing. Don't need a replay to sort that one out. Turanga Tuatahi. They have plenty of dragonflyers. Turanga Tuarua, Random Jeffers, and Turanga Tuarua Tua Turu, Pedal Waikato. Oh, good afternoon again, everybody. That curtain well and truly starting to not quite drop, but it's uh, certainly coming down as we look to race 109 Premier Mixed Standard Boat 500. This is the third heat of three. After this race, Itiwi, we are looking at six finals and we will close out the day with a two rep finals, so representing their regions. Hoyano, we have a race about to start. It's the Premier Mixed Standard Boat 500 metres. In lane two, Waitamata Warriors Auckland Dragon Boat Association. Lane two, Marco Motu International. Lane three, Southern Dragons. Auraki Dragon Boat Association and in lane five HCW Mix Waikato Dragon Boat and Waka Ama. They are in position just waiting on starters orders. Racing is underway in the Premier Mixed Standard Boat, 500 metres. This is the third heat of three. You're watching race 109. Good 
clean start from all four crews, but an especially good start from the team in lane three, Marco Mutu International. They are out of the blocks in a hurry. And the inside also in uh, lane four, Southern Dragons from Auraki Dragon Boats, also off to a very good start. And right beside them, HCW Mix from Waikato Dragon Boat and Wakaama down here in lane two, Waitamata Warriors with a little bit of a slow start. As they come down towards the 80 metre mark, it is down here in lane three, Marco Motu International, or they, they are being slowly pulled in by Southern Dragons who are going stroke for stroke. It'll be interesting to see what these pitches look like as they come down to the halfway mark. It is still lane three, Marco Motu, but I would not put my house on who would win this race. Still with over halfway to go down there. HCW mixed from Waikato Dragon Boating and Waka in third placing and back there in fourth, Waitamata Warriors. Well, those Warriors will need a whole lot of work to uh, pull these teams back from here on out because they come down with 120 metres to go and it is Marco Mutu just holding the lead but there is not much this in this at all. In fact Southern Dragons are actually starting to make their move with 80 metres to go here's the team in lane 4 are they starting to pull them in with every stroke? Oh my word they're going stroke for stroke. Lane 3 Marco Mutu just in front Southern Dragons starting to it back in third place is HCW Mix. I'll tell you what, this could be a toss-up. Mataki Taki Mai at the Iwi as they come down to the finish line. Going to be close. Southern Dragons, Marco Motu. I don't know. I'll have to look at the replay. And in third placing, HCW Mix, Waikato Dragon Boat and Wakama. They, we can tell you, they finished in third. I can tell you that for nothing. But we'll have to wait for the finish as they come down to the finish line. Looks like the team in lane three, lane four, one more stroke. Is it going to be three? Is it going to be four? It's going to be lane three. Marco Motu will take the victory from the Southern Dragons, but what a race to Mekefano. I'll confirm that again. And of course, White Temata Warriors back there in fourth place. Turanga Tuatahi. Marco Motu International. Turanga Tuarua Southern Dragons Auraki DBA. Turanga Tuatoru HCW Mix Waikato Dragon Boating and Wakama. Boy, if we've got some, have we got some races to come, Fano? Make sure you got your sunscreen on. Make sure you're all watered up, and make sure your seat belts are near to your hip because you're going to have to strap yourself in. For these finals.
Oh, what a fantastic race. So that was race 109 coming up shortly. It's the Premier Women's Standard Boat B final. We can see the Dragon Boats just making their way down to the start line area. See a few team chats going on around the venue. Once again, the conditions have just been absolutely perfect this afternoon. So I hope you're enjoying the coverage wherever you're watching, even if you are here at the venue or for those that are streaming, watching us, just sending some messages. Send us some messages through if, you, if you're enjoying it. I'm sure there might be a couple of uh, Facebook accounts that you can jump on. Some beautiful high images of the venue. Our Premier Woman Standard B final. I've got absolutely no idea who's in this final, so I may have to rely on the, our producer when he does list the teams. Yeah, those teams for this final still making their way down to the start line. And as you can see, many people around the venue looking pretty relaxed, ladies. Just down here in front of them as the drone hovers over you guys. Yes, you four ladies all sitting together. You can give us a wave. Oh, that's the one. Awesome. Shout out to Jimmy as well. He's doing an awesome job on the drone. It's not too bad, eh, Fano? People ask you what you do for a job. You say, I fly drones. Teams going into position for the Premier Women's Standard Boat B final. I'll give you that list shortly. I'm relying on our stream coverage for those names when they pop up. Remembering, we are waiting for race 110, and there they go. In lane one, we have got OPC. Lane two, Bay Dragons. Lane three, Hauraki Blues. Lane four, Amazon Hearts. Lane five, Pegasus Dragons. And lane six, we have Waikato Dragon Snips. As uh, I had a bit of a backup plan there, but awesome Richard has just handed me the piece of paper I required for this event as lane two, Bay Dragons just head into position. OPC in lane one, Bay Dragons in two. Hauraki Blues in three. Amazon Hearts in four. Pegasus Dragons five. Waikato Snap Dragons six. In the starter's hands. Dumiti Wai. Race 110. Racing is underway. It's a Premier Women's Standard Boat B final. Make plenty of noise, Fano, up if you're up on the hill, because we've had a clean start from all six teams. Remembering in lane one, OPC, lane two, Bay Dragons, lane three, Hauraki Blues, lane four, Amazon Hearts, lane five, Pegasus Dragons, lane six, Waikato Snap Dragons. And this is a very, very even start. I think we're going to have a very special race. That's what I'm predicting anyway, as they've already eaten out the 
the first 80 metres of this 500 metre course out there in lane three. Hauraki Blues with a little bit of a lead there to Pegasus Dragons who are in lane five. They are going stroke for stroke. Hard to say who's sitting in third placing at this time. Maybe there in lane four. We've got Amazon Hearts who are putting in a good race but they're coming from everywhere. Oh my word. They're starting to sort themselves out for those minor positions. In lane three though, they are our leading team, Hauraki Blues leading by, they've extended their lead a little bit to about half a dragon boat length as they come down towards that halfway point close for second between lanes two, Bay Dragons and Amazon Hearts they're going stroke for stroke for that third placing, they come over the halfway mark and it is Hauraki Blues in fact they're looking to extend that lead but we could have one heck of a lead battle I should say for those uh, podium places second and third and second at the minute is Bay Dragons in fact they're starting to make a little bit of a move as they come down under the 120 metre mark it is still Hauraki Blues with the lead at this stage, second placing Bay Dragons in third placing close between Amazon Hearts and OPC maybe just dropping off a little bit, they come down with 80 metres to go maybe even less than that, it's a team in lane three, Hauraki Blues with the lead and I think they can come through and take out this B final for 2024 in that second placing we have Bay Dragons Bay Dragons holding strong and down here in lane one OPC but a big round of applause there's your winners to Atahi Hauraki Blues to Arua Bay Dragons to Atoru I don't know I'll have to look at the replay at the end maybe down here in lane one OPC might have taken out that third place but I'll have to revert to the replay here but no doubt about it I can say with all honesty that your winning team was lane three that was Hauraki Blues down here and lane two Bay Dragons and look at this this is very close for third but I'll give it to lane one lane one is OPC paddling that was a fine bit of work from the team down in lane one and they pushed themselves back in to have a podium finish oh kia ora mai iwi I'm going to take a bit of break because my break voice is starting to crack a little bit so Hopefully Richard is around to save me. Lane three, Taranaki Dragons. Lane four, King Two. Lane five, City Dragons. Lane six, Waitemata Warriors. Can we also have heat one, one, three, Premier Mixed Grand Final. Lane one, Lion Pride. Lane two, Taranaki Dragons. Lane three, Makamoto. Lane four, Southern Dragons. Lane five, Bok Dragon Flyers. Lane six, H C W. I will be doing heat 113 Premier Mixed Screen Final as Lane 1, Lion Pride, Lane 2, Timothy Dragon, Lane 3, Michael Mutu, Lane 4, Southern Dragons, Lane 5, Bop Dragon Flyers, Lane 6, HCW Mixed, and Heat 114 Premier Women Grand Final, Lane 1, Wahimi Wap Mahi. Excuse me. Heat 114, Premier Women's Grand Final, Lane 1, Manawahini, Lane 2, Jafets, Lane 3, 22 Sisters, Lane 4, Otapoti Dragons, Lane 5, Women of Steel, Lane 6, Wide Upper Women. That is 114, Premier Women's Grand Final, Lane 1, Manawahini, Lane 2, Jafets, Lane 3, 22 Sisters, Lane 4, Otapoti Dragons, Lane 5, Women of Steel, Lane 6, Wide Upper Women. All to Marshall, please. Thank you.
Uh, so we are getting towards the tail end of the day. Just a couple of housekeeping to let you know about. Marquee, merchandise marquee, they're closing in about 20 minutes, so 3.30 for your merchandise to remember. The 2024 NZ DBA National Championships here at Lake Carapero. So merchandise marquees, they close around 3.30. When you come to washing your gear, paddles, etc., etc., there is a water blaster right behind the drone and commentating marquee. Uh, please ensure you wash your gear on the grassed area of uh, that area, simply by pressing the green button to start and red button to stop. It just uh, prevents the water coming into the marquee where there's a lot of electrical stuff in here to operate the marquee in our screen so please make sure you do use the grassed areas to clean uh, your paddles life jackets etc their water blaster provided on course nice and safe keep your waterways nice and safe so we have got five finals to compete the first is the Premier Mixed Standard B Final. The second will be the Mixed Grade C Final, followed by the Premier Mixed Final, then the Premier Women's Final, and then the Breast Cancer Grand Final. And the completion of the day will have two representative races, our Premier Women and our Premier Open, to complete proceedings for our two days of dragon boating here at the National Champs here at Lake Katapiro. And that will complete exhausting 117 races on the program so top effort from everybody especially today to get so far in front So just reminding you, just another 20 minutes remaining to get to your merchandise marquee. Closes at 3.30 sharp this afternoon. So mer merchandise marquee closes 3.30 sharp this afternoon. So therefore, just on 20 minutes remaining. So if you thought about grabbing a memory from the championships, now is your time to hop along to the merchandise marquee and grab one of those items that you require.
Dragons in lane two for this next race. Pick one on one. Can you please hurry into lane two? Thank you.
Sea Grey final is underway. The four boats out on the water. Taranaki Dragons closest to us. Can two in lane number four. Lane five is City Dragons and Waitamata. The Warriors, they're out in lane number six. They made a good beginning. But City Dragons underway. They lead early on in lane number five. Waitamata Warriors, they're in lane six in second position. Then back to lane four, which is Can two and Taranaki Dragons closest to us in lane number four. They're in fourth position. Two boat links from the top to bottom as they go past the 100 meter mark and out in front it is lane five city dragons they lead white to Matar warriors they're in second spot about three quarters of a boat length away up in third position is can two and taranaki dragons back in fourth spot and there's two to three boat links from top to bottom as they approach what will be the halfway mark in race one one two it is the c grade final mixed and at the moment out in front it is lane number five city dragons with a boat length advantage over white to warriors in second spot Back in third is Can Turd and Taranaki Dragons back in fourth position. Three or four boat links from top to bottom as the four crews, they paddle towards the halfway mark. No change. Out in front. City Dragons up that very swift beginning, keeping up a very strong paddle rate. They lead by one and a quarter boat links. White to Warriors, they're holding down second. Lying third is Can to about three quarters of a boat length away in third position. And a boat length away fourth is Taranaki Dragons. Inside the last 175, it is City Dragons in control two boat links clear white to warriors they're holding down second they've got about a boat length advantage over can two similar margin back to taranaki dragons inside the last 100 meters of our mixed grade c final no change and away go city dragons open them right up now two boat links clear white to Matar warriors are holding down second over lying third is can two and taranaki dragons but inside the last 75 meters it's a one boat show here city dragons in lane five in control White to Warriors holding down second. Can two and Taranaki Dragons, but away go City Dragons. In lane number five, they've got about 20 metres to conquer, and they're going to cruise down and take out the mixed grade C final. First is going to be City Dragons. They've got about a two. Make it three boat links advantage. Down the line, easy as you like for City Dragons. Second, White to Warriors. Third is going to be Can two and Taranaki Dragons. And they'll finish in the fourth position. Now there is the mixed grade C final uh, taken out by City Dragons. They started very, very swiftly uh, from their lane five, kept up a very strong paddle rate throughout, and went on for a two length of victory over White to Warriors. Gallant in second, Brave was third, came two, and Taranaki Dragons will be fourth. Next up is the Premier Mixed Grade Final. Start list for our World Wide Web viewers. Lane 1, Lion Pride. Lane 2, Tumiki Dragons. Marco Motto in Lane 3, Southern Dragons in 4. Dragon Flyers from the Bay of Plenty. They're in Lane 5 in Hamilton City Water Sports. Lane number 6, that's the 6 crews engaged in our Premier Mixed Grade Final. That is race number 113. Now they're at the start line. Stand by for a start. Race 113. Stand by for race number 113, Premier Mixed Grand Final. Lion Pride inside lane one, two Mickey Dragons lane two, Mako Motto lane three, Southern Dragons 
four. Dragonflies, five. Hamilton City, six. Stand by. Set. We're racing in our premier mixed grand final. Good start too. Six crews right across the water. No one showing out as, as at the moment. Maybe lane three. Mako Mark Mako Motu. Our Australian visitors early advantage over lane two. Two Mickey Dragons. Lane five. Dragon flies on the journey. Southern Dragons also got the leaders within their side out back to lane one. Lion Pride in lane six. Hamilton City Water Sports. They go through the first 75 meters. Two Mickey Dragons. They've got an advantage now. Three to four meters over lane five a dragon flyers then back to lane four southern dragons mako motto in lane number three in fourth position then back to lane one lion pride and hamilton city on the outside in sixth position there's only three quarters of a boat link top to bottom through the first quarter in front two meki dragons showing with every post the winner they lead by the extended their lead the three quarters of a boat link the twinkling of an eye out on the outside dragon flyers are lying second third is mako motto and then back to southern and Dragons, lane one, Lion Pry now getting into swing of things. And then out to Hamilton City Water Sports at the halfway mark. It is two Mickey Dragons with a wing on every paddle. Well, away they go. One boat length clear. Catch us if you can. Lying second is going to be Southern Dragons. Then back to lane one, Lion Pride on the outside is Dragon Flyers. And then back to Marco Motto in lane number one, Lion Pride. Uh, but with about 125 metres to go, it's two Mickey Dragons clear. Daylight set. Second. Southern Dragons are trying to bridge the gap. Then back at two, Dragon Flyers, Lion Pride, Mako Motto and Lion Ben HCW on the outside, Hamilton City Water Sports. But inside the last 60 metres, it's a shut the gate time. One boat show, away go, two Mickey Dragons. One boat link clear. Southern Dragons are chasing in vain. Lion Pride followed in turn by Dragon Flyers, Mako Motto, Lion Pride and Hamilton City Water Sports. Uh, but take a look at a class act down the line, two Mickey Dragons. Dragons win it. Southern Dragons will get second, third. The inside Lion Prater made good ground late in the piece. Marco Motto, Dragon Flyers, Hamilton City Water Sports. Two Mickey Dragons go to woe, but steady out of the blocks. But over the middle stages, really put the foot to the floor and drew clear to win by a boat length in a bit. Second was Southern Dragons. Now, Lion Pride, they made up a huge slice of ground late in the piece to roar into third place at the expense of our Australian visitors, Mako Motto. And on the outside, Dragon Flyers, who were second early on, and they just went, uh, just ran out of gas here late in the piece to grab fourth. And then we had Hamilton City Water Sports is also there as well but two mickey dragons they were impressive winning the mixed grade final of a 2024 congratulations to them premier women's grand final up next dragon boats have already positioned themselves at the start manawahini lane one the jafets lane two 22 sisters lane three otapoti dragons in four woman of steel in five wider rapper woman there in lane number six our premier women's final coming up next now just letting you know after our breast cancer final this afternoon we're going to be announcing our online winners everybody who's entered the competition uh, through baileys or caltex or new zealand carbon farming will announce those winners because there'll be a wee bit of a break before we conclude with our representative racing premier woman and premier open so just please of notes after the breast cancer final and the flower ceremony a slight interlude while we draw those winners of our online competitions and then we'll head into our two representative races to conclude the two days of racing here at lake Katapiro as part of our New Zealand Dragon Boat Association Dragon Boat National Championships. They're up to race number 114. Stand by for a start. Premier Women's Grand Final.
the pedals for the supporter coils for the BC, can you please come to Marsha now, please? The supporter boats, the supporter pedlers for the support boats for the BC, can you please come to Marsha? And Leslie Ash and Brenda Little as the speaks, please. Lin Linda Ash and We're up to our Premier Women's Grand Final standby for a start. Six crews down at the start there. Uh, just waiting for the crews to get back into line. Just the one crew, 22 sisters, who you think be one of the favourite uh, crews are in position already. Just waiting for the other five crews to back their dragon boats up uh, to their allocated lanes. Manawahini, they'll go from lane one. The Jafets from lane two. 22 sisters, three. Otapoti Dragons, lane four. Woman of Steel, lane five and a wide rapper woman. They'll start on the outside in lane five. So once again, just reminding you, after our flower ceremony for our breast cancer grand final, we'd have a small interlude just to, to draw out our winners of our own line competitions through our supporters, Baileys, Caltex, and New Zealand Carbon Farming. And then we'll get into our, our final two representative races, our 500 metre woman and our 500 metre open to conclude proceedings. So we're counting down four races to go. So slowly these boats are getting into some sort of line down at the start. The six dragon boats across the lake, across the pontoon, are ready to light up the lake. And our Premier Women's Grand Final. Manawahini 1, Jafets 2, 22 Sisters 3, Otapoti Dragons 4, Women of Steel 5, and the Wairarapa Women in Lane 6. Set. It's going through up to, up to boat five. Are they ready? They've given the thumbs up. Six is thumbs up. Set racing in our women's grand final between Manawahini, Jafets, 22 sisters, Autoporti Dragons, Woman of Steel, and White Apple Woman, who's shown the early speed. Lane three, 22 sisters lead early on from the Jafets. They're back in third position, Manawahini. Then Autoporti Dragons, Woman of Steel, and White Rapper Woman. Through the first 75 metres, there's half a boat link top to bottom. In front, 22 sisters, five metres in an advantage over Jafets in lane two. Manawahini third, poised off the speed, Otapoti Dragons, then Woman of Steel and White Rapper Woman back in sixth position as they approach the 100 metre mark in our Premier Women's Grand Final. It is 22 sisters with a five metre cushion, lying second, Jafets. They are back in third position, Manawahini, then Otapoti Dragons getting into their stride, then out to Woman of Steel and White Rapper Woman. The six crews, they're paddling the way towards the halfway mark, and away go 22 sisters. Half a boat length clear now. Now the acid test goes on. Lying second is the Jafets just poised off the speed. Back. 
back in third position, Manawahini. Then we've got Otapoti Dragons, a woman of steel, and Wairapa woman. We've got two boat lengths from top to bottom as they paddle the way over the halfway mark. And 22 sisters now stamping their authority on the final. They're a boat length clear. Jafetza trying to challenge. Then we've got Manawahini, Otapoti Dragons, woman of steel, and Wairapa woman inside the last 125. 22 sisters clear, one boat length. Chasing there is Jafetza and Manawahini. Wahini Otapoti Dragons then back to Woman of Steel and White Rapid Woman inside the last 100 metres it is 22 sisters in control Otapoti Dragons and Jafetz are chasing down hard then the Woman of Steel Mana Wahini just dropping off the pace and then back to White Rapid Woman but away go 22 sisters they're clear one boat length clear of the challenges for the minor but 22 sisters all over Red Rover down the line they win it easy 22 sisters who's going to get second Jafetz holding second just at the head of a woman of steel they crossed the line first 22 sisters Javette second third woman of steel Otaporti Dragons get third just ahead of woman of steel Mana Wahini a white rapper woman 22 sisters steady beginning got half a boat then clear they crossed the halfway th line they said radio girls let's go and they put a boat length over the opposition a twinkling of an eye Second will be Jafetz. Third's going to be Otapoti Dragons. Just ahead of Manawahini. Then back to Woman of Steel in fifth position. And Wai Rapper Woman. 22 sisters dominant in the end, winning the Premier Women's Grand Final. Second was Jafetz. Third, Otapoti. Fourth, Manawahini. Fifth, Woman of Steel. And the White Apple Woman Crew in sixth position. There is the Premier Women's Grand Final. Next up is the Breast Cancer Grand Final. Seven crews on the water to compete this. Boobops Aroha, lane one. Pink Dragons, lane two. Boobops Moana, lane three. Can Survive, four. Waikato Treasure Chess, five. Busting with Life, six. A Breast of Life in seven. Leslie Ash to crew loading immediately. Leslie Ash to crew loading immediately. And there's a start list for our World Wide Web viewers. Boobops Aroha 1, Pink Dragons 2, Boobops Moana 3, Can Survive 4, Waikato Treasure Chess 5, Busting with Life 6, A Breast of Life 7. the seven crews across the lake for our breast cancer grand final Boobops Aroha lane one Pink Dragons two Boobops Moana three Can Survive four Waikato Treasure Chests in five Busting with Life six A Breast of Life in seven stand by our breast cancer survivor grand final reminding you following this our very moving flower ceremony will take place. And on the completion of our flower ceremony, our online prize winners will be drawn Caltex, Baileys, New Zealand Carbon Farming. So stand by for that and then our completion of our two representative races. And just both seven not happy down there. That is a breast of life. That has come out of the grid. Just come forward. They'll realign the boat adjacent uh, to the pontoon. So what's happening down at the start there is a breast of life. They were on the outside of the lake, but they've been adjudicated to come onto the other side of the lake. So they'll be nearest to us. Lane zero, 
a breast of life in lane zero. So from the lakeside moving out, a breast of life, lane zero. Boobops Aroha, lane one. Pink Dragons, two. Boobops Moana, three. Can Survive, four. Waikato Treasure Chest, five. Busting with life on the outside in lane number six. Also no crews have been very good this far. Just reminding you to spray down your equipment on the grass verge here, just behind the marquee for the commentators and the drone flyers. There's a water blaster there for your convenience, but just make sure you do spray down on the grass verge all your paddles, life jackets, boats, etc. That's what the shoes, I meant. So just making sure we keep our waterways nice and clean with a water blaster provided. So we're nearly set for a start. A breast cancer grand final. Breast of life, lane zero. Boobops, Aroha, lane one. Pink Dragons, two. Boobops, Moana, three. Can survive, four. Waikato treasure chests in five. And busted with life on the outside in lane six. Looking pretty good at the start line, just waiting for the starters to put their eagle eye over the seven crews and will be underway. Stand by, set racing in our breast cancer final. Good start too. Who's made the best start? Maybe in lane three, Boobops and Moana away very well on their inside as Pink Dragons underway. Lane number one is Boobops Aroha. Then out to lane number four, which is Can Survive getting into their stride. Waikato treasure chest in lane five up with the play as well. Then lane six are busting with life back to lanes one, which is Boobops Aroha and lane zero, which is a breast of life. A three the first 50 metres. It is lane two. They have the lead. It is Pink Dragons. Lane four on the outside. Can survive going with them. Threading the needle in between them is Boobops and Moana. And then out to lane number five. Waikato treasure chest and busting with life. Back to lane one. Boobops, Aroha and lane zero. A breast of life through the first 100 metres. There's two boat links from top to bottom. Out in front lane two. Pink Dragons with the lead over lane four. Can survive. Now Boobops, Moana getting into their stride in lane three. Out to lane five, which is Waikato Treasure Chest, busting with life. Boobops, Aroha, and a breast of life. The seven crews, they pedal the way to the halfway mark. In front, lane two, it is Pink Dragons. They lead. Now Boobops and Moana, they're after these leaders, followed in turn by Can Survive, who are getting their big last finish. Then we've got Waikato Treasure Chest, busting with life. Boobops, Aroha, and a breast of life. Inside the second stands of our breast cancer grand final. In front, it is Pink Diamonds. They lead at the moment. Boobops and Moana getting into stride in lane number three. Then we've got Can Survive. Back out to Waikato Treasure Chest busting with life. Boobops, Aroha and a rest of life. Inside the last 125. Pink Diamonds in control. Now Boobops and Moana getting serious in lane three. Can Survive are trying to finish strongly in lane four. Then back to Waikato Treasure Chest busting with life. Boobops, Aroha and a rest of life. Inside the last 75 it's Pink Diamonds. Still in front. Now Boobops Moana getting very serious in lane three. Can survive at two metres away. They've got 50 metres to travel. It is still Pink Diamonds in front. Boobops Moana finishing strongly two to one. Pink Diamonds and Boobops Moana. These two crews going head to head. Boobops Moana. Pink Diamonds are getting the shadows of the post. Who's it going to be? Boobops Moana and Pink Dragons. They hit the line. Lane three. Boobops Moana have beaten Pink Diamonds. Third can survive. Then we got Waikato treasure chest busting with life. Boobops Aroha and a breast of life. Good finish there. Boobops Moana come two to one to Pink Diamonds who are in front most of the way. About a strong challenge by lane three. Boobops Moana, they'll get the victory over very brave Pink Diamonds. Can survives run third. And then we got Waikato treasure chest in the fourth position.
the outside of the lake busting with life finishing in fifth and very brave the inside two crews boo bops aroha and a breast of life well done boo bops moana they were chasing down the leader all the way up the lake pink diamonds were in front probably 95 percent of the way about the boo bops moana girls they picked up the dragon boat and threw it over the line to get a dragon boat head decision
picked flowers from her garden for her teammates and after paddling placed the flowers on the water to remember her teammate who had passed away from this disease. The flower ceremony is a special ceremony of remembrance to honour all those paddlers who have lost their lives with their battle with breast cancer or after still living with this disease and those who are in remission. It is tra tradition in dragon boat racing that gives us a moment to reflect upon gratitude and joy in our lives and the bravery and memory of those people who have lost their lives to breast cancer. The breast cancer survivor dragon boats are joined in unity to show that together we are stronger than apart. By coming together, we can share our emotional support for each other. The flowers, pink carnations or pink roses represent those who have experienced breast cancer, particularly those who have succumbed to this disease. The flower ceremony typically takes place after the final breast cancer survivor races at an organized festival. Dragon boats carrying breast cancer survivors, each holding a flower aloft, are, drafted, are rafted together in the water just off the shore so families, friends and other spectators can also join in from the land. As the flowers spread upon the water, the surface of the water, we reflect on how these lives and loved ones have touched us, how we have bonded together to combat breast cancer and help those survivors live act active, rewarding lives. We also honor all those who are no longer with us, friends, strangers, mothers, grandmothers, aunts, nieces, sisters, partners, and lovers. I would like to read a beautiful poem written by a very good friend of mine called Dragon Flowers. We hold aloft a flower in memory of your face, your first determination, the competitor in life's race. You may not have won the final one, but we come here to recall our precious dragon flowers we loved you, one and all. Memories steep, seep from our eyes, and not just on this day. We carry you in daily lives in many other ways. We remember the tenacity, the strength, the love, the fun. We stand as paddling sisters for each and every one. The flower floats away as you did. Its beauty rides the waves. Gone from our sight, but forever in our hearts, forever all our days. Float free, our precious dragonflowers, and know we don't just leave you here. We will carry you forever, and forever hold you near.
Just want to get these people down to the marquee where we do the drones and the commentating. A representative from Poneki Watersports, Poneki Watersports, and Waimak Dragons Wahini. So a representative from Waimak Dragons Wahini, Poneki Watersports, and Linda Ashton when she comes off the water. It was also required down to you know, the marquee where the drone and the commentating booth is. So those three identities are down to the drone marquee that is a representative from Ponaki Watersports, Waimak Dragons Wahini, and when Linda Ashton comes off the water, she is also required down at the marquee where the drone takes off. can be reused. Our old club uniforms were also gifted to other paddlers from around New Zealand at the Wellington Dragon Boat Festival to save them from the donation pile. So congratulations Poniki on winning the New Zealand Carbon Farming Green Award and well done. Our next award is the Bailey's Altogether Better Award. It's a $200 award, and this goes to Waimak Dragons Wahini. And their uh, awards, uh, sorry, their nomination is, we are a team filled with determination and hope for what the future could hold for Waimak Vibes. But as our seats began to empty, the doubt crept in that perhaps our journey had reached its end. When we easily could have given up, we stayed together, gaining new paddlers and becoming a team once again. Against all odds, we tasted victory because of hard work and determination. We are now a team of strong wahine who support each other no matter what. We are more than a team. We are a strong wahine bound by an unbreakable bond. No matter the waves ahead, we face them together. 
Congratulations, Wymac Dragons Wahine. Let's have a look at that. Nice. Yep. Oh. Excellent, thank you. Oh. Someone else? We are waiting on Linda Ashton, who we know was out on the water. She is with Busting With Life. So Linda has won the Caltex Good Sport Award. paddling season, Busting didn't have a coach, so in her first year of becoming the team manager, Linda also put a hand up to coach the team from the rear of the boat. Linda is a skilled steer handling the toughest conditions on the water without even breaking a sweat. She demands discipline in the boat, but the team know they are in great hands. As a coach, Linda pushes them all, sometimes more than they think they'd like to be, but she inspires them to do more and go further. Congratulations, Linda, on your award.
Can we have some chill CRDBA wits to marshalling please? CRDAB wits in lane three. Uh, just letting you all know that the uh, bar at the prize giving will open at 6 p.m. sharp this evening. And just reminding you also, there is a liquor ban on the lake. The only place you can consume alcohol is inside the pavilion and also on the steps of the grandstand as well. So you can have a quiet ale, wine there if you wish. So just respect those uh, rules. So liquor ban on the whole lake except for inside the pavilion. And you can also have a quiet ale, cider, wine on the steps of the grandstand outside the pavilion as well. So the bar will open at 6 p.m. this evening as part of our prize giving tonight. Just two races to go. Two of our representative races and crews are starting to load up now.
If you are a little bit idle at the moment, just waiting for these two representative events to take place, we need a bit of a hand down at crew loading to get the boats out of the lake. So if you've got a couple of minutes spare, uh, could you make your way down to crew loading just to assist them getting the boats out of the water? There are eight boats being used for these current representative boats, but we need a few hands to get the boats out of the water. So if you can make your way down to crew loading and assist with that, that would be greatly appreciated.
Two representative races to conclude proceedings. The first is the Premier Woman, and then we have the Premier Open to close the curtain on the two days of our 2024 NZDBA Dragon Boat National Championships here at Lake Katapero. The first is the Premier Woman, Waikato Dragon Boating and Wakaama Association. They will start closest to us in lane two. Central, lane three, Aoraki four, Auckland five. So stand by for our penultimate event on our two days of a dragon boat racing. Super racing throughout the two days. So looking forward to a start. Waikato closest to us. Central. Lane three. Aoraki four. And Auckland on the outside in lane five. 500 metres ahead of them. There's a start list for everybody watching on the wide world web. Premier Woman. Representative Racing. Waikato in two. Central in three. Aoraki in four. Auckland on the outside in five. Stand by for a start. Penultimate Dragon Boat event. Premier open to follow to conclude proceedings. Just reminding you of the bar opening at 6 p.m. this evening for the prize giving. A liquor ban on the whole lake here, just alcohol consumed inside the pavilion and outside the steps on the grandstand. Please respect those rules and regulations as we're set for our first of our final two representative events. Waikato closest to us. Central, Aoraki, Auckland. Set for the start, we're racing in our Premier Woman race and a good start by Auckland on the outside. So Auckland to a clear-cut lead early on over Aoraki. Then lying in third place closest to us, Waikato, followed by Aoraki in lane number two. So at the present point of time, through the first of 50 or 60 metres, it is Auckland on the outside. They lead. Lying second is Aoraki. Closest to us in third position is Waikato in central. About half a boat length away in fourth position. Three quarters of a boat length from top to bottom. It is Auckland. They lead at the moment from Aoraki. Back to lane number one, which is Waikato closest to us in third position. And then to a central. They are lying fourth as they paddle their way through the first 100 metres on the outside of the lake. Auckland lead over Aoraki. Then back to Waikato closest to us, starting to rev it up. They're back to central. They're in lane number two. They get towards the halfway mark in our women's premiere event and at the moment on the outside of the lake Auckland lead over Aoraki and then Waikato and half a boat link back to central as they get towards the halfway mark and still in front it is Auckland on the outside they lead from Aoraki Waikato close up in third position then about a boat link back to central as they get inside the second half of race number 116 and still in front it is Auckland on the outside they lead Aoraki now Waikato revving up closest to us about a boat length away to central they get inside the last 150 metres it is Auckland near the top of the lake they lead Aoraki are trying to bridge the gap and then followed by Waikato revving up closest to us then we've got central at the 125 metre mark it is 
is still in front. It is Auckland. Aoraki trying to pick them up. So a Waikato back to central. Inside the last 75 metres. Auckland still in front. Aoraki are trying to bridge the gap. Waikato two metres away then central. Inside the last 50. It is still Auckland. Aoraki lifting in lane three. Then to Waikato. Followed by central. Inside the last 40 metres. Auckland still in front. Aoraki now lifting in lane three. Auckland in front. Here comes Aoraki. Auckland in front. Aoraki are trying to finish strongly. Auckland still in front from Aoraki. They hit the line and Auckland. Auckland beat Aoraki. Then we're followed by Waikato and a couple lengths away to Central. Good race there. But Auckland, they began very swiftly off the start block. And they had a lead throughout. Aoraki tried the challenge over the last 50 metres. But Auckland, they carried too many guns. And they crossed the line in first position. Aoraki second. Waikato third. And Central were in fourth position. Good race there. The Premier woman. We've got one race to go. The Premier Open. And to conclude proceedings, back to the commentary box. I'd like to welcome Steve Harris. Oh, kia ora, Richard, you can go away and have a uh, well-earned rest after what's been a couple of big days here at the 2024 NZBA Dragon Boat National Championships. Well, I've been given the, uh, the closing rights to uh, call the very last race of the day. And if I could find the sheets for it, <laughs> there we go. Race up 117 Premier Open 500 metres standard boat rep race. So you have some real gun peddlers in this particular race. Enjoy it, certainly make a lot of noise if you're up on the bank. I'll just quickly go through these teams in lane two. Auraki reps in lane three. We have got Auckland Dragon Boat. Lane four, we have Central Region, Region Dragon Boat. And in lane four, Eastern Region Dragon Boat. So just the four starters. A very final race. So that curtain has almost come down. And I have no doubt it's going to be an absolute beauty. We can see teams... Or lanes at two and three. Oraki are going into Oraki are going into position. Auckland Dragon Boat Association. They're in position. Backing up are the Central Region in the orange shirts. Should be an absolute cracker. Aoraki in position in lane two. In lane three, Auckland Dragon Boats. Lane four, Central Region. Lane five, Eastern Region. This will be the equivalent of a 500 metre drag race. In position for the very last time, our starters will get these Dragon boats into position. Just a reminder, Ararua, Auraki reps, Aratoru, Auckland, Arafaha, Eastern, Ararima, Eastern Region. All set up and ready to go. There we have it. Our final race of the day is underway. The amount of water coming off the blades is absolutely incredible. In fact, you've got four pretty much in a row. You can throw a blanket over them at the start as they've already hit about 50 metres. A wicked rating coming from the team in lane two, 
Oraki uh, uh, reps, begging your pardon, in uh, lane three, Auckland Dragon Boat Association, lane four, Central Region, lane five, Eastern Region, and it's Eastern Region in that far lane that has captured the lead 80 metres into uh, this race at this stage, not quite pulling away because right beside them, Oraki is uh, also pushing as well in uh, lane uh, two, also in lane three, we've got Auckland Dragon Boat Association, they're pushing hard, falling off the pace a little bit is uh, central, so a lot of work for them to do, but the team to watch at this stage of the race as they come down to the half way mark is the eastern region dragon boat they're pushing along nicely they've actually pushed out to about a half a dragon boat length at this stage the battle is going on for that second place down here closest to us oraki reps pushing hard in second place right beside them we have got auckland dragon boats probably just falling off a little bit but it's uh, out here in uh, lane looks like a uh, yeah, lane two it is they're pushing pretty hard as well as i look down the course it's out there in lane five so it could be a little bit of a turn up eastern region going along quite nicely they'll be hard to drag down with about 80 meters to go down on the inside in the lane two we we have got Auckland Dragon Boat Association there in lane three. Lane two, Auraki also pushing hard. But as they come down with about 20 metres to go, your final winners of this Dragon Boat Regatta are going to be out there in lane five. Eastern Region Dragon Boats will take the spoils in the final race of the day. Very tight for second and third. I think I'll give it to Auraki in second placing and Auckland Dragon Boat in third place. Back to our final Dragon Boat coming in Central Region DBA as I look at the replay at the end. Yes, out there in lane five. Tuatahi, Eastern Region, Tuarua, Auraki, and Tuatoru, Central Region, rounding it out. Wow. Pretty impressive uh, racing from uh, these Dragon Boats in our very last race of the day. Well, I hope you've all had fun, all our paddlers here that have uh, attended the event, and of course I must acknowledge also all the, uh, all the um, help around the uh, venue as well. This is our Kaimahi who have also done a, a wonderful job as well. Make sure that you, you travel, all travel home safely. Um, hopefully we see you all again Hopefully we see you all again next year. But uh, before I go, Itiwi, let's just pick up and um, make sure make sure uh, you uh, pick up all your rubbish around the venue, just your spot. Make sure it's uh, pretty clean. Don't forget we've uh, got Richard Bromley with the uh, prize giving uh, prize giving this evening. I know uh, Richard's also done a uh, wonderful wonderful job with us here at the uh, venue. Absolutely uh, fantastic as the MC, and he'll be your MC for the uh, prize giving. Uh, he'll be the MC for the prize giving uh, this evening, Etiwi. Hoya no, no reira, ko ote, ote wa mātou mahi i tēnei rā, ki ngā kaiwhakahaere me ngā whakataitai ki a hau maru tā koutou Hoki inga ki ao koutou kai inga, tēnā koutou ngā kai mata ki te aki i tā koutou tūhono mai, no oro mai, e te iwi, travel safely and uh, with a bit of luck, ka ki te anoa i te rātou, it's been wonderful uh, being a part of this event, kia ora anoa. This isn't about what we wore back in the day. Gonna go now. Going once. Going twice. No more offers. Scored. It's about being trusted to get a better result for our clients since 1973. Funding is a real challenge. Uh, we know that a lot of schools face that ongoing, and the reality is if you go to a lower decile school in New Zealand, you are less likely to be able to afford to participate in sport. 
obviously having come through it myself with kids and, and being one of those t kids myself who played sport, I know how much it defined who I was. And now being able to go, I can't fix it all, but we can help and try and give to those people who are going through a really tough time. It's a real privilege, but you know, for us, we want to see others get involved in it. This is not a selfish thing for Apollo. This is about how can we get, um, whether it's construction or other businesses, to get involved in this. There's a lot of things that kids miss out on, and so to have businesses step up and want to be involved and to help is a game changer for schools. It really is. Hey. Sport is about more than just the game. It's about going from teammates to best mates. It's the high fives and helping hands. It's learning when to back yourself or back your buddies. It's actually being excited to get out of bed early on a Saturday. Sport is about more than just the game. That's why Caltex is proud to help fuel school sports. The forest should never have been taken off this steep hill country that's eroding and it makes absolute sense to a forest those hills. What we're doing here is using the exotics to help that process get established. We're looking at a managed transition process where those pines are progressively thinned as the native understory establishes. We're trying to do several things here. Soak up carbon, establish native forest, and we're trying to improve biodiversity. You're achieving an awful lot with one program of activity. This is an opportunity that we can't pass up.